Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. I tell you what, Hobby Maker just gets better and better, and this Friday proves it. My very good friend Sheena Douglas, I've not seen her for ages, she's coming to Hobby Maker for the very first time with a masterclass from Sheena. Don't miss that, whatever you do. Also, Joe Jarrett's back with our Fantasy Dip Spring Collection, new and exclusive to us as well. That's going to be a busy show. And as well as that, Debbie Moore is back with more of her wonderful designs with her forever codes. So a great Friday in store this Friday on Hobby Maker. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? This coming Saturday on Hobby Maker, we have got a brand new tool for you from the brilliant brand Under the Rainbow. Now, this is an A4 multi-plate tool. Now, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? This tool will emboss, it'll make boxes, it'll make cards, it'll do embellishments, but it also has a hidden secret. It has a parchment plate, would you believe, as well, so it's brilliant. So join us this coming Saturday at 3 p.m. for Under the Rainbow's brand new A4 multi-plate tool. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P and P. Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. It's that time again, one o'clock on, uh, on the afternoon with you, right the way through until eight o'clock every single day. We're starting the weekend in style. We're going to have a great afternoon. It is Hobby Maker. I'm Dave Bradford, and uh, today is a really special day. Lots of great guests, some that you have seen before and some that maybe you haven't seen for a very, very long time. We're welcoming at three o'clock this afternoon for the very first time to Hobby Maker, one of my dear friends for many, many years, Sheena Douglas is here. Lots of tips, lots of inspiration, lots of art, uh, and lots of great products as well. So Sheena's going to be here after she's had her burger at three o'clock this afternoon. Uh, two o'clock, we've got Debbie Moore here as well, and kicking us off this afternoon, the lovely Joe Jarrett is with us. Hello, my love. Hello, love. You all right? I'm good. Good. I'm good. Good to see you back. Yeah, thank you. Now, Craft Hut, um, your last show we did together about a month ago. Yeah. Sell out, sell out, sell out. It sell out. was. Yeah, it was absolutely, I was gobsmacked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what we've done today is we've actually partnered with Joe for this show because what we wanted to do was bring you as much of the fantasy dip that we could possibly get our hands on because literally we sold out of what we had in about 20 minutes last, yeah. last time. So we didn't have anywhere near as enough, enough for the show. No. So our team have gone to Joe and said, okay, let's work together. Let's get bigger quantities of the fantasy dip and let's get new colours for spring and summer 2023. Just for anyone who hasn't seen Fantasy Dip before, what, what's it all about? Um, it's basically, it's an acrylic resin. Okay. Um, so you can't, uh, you can't do what we do with ordinary epoxy resin or anything else. Um, you can create the most gorgeous flowers. Mm -hmm. um, not just flowers, but you can create different shapes. Christmas, I was doing robins and things like that. It just kind of takes you into another world. It does. Yeah, it really does. And it's very forgiving as can well. I, can I show you a few things I've got down here? OK, these colours aren't relevant to what we're talking about today, really. But I just want to show you the sort of things that you can create with it. Look at this. 
Isn't this just the most exquisite decorative flower for your home? People wear them, people put them on headbands. We've got some head decoration in the studio here today, which looks incredible. You can make maybe wedding corsages uh, out of them, home decor obviously as well. Let me show you this as well. I mean, this is again, taking it to the next level, but look at this sunflower. In this, isn't this the most amazing sunflower? This is fantasy dip. That's what you can do with what we're about to show you. Now today, we've got four brand new colors. We've not seen them at all. We're gonna put a minute clock on the screen. And uh, bear in mind, we do have a lot bigger quantity than we had last time that Joe was here. We don't know if we've got enough to last the two shows that we've got planned with Joe. There's this show now. When are you back on later on? Uh, four. Four o'clock yeah. with me. Yeah, I should know that. Four o'clock. Uh, now, the best way to order, the quickest way to order is to go to hobbymaker.co.uk. Go there and put the fantasy dips into your basket and check out. Literally click watch live. It then will appear on the screen in about 35 seconds time. We're going to give you cherry, bumblebee, moonstone, and ocean, brand new spring colors from Fantasy Dip. If you haven't got any of the wire that you need to dip in it, don't worry, we've got the starter kit in the show as well. We'll get to that a little bit later on. But the key thing is to get your Fantasy Dips in your basket. If you missed out a month ago, all I can say is apologies, but we've got a much greater stock for you this afternoon, okay? Uh, in just over five seconds, we're gonna show you the details and we're gonna show you the Fantasy Dips. These are actually bigger than most other products like it on the market. They're normally about 125 mil. We're giving you 150 mil tubs in all four of those colors. Here's the all important product code, DM1321. Hello, Catherine, you're the first one in in Cornwall. DM1321 for all of these colorways. I'll turn them around so you can see them. That one is your beautiful moonstone. This one obviously is your cherry. Beneath that, you've got your ocean, which of course is the blue. And then you've also then got your bumblebee, which is the gorgeous yellow there. So all four colorways, we're getting loads of you coming through right now. Pop it in your basket, check out. And remember, we'll get to all the other accessories. There's only ever one PMP with us at Hobby Maker. Uh, so you can buy different things at different times during the hour. Don't worry, you're not gonna pay any more than that, 3.95. 35.96 is where we should be. That's what these should be, 8.99 a pop. But we're not gonna charge you that. It's gonna be less, I can tell you that. DM1321, hello Wendy, Susan, Joan, Megan, Dawn, Catherine, Glynis, Margaret, Ali, and in Hertfordshire. You can check out right now, no one will pay 35.96. You'll all pay the dropped price, which we will activate any second now. 20% of the stock, Joe, is in Goodness Boston. me. Told you. I said, we're probably gonna sell out of this in the first hour. You said, no, we're not. Well, thank now, you Now, normally, that. that would be the stock that we would have in a show. The people that are putting this in basket, that 20% is really what we would normally have on a show. And we'd have sold out by now, 10 past one. So that's why we wanted to partner with Joe to get bigger quantities. This is one of the hottest things around. Everyone in Jewelry Maker was seeing this going, oh, wow, I love that stuff. Makes me want to cry. Is that silly? No. <laughs> I knew it would be a reaction like this. I just knew it. When you see what you can do, again, these colours aren't necessarily relevant to the actual pots we've got today, but to show you the sort of thing that you can do. You can make wreaths for your home. You can make gorgeous flower arrangements. We've got the silicon mould in the show where you can make this amazing vase. And we've also got the little... Um, little the test tubes as well that you can put your flowers in but just look at the quality of these whether you're making lilies whether you're making little uh, bluebells whatever it might be whatever flower you want to make it doesn't have to be flowers you can make foliage and leaves and greenery as well but just look at these beautiful buds the screen is filling up more and more and more of you are putting it in your basket let me show you something else that's been made from these actually i can show you the colors look this is your ocean this is your cherry. So those are the two of the brand new colors. And if you went for the colors that we had a month ago, these are gonna complement those colors beautifully. They're different, but they will work well. That one is your moonstone. So that's almost like an opal. And then your bumblebee obviously is the beautiful yellow. And it may look really difficult and really complicated, but it's as easy as anything, Joe, isn't it? It is, yeah. It is, it, once you break it down, um, you know, you can do anything. Yeah. You know, the only one that's um, eluding me at the moment is a tulip. Okay. I don't know why. You'll I get will there. get it. You'll yeah. Get there. Yeah. All right, five seconds then, and then everyone's going to see the price that everyone is going to be paying today. No one's paying thirty-five ninety-six. Let's do it. Let's get that price down. 
Let's get these sold out in the first show. I think they will go. $27.99 for everybody. That is $6.99 per pot for 150 ml of Fantasy Dip. Brand new colors, anyone can use it, anyone can get great results. DM1321, lots of demos to come, I promise you. But the important thing is don't let what happened what happened last time, a month ago, when the stock sold out in about 20 minutes. One person has got five of these in wow. the basket. Maybe these are the colours you've been wanting, because it's, it's true spring colours, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And what I'm trying, well, what I think I've nearly done is, I think there's about 62 colours now we've created. Wow, OK. Um, is that the colours all complement. So there's like shades of yellow. Yeah. Because you can then graduate the colours easier yeah. in, say, any flower, in a rose, something like that. Start off with, start off with your darker, lighter. So eventually you'll have sort of collections of yellows, collections of purples, and it, there's a method in my madness. Absolutely there is. Well, we're busy for all this demo coming up, but whatever you do, make sure if you want this, maybe you haven't got a clue how this works, you've never seen the show before. Uh, we'll show you in a sec how easy it is to actually use. Catherine in Cornwall says, eek, got mine ordered. Thank you, Joe, can't wait to share on your group on Facebook. Now, what we'd love you to do as well, send in any images that you've taken or take some pictures of some fantasy dip pieces that you've made, maybe from the last month, okay? So just, um, send them in studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. Uh, that is the email address. You could win yourself a hundred pound credit. One person, when they share their make, wins a 100 pound credit every last Saturday of the month. So show us what you've done. We can show the world what you've done with Fantasy Dip. It's not just something Joe can do, everyone can do it. Okay, Joe, show us how it works. Right, okay. So well, I, I posted a picture of the lily uh, in the Moonstone on Facebook, and lots of people have said like how much they like it. This one, yeah? That's the one. Okay. So I thought we'll start with a lily, because I can never remember what I've demoed before on air. And if you've got any suggestions, don't go too complicated. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's something I've never heard of. Um, if you've got anything you want to see me make, then let me know. Okay. Um, and yeah, we'll give it a go. So you... one, of my, one of my favourite flowers is lilies, but one thing is I don't it? like about the lily is the pollen. It always falls yeah. on the floor. Yeah. You don't have that problem with this? No, not at all. I always have to pinch mine out and then get it all over your hands. Yeah, but, yeah. Especially if you've got cats. Yes, yeah, not good. No. So you've got your formers. Um, you've got five different sizes. I normally use the largest and then the next one down. I'm using 0.5 wire. Because it's a larger petal, you do need a little bit of structure. You need a little bit of oomph just behind it to hold it. So, nearly forgot. Lilies have a crinkled edge. Okay. So just grab a piece of wire. You've got stub wire. I'll show you how to use that later as well and just wrap your wire. Now, all of these bits and pieces that Joe's using are on the website now for you. Uh, we will obviously be showing you the details of them a bit later. So if you want the wire and that sort of thing, starter kit, there's that on the show too. Okay, so we're just creating a crinkle. Yeah. We just You can have it as crinkled as you want. I tend to just straighten it out a little bit because we just want it wavy. Take your form. Just hold on to your wire. Apologies about my plasters. I've really got bad cracked hands. Oh, bless you. All right. Um, bring your wires together and just hold the two pieces of wire together and twist your form. So if you have got... I'll oh, get my plaster stuck in there. If you have got problems with your hands, it's easier just to hold and twist that. You're not putting any, you know, any strain. On your hand. Now a quarter of our entire stock has gone with everyone checking out. I know you have, it's tempting to sit and watch the demonstration then order but you run the risk of missing out on this. Right so we've got a round and what we're going to do we're just going to make it pointed. Where are we? We're up the top. So all I do is roughly get the middle of the petal and just put a point in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Take your point three and we're just going to run a couple of veins in. So just hold on to the wire at the bottom. So do those veins give the dip something to hold on to? Is that the idea? Especially if, you're, if you've got a bigger petal as well, um, it's a bit like a bubble. You know when you blow a bubble, yep. it needs a bit of structure in it. Okay. So if you've got a large leaf or something like that, just put some veins in and it will hold it. Okay, so I'm just going to chop off a bit of wire. We're going to pop that round. Don't worry, wire will slip and slide, so don't panic. Okay. 
I seem to be shouting, sorry. I don't know why I'm shouting. You're not shouting. It's nerves, I think. I'm the one that shouts. <laughs> Kat, our producer, she shouts. Does she? You can probably hear her through the door, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to wrap that round there, take it back down, and we're going to have two veins in this one. Wrap that round there. All this is going to be hidden oh. under your tape. Okay. All right, so we're like that at the moment. Take um, form and we're just going to put a bit of shape in. So hold on to the top of your petal and just give it a bend. Okay, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Take our colour. Okay, now watch this, everyone. If you've not seen this before, this is the moonstone in the set of four. I nearly ran out of the moonstone. Okay, now you need to dip up into a, up to where the wires are all twisted together. Right. Okay. Yep. Now let the majority of it run off. So you're not using very much of it at all, really? No. No, not at all. Now, if you was to um, stand this upright, a lot of the colour will drain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just... Oh, I've got a thing on there I don't like. Um, just wiggle it about a little bit, just to get the outside set. Mm -hmm. Because it takes only seconds, seconds to set, doesn't it? Yeah. And then just put it down. In your oasis set. block. That's it, in your oasis. Right. So we've done that. I've pre-made, uh, I've done five large ones and five smaller ones. So I pre-made them because I thought it'd be a bit quicker. Okay. All right. <laughs> There's a couple of ways you can do stamens. What I do like is a little bit of bling. Okay. So what I've managed to get is some four millimetre crystals. So if we take five, we're just going to thread these on. Oh. Isn't it fascinating? Sorry. I've got a feeling this is going to become your new favourite thing. The reaction's been phenomenal already. Lots of you waiting for these new colours. Two. One, two, three, four, five. You can put on as many as you like, stamens. Take, this is a bit fiddly, I'm not going to lie. Oh, we go with the smaller one. Now, hold on to your wire there, mm -hmm. and we're just going to push a bead up. So you need to use both hands, really. And we're just going to thread these on. So you're taking your wire round and you're pushing the bead up. And we're going to do that right the way round. Okay. And these beads are coming up in a minute, so. Okay, turn that round. It will slip and slide. Don't worry. Get off. Chop that off. And just take that round, okay? So we've got that loose at the moment. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this again. You can thread wire through there, but I find that like under all of that, under all them, because we need to join this now. Right. So I tend to live a little bit dangerously and slip it all off. Just grab hold of it all together. A little bit of wire through the middle. Bring that wire in. is surprisingly supple, isn't it? It's not tricky yeah. to... No, it's, it's copper... Um, copper coated. That's it. That's it. Once you've got them trapped, just twist your wire. So it's a soft wire, yeah. but it's strong. Yeah, good. You've got a couple of ends somewhere, if I can find them. So all you need really are some snips? Yeah. Some pliers? Yeah. 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 I think I've undone that one. Never mind, we'll go with it. Okay, bring all your wires together. Yeah. Shut that off. And what we want to do is just start separating. Mm -hmm. I'll turn it around that way. Hold them down and just squeeze them for the moment, just so we've got them, that they're not going to jiggle about too much. Just position that, them so you're happy with that's it. where they are. Yeah. Yep. And then literally just twist. Oh, okay. All right. And that kind of locks them in place then. That's yeah. it. 
So it's a bit like if, if you've ever made jewellery, um, making tiaras, same sort of technique with the beads. I mean, you could actually make your own tiaras out of this if you've yeah. got like a wedding coming up or something like that. Yeah. And they are, it, it looks very delicate, um, but it is really strong. Okay. Um, and if you think, oh, that's too fiddly for me, you can just use ordinary flower stamens yeah, that we you get, can. get from lots of other companies that supply us here. But if you want to go down the bling route, then this is the way to do it. So we've got our stamens now. Yeah. So what we're going to do is start to build it up. And once you've made all your petals, it actually comes together quite quickly. So how many petals have been made in total? Uh, there's ten all together. Okay. Five small, five large. And again, this will slip and slide because you've got sort of wire meeting wire. It's slippery. Okay. But don't worry, just get them on. And they dry really, really solid, but they look so delicate. Yeah. And by changing the gauge of wire, if you use on smaller sort of um, flowers and things like roses, I tend to use 0.3 um, and you get a lot softer look. Okay. So that's florist tape, which you are going to get in the starter kit, which is coming up in a minute. And you can pull it all about afterwards, so don't worry. Are there, um, is there a Facebook group people can kind of join and yeah. get ideas? Yeah, uh, craft hut, resin, arts and crafts. Okay. And they're lovely in there. You know, they're so, and the DT team, you know, they're all lovely. They're all so helpful. If I'm not about, you know, they're always there to... So if help. you just search on Facebook Craft Hut Resin, you'll find the page and you'll see what everyone else has been making. I do lives on there, yeah. so you can see different flowers that I've made. Okay. All right, so we're going to, that's your first round. It's we're going to go with the second one. And the one that you made at the beginning of the show, that's dry now, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's fine. <laughs> it's amazing stuff. And we've got lampshades decorated with these because they're translucent so light will shine through them. We've got headdresses, we've got ornaments in vases. Sky's the limit. You can wear them as a brooch if you want to. It's up to you. Where am I going? In there. It's looking good, Joe. Get in there. Oh, you can just pull it about. Mm -hmm. One more petal to go. Yeah. And though lily is exact, every flower is different, so you don't have to make it look exactly like a certain flower. Just no. let nature take its course. Definitely. So just whiz that down the bottom. Now, if you want, um, want it longer, yep. you want to put it in a vase or something like that, just add at this stage one of your stub wires. I've got all my tape in a tangle. Never mind. And just wire it on. Mm -hmm. And then you've got one that can go in a, you know, a tall exactly. vase. Yeah. Now, what we can also do, I've done that and I can't see what I'm doing there because it's long. Just pull it all together. Now, lilies have a little bit of, a um, little bit of detail, don't they? Mm -hmm. So if you take a pen. A fine liner, yeah. yeah. Oh, I get you, just had a few speckles. Yeah. That's like a tiger lily then, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah. You can also use um, Posca pens. Oh, okay. Paint to pens. shade. Yeah. So if you did want it slightly darker in areas. And oh, oh. Oh, that's a bit big, that one, wasn't it? <laughs> Ali in Greater London. Hello, Ali. Good afternoon. Hi, Dave and Joe. At last, I didn't miss out. You must have missed out last time. Sorry about that. The oh, Spring Collection brilliant. Starter Kit and Extra Oasis, all paid for. Joe, your demos and products are amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Well, we'll have the details of the Starter Kit as well coming up soon. It's all on the website for you now, so you can pop it in your basket and check out. But we will give you all the prices, all the item numbers in just a second or so. But look at that. From nothing, you get a lily. That's what the fantasy dip is all about. Just dip the wire, shape the wire first using your forms, which we've got in the starter kit, dip it in the fantasy dip. Within probably a couple of minutes, it's dry, and then just put them together. See, 
Now, the, I haven't got the, uh, another purple here, but what you can do, obviously, if you've got two different shades, <coughs> you could do the dark in the middle or vice versa. Yeah. Um, but you can also, with your pens... And these are the Posca paint pens. Just give them little colour tips if you want. Yeah. To. Yeah. Take inspiration from the internet. Just tap in Lily and see what comes up and copy a picture from that, maybe. This is the easiest way. You can double dip them, but you need to, they really need to be really, really dry. Yeah. Um, or dip them in strengthener and leave them overnight and then go into a colour so you can get half and half, things okay. like that. So it's not a problem. But We've got the thinners and the strengtheners back in the show in stock as well. Teresa in Newport says, that's amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. I know, you can't believe your eyes. I remember the first time I saw it, I was gobsmacked. It is fascinating, it really is. And you kind of start looking at flowers and, I mean, I don't dissect them, um, but in my head I do, you know, and you kind of look at the petals and look at the shapes. And even if you can't just draw it out, what you can do, if you're worried, um, you know, about forming the actual like, free form, mm -hmm. um, draw out the shape and then bend your wire to, around your shape that you've drawn out. So that's just a... A quick... I'm, I'm, well, if you have a good, good old close-up, oh, shall I take it off you? Yeah, yeah go Let on. me just show, hold this to the camera so you can see what Joe's made in literally about 20 minutes. The detail in this is phenomenal and the reality and the beauty of it is amazing. Um, hello, Andrea McGuinness. Andrea, thank you ever so much for taking a picture and showing us this. Um, she says, hi, Dave and Joe. I got the starter kit last time Joe was on after missing it twice on sellout bef uh, on shows before. I've attached a picture of my first go. So excited to get the new colors today. Thanks, Joe, for introducing me oh, to a new craft. You. Andrea, that's amazing. That's your first attempt. Uh, it just kind of proves that everyone can do this. Yeah. Mandy in Somerset says, beautiful. Can you use alcohol markers to colour them? Yes. Yes, you can. Anything yeah. at all? Yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do, because we're so busy on the phones and on the website, we'll take a short break at this point. I take that break to check your baskets out, and then we'll come back and go through the details of not only the fantasy dips again, but also the starter kit, the gems that we used, of course, in that demonstration, and the wires and everything else. So that's going to be after a short break. Check your baskets out. We'll see you back in about two minutes. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Oh, I do like a busy show and we are incredibly busy for the fantasy dips. These are the brand new eagerly awaited colours. So many messages from people saying that they uh, missed out last time that Joe was here. And Joe's only here on average once every month. So when she's here, grab what she brings because it's going quick. These are the new colours for this particular month. This one is, of course, your moonstone. So that's like the opal the kind of transparent opal that the lily was made from. This one is your ocean, which is a lovely baby blue. Uh, there's your cherry. And then the bumblebee, my favorite color is yellow. There it is. All four, 150 mil in each pot. So that's more than you'd normally expect. Um, all four of them for 27.99, making them only six pounds and 99 pence each. Hello, Sally. Sally's messaged in. She says, hi everyone. Absolutely stunning lilies. These are so delicate. Uh, and would look amazing. A mass of them would look amazing in a vase. Joe, beautiful products as always. Thank you, Sally. Lovely to hear from you. And Julie as well, she says, uh, in the Wirral, hi, Dave and Joe, I have plenty of colours of the dips. Desperately needed the starter kit, got mine. Uh, I use this craft alongside with jewellery making. Perfect for jewellery making. Absolutely, whether it's small little um, flowers, maybe for rings, brooches, things you put in your hair, earrings maybe. Helen in Fife, uh, be ideal for someone who is in hospital as you can't take fresh flowers in. Absolutely, Helen, spot on. And they'll last forever. 
Pauline, hello, Auntie P. There she is, Pauline Wheeler. Hi, Joe and Dave. I'm at home watching. Joe is one of my crafting heroes, and I oh, love her products. There we go. Her. Thank you, Pauline. Brilliant. Thank you. We're so glad we could get you these brand new colours today, and we're so glad we got a lot more stock than we've been able to get before. You need to check your baskets out, though, please. I know I'm like a broken record, but if it's in your basket, you may think it's yours, but it's not. When we get down to very low stock, people miss out, which has happened before. Okay, now the starter kit. If this is brand new to you, and you want to uh, have a little go at it, everything you need to get started, apart from the tools, obviously, uh, is included here. You've got your wooden forms in different sizes, which is great for shaping the wire. Uh, you've got the even the, the, the smaller dowels for smaller projects as well. You get the oasis to put your leaves and petals in to dry. You've got your florist tape in there as well. And you get two widths of the wire. You've got a three mil, or 0.3, sorry, and a 0.5 as well of silver plated wire. So you get both of those in there as well. The whole thing, and this is a one-off payment, $15.99, that's what's going to get you started started with the fantastic, um, the fantastic fantasy dip. So that's all you need to get started to make beautiful flowers, beautiful displays, just like these. I've got some more around here just to show you. I mean, you don't have to make just flowers. You could be making headdresses. That could, imagine that on like a bridesmaid's head walking down the aisle. So or pretty, aren't they? They are so yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. And there are lots of other colors in the range. Look at this dragonfly. I mean, that's using the little faceted beads, and we've got some of them in the show today as the body, and then the wings, because it's translucent, it's perfect for that. And then these are hair grips, but look, and that's using like the moonstone, that beautiful moonstone, that kind of opal, transparent on the, on the petals there. How beautiful is that? So $15.99, it's a small outlay to get started. That's all you need, that's the starter kit, LW1363. Loads of you are going through for the starter kit as well. Now we have also got, if you just want more wire, if you've already got the starter kit, I've got these for you. So this is 120 meters of wire. There's 70 meters of that beautiful rose gold colored copper wire, and that's um, 0.3. The 0.5 is also rose gold, because that's historically the most popular color. Everyone loves the rose gold on the copper. And then you've got your silver plated on the copper, that's 25 meters. So yeah, 50, 120 meters in total, that should last you a nice long time. That's GW1367, only 16.99. Imagine the moonstone with the rose gold. Yeah. It, it, by changing the, the coloured wire, you wouldn't think it would make that much different, it but it does. Yeah, it does, yeah. absolutely. So if you want those, they're there at just $16.99 today, which is a brilliant, brilliant price. And this is something new from Joe. Um, I'll move these into the middle so you can see them better. These only came in the other day, didn't they? Yesterday they came in. Yesterday, wow. Yeah. So you've got two, four, six, it's like I'm on jewellery maker. <laughs> you've got, you got six strands and you get loads of them, the black, the yellow, and the orange, perfect to use as stamens, of course, in the middle of your lilies, or you can use them in all sorts of ways. Um, and they're just threaded on nylon cords, so you can easily separate them, but you get hundreds, surely. Yeah, there's a hundred on each strand, roughly. Right. Uh, the black are really good for poppies. Oh, of course. Yeah, because um, you might think, oh, I should put a black in there with them bright colours, but yeah, it's poppies perfect. I'm thinking of. Well, you've got about 600 then, in total, and look at them dancing in the light. They're lovely, they really sparkle. Uh, now, what can we do these for? 600 faceted beads, uh, RY1373, 9.99 for the lot. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Remember, it's only ever one PMP for the whole day's orders. So if you're buying five or six things this afternoon, maybe buying something from Debbie later, from Sheena later on, and something in this show, one PMP all day of 395. Free phone call from a mobile and an online, and it's free to order on our website, hobbymaker.co.uk. Right, now very quickly, before these sell out, I've just been told, the silicon mold to make this beautiful vase. This has sold out before, hasn't it? Uh, we, I had the oblong last time. Yeah. So yeah, that's the. It's sort of an. It's an oval, but it's kind of like an off oval. Right. Um, I'll give you this one as well because this one's done in the casting compound. Okay. So if you like your resin, we've got resin in the show. There it is, and you can trap things in the resin, like um, dried flowers, that sort of thing as well. But the actual mold is going to give you this beautiful, beautiful vase. And then if you want it in your casting compound. So it's a, a solid structure rather than a see-through structure. Uh, then, of course, you can put both into this mold and it's totally reusable. So if you want the silicon mold to make lovely ornaments like this, I mean, maybe you're making to sell. I mean, if you are 
trying to find something that you can buy that's not going to you know, cost an absolute fortune. You don't have to buy you know, hundreds of pounds worth of machinery, but you want to be able to have a lovely craft store or craft fair later in the year in the summer fates, Christmas fates and that sort of thing. Then you can make these. These will be beautiful. They go down absolutely a storm. And why not put your fantasy flowers in the bars and sell it as a unit? What would you sell that for? I don't, I don't know. I tell you, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what I was thinking as well for weddings, table decoration. Yeah, perfect for that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's resin. That's the casting compound, both of which we have in the show. And of course, we've got our fantasy dip flowers. Now, the mould today is only 16 99 and you can use that again and again and again and again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just lasts. And you make these, don't you? Um, not that one. Ah. No, not that one. Okay. So if you want it, there it is. Uh, and if you want the test tubes, we've actually got these available, which can go in the mould, obviously. Um, and we've got those quickly. I'll show you details after we say hello to Gloria in Staffordshire. Hi, Joe and Dave. Love Joe's mould. Thank you, Joe. Brilliant. So you've obviously bought the moulds before. Um, the test tubes are separate, though. If you want the test tube to go in the hole in the top of the mould, a third of the stock has already gone. These are plastic test tubes, aren't they? Not yeah, plastic. you get three with the actual mould. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, you do get three with the mould. Right. Um, but also, because um, you kind of get addicted to making it, I've put some extra test okay. tubes on. So if you buy the mould, you'll get three, but if you need any more, we have got them separately available as well. And the test tubes are just £2 each, 5 99 and you get a pink, a blue, and a clear as well. But if you buy the mould, you'll get those three included as well. JK, no, it's not, it's JR1346. JR1346, if you fancy those. And we've got Oasis in the show. We've got more florist tape. We've got more of your flower stems as well. It's all there. Whatever you do, though, the, the big news this afternoon, and so many of you have been looking forward to this, we've got new colours in the Fantasy Dip. Let me show you the colourways again. If you've just switched over, just switched on, just got in from shopping or whatever you might be doing today. We've got the beautiful ocean which is that lovely baby blue that's stunning color isn't it can you see just how translucent it is you've got your moonstone which is what the lily was made from which is that beautiful opal and then you've got your bumblebee which is beautiful like a clotted cream yellow that, mm, isn't it? yeah really it's lovely. lovely isn't it and then you've got your cherry so perfect colors all different and they will complement previous fantasy dips that Joe's brought us in the past. Do you have to do anything to the dip when it arrives? Do you have to shake no. it, stir it? No, sometimes um, it can settle. Okay. So yeah, just have a look. Um, you'll be able to see. Um, but yeah, you can just give it a stir. Before oh. we do a demo again, can I just ask you, and, and this always sells out every single time it's on, we've got a pot here of the strengthener and a pot of the thinners. Yeah. Why That's, do you need those? Um, they're the old size, by the way. Oh, okay. They will be in the bigger pots. Okay. Um, now, the thinners, because uh, it is a resin, yep. um, and there is acetone mixed in with it. Right. So when you open it, there is going to be a smell. I'm not going to lie to it. There is going to be a smell, but you can't. It's just like nail polish. Okay. Um, and what acetone does, it evaporates. Right. So if you lead your, leave your lid off for too long, it's going to start evaporating. So I tend to sort of dip. I just have the lid, even if it's loose, it doesn't have to be screwed tight every time until you finish. But I tend to sort of dip, just put the lid on, dip and go yeah, like that. Your routine, yeah. 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 Um, so if it does thicken up, then you're going to need your thinners. Right. Um, and with the thinners, there's a special um, ingredient in there that stops the colour from fading. Okay. So some people tried all sorts to try and thin it and it just goes absolutely up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if it does get a little bit thick, then your thinners will sort it out. And presumably the strengthener is gonna make it rock solid. Yeah, it does, makes it, I mean, they're tough as they are, but if you wanna put it outside or if I was saying sort of earlier, if you wanna double dip, yeah. then that's gonna protect your, your petals. Right that you've made originally. Okay, well, we've got them back in stock today, the thinners and the strengthener. You get 125 mil in each. So these bottles or, or um, pots you're seeing here will be bigger than the ones we've got in the studio. 12.99 for both of them, uh, ZD1334, and a third of a big stock of those already gone. But the big news that everybody wants and everybody's talking about, start a collection. Brand new colors for this month. Spring colors for 2023, cherry, bumblebee, ocean, and Moonstone. 
6.99 a pot if you buy them as a set of four, not 8.99. So it's only about eight pounds off what the price should be by buying them as a set of four. And you saw how little Joe used in that demonstration. What are we do next, Joe? What do you want to show? Should us? we do some cherry blossom? Yeah. Let's yeah. Do it. So this, my lamp is a work in progress. That is gorgeous. Um, it will, we'll get there um, one day. I mean, imagine that covered and that in a, um, a swanky department store or a swanky yeah. interior design store. That would be hundreds of pounds, I would have thought. Yeah, yeah. I do Handmade. like making a lamp. Yeah. You know, I really do. I've made, I think this is the third or fourth one now I've made. When they're all finished, I'll bring them all in. And because it's translucent, the light goes through it. Doesn't yeah, it? it looks so pretty. Um, and <clears throat> in this as well, I put some of the crystals. So you should get that little bit of light bouncing off of them as well. Good. That's the idea. So. We'll go with this size. It's a bit big, really, for a blossom. I'm going to go with the smaller one. And you get how many? One, two, three, four. You get five different forms in wood. So yes. whether you're doing little petals, big petals. Yeah. So again, we're going to um, <clears throat> put the wire around. Just hold on to it. Twist your wire. Give it a couple of turns and then just push your wire down. And we're going to do this all in one go. Take your wire around. Grab where they meet. Twist your form a couple of times and then push your wire down. And we're going to do five petals one, two, three, four, five. You can just take your time doing it, you know, there's no pressure. There's, no, there's no rush at all. And if you don't like the look of it, you can just basically unravel it and yeah. try again. Yeah. And you'll be surprised. I mean, <clears throat> I'm no wire worker by any means. Um, and I do things and think, oh God, that's awful. And then once it's put together, you can't see. No. You know, it just sort of disappears. So we're going to take that off. I'm like I said gonna... before, no flower is perfect. They're all their own. No. So it's I'm just going to leave a couple of towels. Now what we want to do is to attach these two ends around that first one we made. So we're just going to bring that round and we're going to form a little sort of circle. So we want one wire over the top, one underneath. Just bring it in a little bit more. Grab hold of these. Careful not to squash what you've just done. And just twist it together. Get it in as tight as you can. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to bring that. So we've got a little hole now in the middle. How many tools do you need to invest in then? You need some snips, obviously. So you don't really need pliers, right. but I just use them because my hands are bad. Right. Um, so really, you can get away with just pliers, okay. uh, cutters. Cutters. Yeah. So you can, you know, treat yourself. So all I'm going to do is just start to go around this circle and just lay these flowers down, get that out of the way. And it will kind of tell you which way it wants to lay down. Mm -hmm. And again, if you've got a bit of a petal that might be out of shape, don't worry, because you're not going to see it. But just bring it round. Then we're just going to put a little bit of shape in. I tend to sort of sit it in my hand, really. Okay. And just go in. But make it like a little like, cup. Yeah, yeah, just like a little cup. And then we'll go for cherry. Okay, here we go, going right. for the dip. So, go right in, we want to go right up to there. Yeah. Let the big drip drip off. Yeah. And then just wiggle it around. So wiggling it around like that makes the color kind of evenly. Yeah. 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 It's a little bit harder when you've got this sort of shape. Right because it's kind of trying to compete to get over all the bits of wire. But if you held it up right straight away, the colour would drain to the centre. A lot of the colour will, yeah. So doing this just for a few seconds, that's all you've got to do, keeps the yeah. colour in the petals. Oh, I've got a shaky hand. That's it. So it just needs that kind of, needs that outer layer just to set. And leave that there for a minute or two and it'll be yeah. completely dry. Do that. Now, what I will do is I'll show you a different way, an easier way to make stamens. And this is, I'm using the rose. No, I'm not using the rose gold. I thought I was using the rose gold. I was going to do use the rose gold. I'm muttering to myself now. <laughs> right, so... I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> mumble, mumble, mumble. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So I'm just going to cut some lengths of wires. Again, there's a couple of ways you can do this, these. I mean, you can sit there just making stamens for hours. Or just dip them in. Yeah, just dip them in. Oh, now. Yeah. Just let that go off again. Dip back in. Perfect way of getting a stamen, isn't it? So you can make thousands of those. Yeah. Absolutely thousands. Now, I've got a question from Lynn in Greater London. Afternoon, Lynn. Could I ask what colour green do you recommend for the leaves? Love this range, by the way, she says. Thank you. Um, I, there are a few greens which I'll bring next time, like the collection. Yeah. Um, there's um, chartreuse, there's forest green and British racing green are my go-to greens. Yeah. Um, there is, um, I have got a very, I've got pistachio, which is really nice, but kind of a combination mm. of all of them colours. Yeah. It's not really helpful. Um, so foliage is never one colour green, grass no, is never one colour green. No. Um, so, yeah, you can use, I suppose my go-to is the forest green. Okay. I well, tend we'll try and get that a um, some greens in for you next time. Yeah. That, so, that Joe's here. But today, you've got the cherry, you've got the bumblebee, you've got the moonstone, and you've got the ocean as well. So brand new spring 2023 colours, 27 99 for 150 mil pots, not 125, 150 mil, and you get all four of them. And what I love is that there's no massive major expense with this. It no. Lets, you've got the no. bits, all you need to the wire, and that's really it. Yeah, and the, they just last. So just keep your lid on, mm. you know, in between dipping. And they'll last, you can make hundreds mm. of flowers, and you know, not from just one pot. for pots and vases and decorations like that. We've got them dotted around the studio. We've got them on headdresses. Um, Jimmy and Ellie on the floor today have decorated our mannequins. There's a beautiful posh hat, maybe going to the races. A lovely lily in the middle of that up there. I mean, look, look at all of, I mean, you can really go so far with this. I mean, this rose is very Beauty and the Beast, isn't it? Don't you think? There we are. How gorgeous is that? I mean, that is never going to disappear. It's never going to wilt. It's never going to die. It doesn't need water, but it's always going to be on display and on show. And look at those beautiful black gemstones in the middle of that sunflower. Whether you're using those for a sunflower project or whether you're using them in a poppy or something like that, they sparkle beautifully. But, you know, this, this sort of thing can be used for fashion, for home decor, for jewellery making, of course. Ali in Greater London says, hi, can I ask you, can you mix the colours together? Good question. You can, just be careful. If you, I meant to put some em empty pots on. Um, just be careful, just do a little bit at a time. Don't sort of mix half a pot and then half a pot, just in case you don't like the colour. Yeah. Um, so, but yes, they do mix. Just do a little bit at a time. Maybe in an egg cup or something like that. Or Yeah, or it, as long as you've got sort of a sealed container, you want it sealed. Okay. Right. Um, so, yeah, anything with a lid on, All right. really. So, yes, you okay, can. But yeah, yes, have you a little can. play, but don't put too much in in case you don't like it. Uh, DM1321, this is what everybody's been asking for. All four brand new colours from Joe and the Craft Hut today. And, uh, you know, it takes you... You can start off with small flowers like Joe's showing you at the moment, and that's going to end up on the... On the on the yeah, shade, yeah. I can see that. I mean, the small, small infield flowers look absolutely brilliant. Mm. Um, and you can, you know, obviously you can close that up and make that into a bud, you know. So you've got so many variations, you know, you can go from your bud to your partially open to your, whoa, I'm here, yeah. you know. Um, what I was going to show you, but it's nearly gone now, is sometimes you can get little wrinkles. Um, we're I'm right under the air con. So a lot of them have just gone. They do normally um, just disappear when, as it's drying. If you find you've got a stubborn wrinkle, mm -hmm. we all know what they're like. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. just put, um, very gently put a heat gun on. Right. And it will just take them away. Okay. But the odd wrinkle, don't bother me. No, don't bother me either. No. Absolutely. And um, by the way, we do also have extra Oasis in the show. If you want a couple of blocks of Oasis, we've got those at a really good price as well. Um, you know, you'll probably need to kind of replace the Oasis once in a while once you've kind of been piercing it for quite a lot. So if you fancy these, 
Um, this is a bit of a daft price as far as I'm concerned. MD1386, if you've already paid your, uh, for your fantasy dips and you paid your one PMP, it's 150 delivered for you for two uh, round discs of Oasis. You can buy more if you want to. Um, it's gonna be your new favorite thing, I'm sure about it. And you know, if maybe you've seen something around similar to this maybe many, many years ago, yeah, this is a modern twist on it, isn't it? Mm. Your twist on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know um, we have ribbon here, don't we, with we their do. reeves? Yeah. You know, some of these popped into some of their reeves. Amazing. Yeah. Would look amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Good I mean, anything. use it across all of your crafts. Yeah. You know, you could even put little flowers on cards and, and put them through in cards, and, and it's a gift as well at the same time, then. You can put little brooch backs on them and wear them. Uh, Jennifer in East Sussex. Hi, Joe and Dave. Hi, Jennifer. Love fantasy resin many years ago and always love it. Now, I cannot say no, as it will remind me of my florist days. No, oh, Thanks for Jen. Brilliant. Yeah. Nice it was, it came out in the 70s. Yes. Yeah, and I used it in the 70s. And I've just been, you know, it's been in the back of my mind for years. Mm -hmm. um, and I've tried all sorts, but that's it. Now, the wire, that's going very, very quickly as well. Remember, you get two rolls of the rose gold uh, covered wire. Um, we've got 25 metres in that one, and that one is 0.5 of a mil. We've got 70 metres of the 0.3 in the rose gold, and we've also got 25 metres of the 0.5 in the silver plated. So if you want to stock up on your wire today, 16.99 for all three reels. That should last you a very, very long time. You've got a total of 120 metres. So that's a lot of flowers. Yeah, you tend to use more of the uh, 0.5. Yep. Um, point three, I mean, I do make the smaller flowers in the point three and also the um, veins. So the bigger the flower, point three. the thicker the wire, yeah? Yeah, right. yeah, it just gives you, because when it dries, it kind of pulls in, it shrinks a little bit, not that you can really notice. So if you've got um, a large petal with a point three wire, it's going to pull it in and perhaps distort it too much. Mm -hmm. Whereas that point five just holds the shape that you dip in. And if you, if you find that, you know, like a, a petal, maybe it kind of pops and it, it disappears before it's actually set and dried, just redip it. That's all you've got to do. It's a bit like when you put a, a circular a handle in for a balloon and blow it. It's a bit yeah. like that, isn't it? It's the same yeah. sort of technique. Yeah. Well, this is, the, this is the beautiful lily that Joe made at the beginning of the show, in case you've just switched on, using the Moonstone Fantasy Dip and just added a few of the little sparkling gems in the centre for stamens, a little bit of a Posca pen maybe for tips on the edge and a fine liner for the speckles that you see with tiger lilies. Or you can just leave it plain. Uh, it's entirely up to you. But imagine a vase full of those. They would look spectacular. Yeah, yeah. They, they look absolutely stunning all put together. Yeah. Um, you know, and there's even, uh, where is it? Oh, excuse me. This, I think, I made last year. Mm -hmm. um, but again, sort of cherry blossom. Oh, wow. You know, just a bit of old twig from the garden. Um, oh, so you just twisted the wire on the twig? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. That's amazing. Now, Teresa in Newport says, will we be able to buy colours singularly at any time, please? Um, Teresa, because of your question, the answer is yes. You can buy them individually if you want to. Most of you wanted to go for the set of four with the best possible price. If you want them individually, we can offer them to you individually as well. Uh, now, they don't currently have pictures, and we've literally only just arranged this. A few of you asked if you could just buy one colour. So if you are novice to this and you just want to try one colour, uh, we've got the Bumblebee available for you. So that is DE1363. I'll hold them up for you so we can see. So that's your Bumblebee, a lovely kind of... Um, Beautiful, kind of custard yellow. Very, very lovely. So that is Bumblebee. If you fancy that one, that's $8.99. Okay, now, obviously, if you buy the set of four, they're $6.99 each. So how about, if you just want one, we give it to you for $7.99. We'll meet you in the middle. We'll take a pound off the $8.99, let you have it for $7.99 if you want the Bumblebee. Here it comes. So the best way and the most affordable way is to buy the set of four. But if you just want one colour to try it, then $7.99 is the price for each of them individually, okay? DE1363, that's your bumblebee. Then if you want the cherry, which is the one that Joe used a few minutes ago for that beautiful flower to go on the, uh, on the lampshade, then the cherry is going to be the same. $7.99, 150 millibits, so it's going to last you a long, long time. And then maybe add the starter kit to get started, or maybe you've already got the starter kit and you just want to have uh, a lovely red in your collection of fantasy dips. MB1362, £7.99 for your cherry. 
Now, the Moonstone is probably the most versatile, and I probably predict this will be the first one to sell out, I would have thought, yeah. um, because this is a, a lovely opalescent and a totally transparent. Well, I say totally transparent, quite transparent. Um, but it gives you that pearl finish. That's Moonstone, $7.99, and that's VU1369. And then the last colour is your Ocean. And I love this blue. I really, really do. And the Ocean, obviously the actual... Um, Fantasy dip itself is a darker color than what you actually get when you actually dip it because it obviously lightens because it's translucent But what a gorgeous color that is. Isn't that lovely? $7.99 for that on its own, but if you want to go for all four you'll save another four pounds But you can buy them individually or go for a couple There's only ever one PMP remember with us of just $3.95 for the entire day We have still got stock of the strengthener and the thinner uh, Joe and I've got another show at four o'clock this afternoon But I know an awful lot of stock is going to go in between shows So we're going to be focusing more on the vase, I believe in the four o'clock show But if you want your fantasy dip to make beautiful flowers like these I mean, let me give you another few ideas over here. I mean, look at this done with the moonstone. Mix and match some of your little beads that you've got. If you're a jewelry maker or whatever, you can introduce metal beads. You can do your own stamens by dipping just basically the wire in the, in the fantasy yeah, dip. Yeah, you can make, yeah, hundreds of them. And you can do that while you're sitting there watching telly, yeah. you know, just dipping and out. Um, I always say, make, make yourself plenty of stamens and plenty of, plenty of leaves. Yeah. Um, because you'll use loads of them. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, you know, there's no noise. You know, you can do it sat down, have maybe a lap tray on your, your, your lap or something like that. You don't need to plug anything in or anything like that. You haven't got to kind of be banished to the garden shed or the, out, the outhouse or whatever you've got, the garage. Um, yeah, do make sure you've got a bit of ventilation probably. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, it does smell like nail polish remover. Okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <That's it. laughs> well, whatever you do, if you want this bundle, twenty-seven ninety-nine is the brand new. It's the lowest price we can do. It means it's only six ninety-nine per pot, and it's DM one three two one. This has become one of the most popular crafts and hobbies that we have here at Hobby Maker. Um, and the, from the day that that actually um, Joe brought it to us, you've absolutely loved it. So here's a chance to get four new colours in your collection. And in answer to questions, can you mix the colours together? Yes, you can, but do it um, sparingly to make sure you like the colour that you end up with and make sure it's got a lid on it as well. Josie at four o'clock? Yes. What a show, Thank what a start so tomorrow much. afternoon. Debbie Moore's on the way then. She know is here at Hobby Maker for the very first time. Can't wait to see her at three. So that's all on the way, don't go away. This coming Saturday on Hobby Maker, we have got a brand new tool for you from the brilliant brand Under the Rainbow. Now this is an A4 multi-plate tool. Now that sounds interesting, doesn't it? This tool will emboss, it'll make boxes, it'll make cards, it'll do embellishments, but it also has a hidden secret. It has a parchment plate, would you believe, as well, so it's brilliant. So join us this coming Saturday at 3pm for Under the Rainbow's brand new A4 multi-plate tool. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. If you've recently missed your favourite show on Hobby Maker, it's really easy to catch up on our website. Simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click TV Guide. Here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days, which you can watch, pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobby Maker's catch up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed
and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? Hi everybody, how you doing? It's Hobby Maker, and uh, we have a start on our weekend a bit early. We're here every day, one until eight, every day, seven hours of inspiration and crafting, uh, crammed to the rafters full of ideas, demonstrations, amazing deals, and look who's with me. Debbie's back. I know. I'll only, keep you away. I know. I was, only, I was only here for five days ago, I, I think. Know, I know. But no, I'm very excited to be here. Now, what Debbie has done for us this afternoon is really exciting. I was just saying to her before we came live that the artwork of this collection is stunning. It's never been seen on Hobby Maker. It's a brand new collaboration, brand new collection that we've got together here for you today. And you've got the choice of either going for USBs, digital downloads, or indeed the actual physical card kit. Look at this. This is the journey to Wonderland. So it's your adaptation or interpretation of the Lewis Carroll. Yeah, so we actually um, started doing this quite a few years ago and we built on it. Yes. And it's our adaptation of the famous Lewis Carroll, obviously Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I was telling you earlier that I ended up living a few miles where he was actually brought up. Wow. And I could see the inspiration at the local, uh, his, the church with the Cheshire cat mm -hmm. and everything like that. So I just love the story. It's so fun. And we brought it out as a card range. Well, whether you're thinking back to the original movie and the original film or the more modern interpretation, of course, that we all probably have seen recently, the artwork's great, instantly recognisable. The Cheshire Cats, you've got just amazing colourways. There's 28 sheets in this collection. And true to Debbie's usual offer, there is a forever code as well. What does that mean? It means that when you've used up the physical paper and the card that you get in this kit through your letterbox, you can go to Debbie's website, use the forever code and print all this artwork off again and again and again and again. It never, ever runs out. So if you want the Journey to Wonderland, it's VH611. Eight. That's the product code. Now you've got lots in here. Not only have you, of course, have got background papers, you've got faux bows, you've got toppers, you've got uh, so much in here. There is. On uh, further down, as we, oh, we can look at it now, you can see that you've got rocker cards in there. We've also got side, uh, well, actually, no, it's scene cards in there. But what I've tried to do is put a whole mixture of all the different characters on there, from the Mad Hatter's Tea Party to um, I can never remember the name of the caterpillar. Oh, now you're asking. Um, Message in if you know. I yes, know please. It has a very strange name. I want to say Kevin, but I'm only guessing. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's the character I'm on about. So, except for, so what I was trying to say is we put all the different characters in. Um, but with the whole range, it is definitely not called Kevin. Okay. It starts with an A. Is it an A? 
Um, well, we're trying to find it. Trying to find it. This is called the caterpillar, I think. No, uh, no. Absalom. Absalom. That's Absalom. the name. Absalom. I knew it started with an A. I was almost there. Good old Google. Uh, the so you have all these gorgeous characters, and the thing about it is, it's timeless. Yes. This can be used for card making. It can be used for scrapbooking, making memory books. It's fun for the whole family. It's great for home decor too. Yes, and because you have the forever code, you can actually create your own DIY candles. We have a candle demonstration coming up. My favorite. Uh, and I'm gonna be showing you how you can create using the imagery. You can actually put it on there. It is really a fun collection. Now it should be, I say should be 19.99. That is not your price. That would be a great price. There's 28 sheets and it's a mixture of GSM as well. Yes, yeah, so you have the cardstock is printed on 250 GSM okay. or 92 pound and the backing papers are printed on 150 GSM and it's edge to edge and uh, and that is 65 pounds as well. Okay, now to get 28 sheets with a forever code and artwork that you can use and make to sell, that's absolutely fine. As long yes, as, you've made something as long as with you it. actually create create a project, yes. Okay, should be 19.99. Now in half a minute, we're gonna get you the price that you'll be paying today. If you know you love this, maybe you grew up on this story or just brings back lovely memories of being read a bedtime story in your youth or whatever, or you just love the movie, you just love the story, get it in your basket and check out because in less than, well, about 15 seconds, we're gonna give you the price. 19.99, I would have thought would have been an absolute bargain, but it's gonna be lower than that. How much lower? I do not know, but it's gonna be lower than 19.99. <laughs> Five seconds to go and we'll dip the price for you. Hello, Jacqueline, hello, Sandra, hello, Annette, hello, Sylvia, Helen, Annette, you're all in. Let's show you where we're going with this. Not 19.99, 17.99. And with that forever code, exactly. you buy it once, you ne never ever need You'll to buy it You'll never run out, okay. I, set, I had a lovely uh, letter from a person. She actually made, she had a Manhattan's Tea Party. Oh, brilliant. Because when we come to look at the USB key, you've got invites. So she created invites from there. How fun is that? I mean, these are gorgeous. I mean, uh, the card that we're looking at was actually done by Barbara. I've had an amazing feedback on this collection you are not going to be disappointed when you get it home because I mean, you get so much in it my dad would love that card you know these are cards for children they're cards for adults male female everybody can enjoy this artwork and we all know it we've all grown up with it whether we are like me nearly 60 or whether you're in your teens you probably have heard of through the looking glass and all of that so it's a classic tale classic story it's yours today for 17 pounds and 99 pence look at those two characters aren't they great now we have got a usb key coming up as well that's actually got yes. three collections on it 3446 printable elements that's when the... we stopped that's when you stopped yeah there might be a few more afterwards okay, okay. this is that's what happens counting. people always right. ask me is that exact and i'm like it's about there there might be another 50 there might be another 100 <laughs> but that is when it's printed as in at the size it is and we'll be showing you how you can change the sizes because by doing candles you need to be able to change the sizes but we do also know that a lot of you do like to have a physical car kit in your hands as well as having the option of printing off the extra artwork then this is the great way to do yes. just that forever code included inside the packaging uh, so if you've got a favorite topper a favorite character you can print that off 150 times if you want to there's no limit there's no restriction and also you can sell what you make remember vh6118 vh6118 is the product code i've got a few finished cards here to show you quickly just look at these to give you an idea of the sort of thing that you can create with them. I absolutely love this artwork and I love these stories. I love these tales. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Who does that remind you of? I was thinking of exactly the same actor. Um, there we are. There's Alice herself. Oh the, uh, oh, the golfing scene with the flamingo as the golf club. I remember that now. I've forgotten all about that. But just great. Instantly recognisable. And I can't remember the names of these characters. Tweedledum and Tweedledee? That's right. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. If you open that up, that is a beautiful, I think Stephen made this. If you pull the sides. Yeah. Okay, and it is a gorgeous oh, wow. scene card. It's literally a story in front of your eyes without any words, but it's telling the story. Uh, the rabbit, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Let me have a look. That's me normally in the morning, checking. Well, I'm not dressed like that. <laughs> um, here we've got uh, the Wicked Queen. Who would, you say, who would you send that one to? Mm, interesting. 
1799, that's going to give you the car kit plus the forever code. And I always say whenever Debbie's here, it's, she's one of the most generous suppliers that we have to give artwork that once you've bought it once, you don't have to buy it again, is incredibly a generous thing to do. So 1799VH61108 is the item number. Now we have also got some MDF plaques in the show as well. Now these are great and they are fantastic, even undecorated, but when you see them decorated, they, they literally come to life. So we've got curiouser and curiouser, but look what you can make it into. You can use the artwork from the paper kit because it fits the character beautifully paint the actual words, the beautiful butterflies and the toadstools. So no one would ever know that that's MDF. So there's Isn't Curious. That gorgeous? Curious. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, price of this, it comes like this, obviously. And you do, oh, do you actually get the... Oh, you yeah, get you the get sheet the sheet. Yes, yeah, oh. so you don't... You get that as well. So it'll come flat. So, yeah. you'll get, so if I just lift it, this one up, for example, when you get it home, it will be completely flat. Right, OK. So just you'll get the, the actual on. sheet for the character, what you need to do is pop it in, paint it, put your character on, but paint it first and then put the character stick the on character on. $6.99, only $6.99 for Curiouser and Curiouser with that art sheet as well, uh, SU6183. Next one, we've got the Queen of Hearts. There we go, here's the Queen of Hearts. There it is, unpainted. There it is, decorated and papered and painted. It's gotta be done in black, hasn't it? with uh, red hearts, red glitter maybe on the love hearts as well. But again, you get the printed element down there as well for the main character. Um, maybe put a pack of cards nearby as well yep. for decoration, that yep. would look fantastic. That's in the middle of a table. Yep, there's the Queen of Hearts, that's 6 dollars as well. And then we've got Tweedledum and Tweedledee, and this one, there we go. <laughs> How do you do? They're really gorgeous. And again, you get the printed element as well. Uh, the printed sheet comes with it too. So great maybe for a kid's bedroom, uh, maybe a bit of fun in an office. If you want them, they're $6.99 each, complete with the artwork, RX6117 for Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Okay, so the extravaganza, we're going to demo with the kit now, aren't we? Yes, so, so what I'm going to do is I am using the craft card that we have on the show. Yeah. Um, we've got 25 sheets on for only 4 99 Brilliant. And, and so simply, I'm doing a base card on this. So with the actual card itself, you can print on it, but also I tend to use it also as a base card. So I've got one of my toppers already done, so you can see how gorgeous they are. And I've got one to do what we call a front step. So I've got my card base, and then what you're going to do is to do the same size again, and then fold down to, to create a step. Okay. So all I'm doing is create my step. Oops, make sure it's straight. I never use a ruler. <laughs> there we go. I don't know many crafters that do, to be fair. <sighs> Why waste using a ruler? Life's too short. Life's too short. And then I'm just trimming it down. Make sure it's straight. There we go. And this can be done with any size square, essentially. So if you like this step card, all you need to do for a bigger square is get two, this is a six by six, so you can do the same principle with an eight by eight. Okay. So there is my step. And then to put it together, essentially you're gonna put one card in front of the other. And that's how you create well, the that step. that was easy, wasn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, use any adhesive, double-sided tape, tape pens. I will be bringing this glue hopefully next month to okay, everybody good and that's a, a glue you swear by obviously well it's one i use i tend to use a couple of glues this one's great because um it's quick okay i'm probably the most impatient crafter you'll ever meet <laughs> okay so what i'm then doing uh this is one of the papers a lovely paper and it's got a hint of vintage behind it so the thing about journey to wonderland i just got a pencil there the Journey to Wonderland collection. I've designed it so you can use it as a standalone or if you want to rub distress ink, you can. Right. So then what I'm doing is making a mark like so. And another top tip, because I want to do the step as well, mm -hmm. I mark here the space I need for this bit and then I move my sheet down and then trim down to what I need at the bottom. Okay. So by three marks, you've got exactly what you need. The only thing is you Can need you to be able to see them. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see them. Uh, that's that one there. Okay. <laughs> and then I just move this one down. It's only little top tips that make your life easier. So, and then it cuts to the right size that you need. Trim it up a little bit or move it up. 
There we go. And then we have got, as you can see, the right sizes for that part and my lovely Perfect. step. So when the, with the actual extravaganza, you ha I've done it as a mixture. So what I've tried to do is what I've got, got main toppers in there. Yep. But then you've also got some dimensional cards, scene cards and also rocker cards. When we look at the USB key, you'll be able to see there's loads more dimension. I mean, the USB key has got three and a half thousand images on it. It is. You will take one or two. But uh, yeah, incredible. So I'm just going to have this position just a bit up like so. So I want to be able to see a little bit. And then I'm going to just put a bit of adhesive on that. This is making me want to watch the movie again. Oh, it is such a fun collection. There we go. And then press down. Then this bit, I've got my ribbon strip that's going to go across here. Yep. Trim it down. Because all the accessories are there as well. You've yes. got your tags, you've got your sentiments, you've got your ribbons. Well, there's so much on there. Mm. Let me just make sure I got it the right it's size. The colours that get me, they're so vibrant. Yes, well, it is a vibrant, uh, well, I was going to say country. <laughs> it's a vibrant story. Yeah. Yes, it is. And this is what we've done. This is one colourway. When we come to have a look at on the digital collections, you'll see that you've got other options. And you've even got things like this. The best things in life aren't things. <laughs> so that's going to go at an angle. And look, I've got some little playing cards. Yeah. And this lovely font, okay. So you can see how it's all like, all this is on this collection. And that's going to go like so. How lovely is that? Beautiful. So we're going to put it together. Let's that's a good top tip, actually, to actually place things on before you stick them down, just to see how they're going to look, if you want to move them a little bit. When there's so many elements, you know, just yeah, have a little play. Oh, my goodness, yes. The amount of times I change my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the time. So let's put this on here. I don't know what I've done with my pricking tool. Let's put that like that at an angle. Well, they're so sought after, someone's probably nicked it. Yes, <laughs> probably too. I am bringing, there's some new stock coming, um, I think at the beginning of next month. Okay, good. But let's have these like that. Put your playing cards on. And like I said before, you know, this sort of theme is great for everyone, young, old, male, female. Everyone knows the story. Look at Everyone that. Everyone can appreciate it. That's lovely, isn't it? So if I turn it around, you'll be able to see how it stands. Look. And if you've never bought anything from Debbie before and you're not sure what a forever code is, in the packaging, when this card kit arrives, there'll be a little sheet and it will have a forever code. Now, all you have to do then is go to Debbie's website. That will be in the packaging as well, the details of that, and then put the forever code in. That will open up all the artwork. You'll see it there. You can print it off onto whatever you like, whether you're printing it off onto tissue paper, whether you're printing it off onto um, Cinture Repair, whether you're printing it off onto fabric, whatever you want to do. It's your artwork to do with what you want. $17.99 for the collection, 28 sheets in total it's the extravaganza collection for that price with the forever code included you've even got your background papers in there of course as well as the main toppers and the main characters it's lovely a lovely collection now the usb let's move on now lots of you i know in the early days of digital were maybe a little bit intimidated by it and i must admit i was too i'm not anymore because everything virtually now is digital our phones are digital our cars are going digital everything seems to be our tvs are um, so this isn't one collection on a USB key. This is three collections from the journey to Wonderland. And in total, you've got 3,446 printable elements. I could have put a few more on there. I could have, couldn't I? But that's printed at one size. Right. So when we come and have a look at it, you'll be able to see that you can actually change the sizes. OK. Now, don't think to yourself, well, how do I find what I want out of three and a half thousand images? It's all done in a really clever way. Um, Debbie's husband actually had developed the actual um, kind of system that the that's on the USB. It's like a filing cabinet in different categories. So you can easily go to whichever category you want to go to. So if you want the USB, it should be $53.97 for three complete collections, all from the journey to Wonderland. Now, this is not going to be a pound off or two pound off, or even five pounds off. This is going to be an one of the biggest savings of the day so far, okay, which is why Cats put the clock on the screen. You're gonna get volume one, volume two, and 
the Paper Crafting Collection Volume 3 as well. 3,446 elements. So there were three individual collections originally. They were. Right. So we decided when we were putting the show together to uh, bring the compendium. So people don't have to choice. This is the, all of our collections in one place. Good. It's a click and print system, works on PC, Mac and Linux, and even the new Windows 11. Okay. So we've designed it that has JPEGs on as PDFs, and that way anybody can look at it by the systems that we have. You're going to lose yourself for a whole afternoon when you get this, just going through all the artwork that's now yours to do with what you will. Provided you make something from the artwork, you can sell it. Okay, five seconds for... We're only going to skip the surface and skim the surface with this. We can't go through every 3,446 no. <laughs> images. Okay, let's get that price down. Where is it going to go? It should be just under £55. Today you can have all three collections Twenty-three ninety-seven. I know. That's a £30 saving for 3,446 elements. And remember, Debbie said, that's just at one size. You can yes. increase the size, decrease the size by 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%. If something's too big, shrink it down to 50%. So those 3,446 elements suddenly then become even more. Massive, massive content on this, all stored on that USB. You're paying $7.99 per collection for gorgeous art. It is. It's, so, it's something that you'll reach for because when we get, we're going to have a look at it now, but there is so much more on there. Yeah. You know, you were talking about invites before. You've also got uh, dimensional aspects on there, inserts, matching envelopes. So if anybody is going for the extravaganza kit by getting the actual USB key, you get all the add-ons. Now, Kat, our producers, plugged the USB into her PC next door in the gallery. So let's have a little look at what you can expect to see. Um, that's basically what greets you. And then, of course, you just click to go to the main menu and you choose which of the three collections you want to actually look at. Uh, which one do we want to go to first? Uh, let's do the first one. Okay. Okay, so you go into the first one and look how much is on there. So everything's on the left-hand side. It is a click and print system. So if you go into, for example, always go into the design sheets because that's everything. Else. Sorry, Cheshire Cat's making me smile. Uh, if you <laughs> click on one of the Cheshire Cats, the idea behind it is it brings up a design sheet in different colorways. You have even got some, uh, I, don't, I haven't got my glasses, that sentiment. Can you read that? Simple. Um. A simple smile makes the world a better place. Isn't I'm surprised that lovely? I could read it. Actually, my yeah. eyes are bad as well. <laughs> so you have really fun characters. So that's one design sheet. If you to print this off, you just need to go to top right hand side. You can see a little printer icon. By clicking on there, your print preview will come up, and you'll be able to see what the sheet is. Mm -hmm. Now this is how the magic happens. If you go to the scale section, that everybody can do this. You can change the size. So if you think, oh, that top is too big, I want to put it on an A6. So make it 50 percent. If you change that to 50 percent you can change okay. the side it instantly doesn't affect anything and you can print it off we're going to click on cancel and then to close this down to go back to the menu you have to click on the x at the top so we're going to have a look at the next character look at the queen so if you look at the queen itself what we've tried to do with that is giving you very fun also sentiments on there so yet again you've got characters and you can use it for all different occasions but look at that color it's just such a fiery it's vibrant, red. isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Um, and you know, in this day and age, you don't need an expensive printer as long as it's just a decent one. I think you you bought yours from Supermarket. I did, I did for yeah. thirty nine ninety nine. But now I also have a couple, an expensive one. There's no difference between the two. Right. So we click on Alice, and as you can see, Alice is in the traditional blue. But then we've changed the colorways as well, so you can see yet again the toppers. But We've got, as you go through all the different collections, you'll have it in different stances and different uh, toppers. And as you can see, you've got them in different colorways as well. Well, the lines are getting busy for this. I'm not and at all surprised with going, so much content. This Mad is only Hatter. the first collection. How cool is he? He is, a, he is so much fun. And I love that one. You're my favorite, that's bonkers. my favorite one. You're entirely bonkers. But I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. I know. There we go. How cool is that? I can relate to that. Yeah. yeah, so you have really fun toppers on there as well. And we keep on going. Don't forget, I mean, I use this rabbit so much. 
don't be late for a very important date. Sorry I'm late. That is the perfect <laughs> belated birthday card, isn't, isn't it? it? Absolutely, Absolutely right. perfect for it. Yet again, it's got different size toppers. That's one section. So we go to the backing papers, okay? And they're the papers and you go through. We will always use these in the crafty stash because you will have what we call vintage ones, basic ones, you keep on going through. There are traditional hearts on that. And then we've got, if you click on one of those vintage ones down there, what we've done in here is giving you almost like a scrapbook page. Yep. So if you want to create a journal or if you want to with the characters, you have those choices on there. And then we close mm -hmm. that down and then we're going to say the envelopes. I love these and C6 envelopes, for example and just click on one, everything's done for you. You just print it off, how cool is that? So not only are the cards fantastic, but the envelope to put your card into will be fantastic as well. This is just too good to miss. This is the first just... collection. It's a yes. three part USB. Uh, they've all been their own collections in the past, but they've been put together as a kind of a threesome yeah. there with Debbie for just 23.97 for three complete collections. Pyramid magic. Now, Kat's asking about that. I know about that. Yeah, so, so we need to go into the other sections, okay? Because there's, we've only just showed you two sections. And you've got decoupage in there. You've got inserts on there. You've got toppers, uh, sentiments. And there's so much on there. You've got the... Actually, why don't you click on the digi stamps? If you're into your colouring, yep. how about making oh. your own colouring book? Black and white sketches. There you go. Okay. Yeah. And then they are the extra add-ons. But if you come out of here and go to, for example, the cat, one of the characters. Yeah. Make your own whatever <laughs> colour it in. You know, this is just showing you a little tiny bit. Now we're going to show you the other two, one of the other collections. So what you then need to do is you should be able to go back. Um, there you go. Yep. Then click on number two. There you go. And look how much more you get it. So now she's at the palace. That is my favourite image. Okay. Fabulous, isn't it? A golf club. So yeah. then you go in the design sheet. So we have then taken aspects of the story. So then she's at the palace. Then she's also at Mad Hatter's Tea Party. So just click on one of those. So you can actually just see what comes up. Yeah, there she is. And look at the detail in it. There's a little mouse in the teapot. So, oh, wow. yeah, so, you know, <laughs> you can print that off if you love that. You can make that whatever size you want. If you come out of that, let's keep going, okay. There's that, uh, oh, there's the, the one that you like. There's Alice at the Palace, obviously yeah. in different colorways again. Uh, and look, even the hedgehog, the details on the hedgehog, everything is just there for you to enjoy. It's all about versatility. You're in control with this. If you buy a card kit, it's pre-printed. It's also pre-sized. You can't really do much about that. With digital like this, you can make it whatever size you wish that your printer can cope with. And all of your colors are going to coordinate beautifully well as well. But, you know, rather than buying loads and loads and loads of papers, you just print off what you need when you need it. So you haven't got to store masses and masses of collections. It's all on the memory of the USB. Those playing cards are just They're great, great aren't they? Are they? Really, now, really cool. there is a paper that matches. It's one of my favorite papers. So we come out of that and go into papers. I mean, you could be keep going through all the papers. These are all the basic papers. You'll find that set one and set two work together. Keep on going until you see the playing card. Guys, keep going. There he is at the top. Click on one in different colorways. That would be brilliant as a wrapping paper. It would be, wouldn't it? It's yeah. like stakes and ladders. Yes, exactly. So there, it is a fun collection, everybody. Now, I just want to just give you a little snapshot of the dimension, and then we're going to do a demo. Um, if you come out of this one and then go to the dimensional one. So I was telling you earlier that we've got loads of different dimensionals. So what we've done on here, as you can see, you've got card fronts. How about making your own Journey to Wonderland calendar? Ooh. So not only sell a card kit, Sell a calendar. Oh, sorry, a card, make a calendar. Yeah, look at this. So there's no uh, days of the week, so therefore you so can make a calendar uh, every year. Every year. So it's set as A4, but if you go, if we go to print now, you can change it and make, I don't, there's 50%. Yeah. A baby calendar, a desktop calendar. Desktop, yeah. I mean, that in its own, you're going to get your money back on the spending Absolutely for the USB right. key. And that's the beauty about the dimensional. Look at the dimensional. You get yourself a cup of tea, or depending when you're looking, a glass of wine, and go through everything to see what you're getting with over 3,400 printable elements Can you at one size. just how big the card kit would be if it came with 3,446 elements pre-printed? It would be massive. Yes. You know, side scenes printed, calendars printed, There's loads. Printed, toppers printed you just print what you want if you're going to projects so if you've never done if you go to projects there look at that 
Oh, All the projects are there. So if you, there's a calendar on there, there's a corner card, there's the corner card. Yep. How cool will that be to send that? There's a grotto card as well. All this is on here, okay? Uh, and for the price that you're getting, uh, you know, it is an amazing, almost like a library at your fingertips, it is. isn't it? Okay, now that is the USB. So you'll get the physical dongle USB delivered through your door, and then you just plug it into your PC with all three collections. Now, if you're not bothered about uh, having the USB itself, then you still want to have digital content. We've got actually, uh, basically it's an email that will be sent to you by Debbie's office with a, a, a link. You basically click the link and it takes you to the artwork. Yes. Now we've got three different ones, is that right? No, oh, this is a digital collection. Digital collection. So, so you, everything that's on the USB yes. will be on there. And it'll look exactly the same. Right. The only difference is you'll get an email. So uh, obviously the office is closed over the weekend. So the emails will be sent out on Monday. Yep. Yep. Okay, so what will happen is you'll get an email. It'll explain what to do, but literally click on it and then run it and it'll run on your computer. So Simple all as the that. artwork on that USB, 3,446 elements, all three collections will be in that link that you'll get. You'll get it before the physical USB. So you may well want to, to go for this option. You'll still get exactly the same artwork, same angel policy. You can make and sell what you make, no problem. UQ6105. Now, if you do sell what you make, everyone is instantly going to recognize the characters and the story. So imagine if you're loving it because you remember being read the book or seeing the film or whatever, everyone else that comes to buy your cards or comes to buy whatever you're selling will recognize the story and it'll probably take them back in time as well. 4397 should be the price for all three kits as a download. Now remember, if you buy this on its own, you won't pay the PMP. We'll get your, your PMP will be refunded um, straight away. So you'll get your 395 back. Provided though, if if you buy something else, like, you know, earlier in the day or later in the day, you still be charged your 395. But it's a, if it's only this that you buy, you get your 395 postage returned to you. Um, I'm afraid there's no returns policy on digital because it's obviously uh, it's not a physical product. You can't send it back to us. It's literally an email and a link that's going to be sent to you. You're not going to want to return this anyway. So it's not really an issue, is it? Um, when you get this home, you'll just sit there and probably lose yourself in the artwork for a long, yes, long time. Yes, you will. 20 seconds. Three huge collections, identical to what's on the USB. We took the USB to a ridiculous price. We're going to take the download email to a ridiculous price as well. And it doesn't disappear after you use one thing. If you print something off and it, it doesn't just go boom into thin air, it stays there. You can print the same sheet 25 times if you want to. This is a crazy price for all that artwork with a policy that allows you to sell what you make. Look at how little it's costing you. 18.99. You will get that email Monday morning. It's six pounds 33 per digital collection. It's exactly the same as the USB, just literally a download, which you just click and that's it. You've then got that on your PC. If you want to put that artwork onto uh, a separate storage hard drive, you can do that as well. Store it in the memory of the PC if you want to. 18.99 for 3,446 elements. You don't need lots of space in your craft room or in the lounge or in the dining room or maybe your craft is taking over the house. This is basically storage digitally on a hard drive or on your PC and you've got the artwork there forever. It's not going to disappear. Now, June. Hello, June. Good afternoon. Uh, June's in Lincolnshire. She says, hi, both. You've done it again, Debbie. Yet another irresistible collection. Added it to my USB collection. Oh, June. brilliant, June. You're not going to be disappointed. Maybe it is. Be. It makes you smile. Mm. Why not, you know, create your own scrapbooking, your childhood memory book? And, and because it's basically you can keep printing and printing. Yeah. And also the other thing that we do is we give you permission to use it in your local craft workshops. Oh, right. So you church face. So if there's a group of you that gets yes, together. Yes, yes, I, I do share. give you permission with that. Brilliant. Okay, now what we're going to move on to next is let's bring up the details if we can for the tissue paper because this is something that Debbie um, very often does in my shows because she knows I love, <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, this, I have no choice. This is how you can transform an ordinary plain candle into a thing of beauty. And again, you can make these candles and you can sell them for probably five times what you actually bought the candle for. Now you're going to get five massive sheets. Enough, no, oh, 20. 20. Beg your pardon, 20 massive sheets. 20. Enough to make 120 candles or to Minimum. decorate. Yeah. Because you basically, we're going to decorate this candle. Which was what, £1.50 or something? 
I think it wasn't even that, really? actually. It was, I bought it as a set of four, okay? And essentially, uh, I can't remember which local supermarket it was. But, I mean, I, I got a lovely picture from somebody. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. I'm, I think it might be Leslie. She actually bought the tissue paper mm -hmm. and the sunflower and did a selection of sunflower uh, candles. Wow. But what she'd done is she'd actually got different ones from the digital USB key right. and created an amazing I array bet. of candles. I mean, this started off life as a plain ivory coloured candle. But look at this. So Bella. that one's been coloured in, and actually Bella's back on Monday. She is, yeah. And she will be showing you how you can colour in on tissue. Wow. Okay. Well, this one's not coloured in. This no, one's that's actually... from the Step Into Spring. We did that last show, didn't we? Yes, we did. Look at that. So that's a, a, just a topper from a collection, Step Into Spring, and it's been transferred, printed onto tissue, and it then becomes part of the candle. And when I first saw this, I thought, I, I don't get how you've done this. It's not stuck on, you know, it's not gonna peel off or anything like that. How on earth have you done it? When you see it, you're gonna wanna do it, that's for sure. Now the tissue paper is only 5 99 You get two packs of 10, so 20 sheets, enough to make 120, or to decorate, 120 candles, okay? Now imagine if you buy a candle, let's say it's 150, and you then decorate, it and you charge 9.99 for it happy days so this character um can you see that big card on the end right on, on the, the end yes yep. so i just want to show you by using Come your on. printer i wanted to show you how big that is to how little that is ah. same, same, same design but shrink it down but you change the size yep. so this is now opening up a world of possibilities yes because any image that you see on my collections changes sizes because you can print off whatever size you want so what i did is i've got the candle i then guessed a size yeah and then got my cans i printed it off on normal copy paper and then i simply just went like this to make sure that it fits on mm -hmm. okay then on the tissue packs when you get the tissue packs home it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions. Obviously, I'm going to show you how to do it now, okay? But essentially, what you would then do, when you get your pack out, it tells you to cut a piece of tissue paper. Can you see? And then put sellotape around the edge. Yep. And I've printed the design again. And I don't put any tape on the front bit. You can just so you see... you can't put the physical tissue paper on its own through the printer. It no. has to be on a piece of copier paper. Yes, yeah. and what I've done is I don't put... Because my printer grabs it there, runs it through, and prints in there. Right. And that's it. That's so a simple That's the way to print onto tissue paper. Yes. So the other thing it tells you to do, okay, so I now know this will go here. Do you print shiny side up on the tissue paper? Yes, that was right. the other thing that I was going to say. So if I show you this, you can then feel... Or you should be able to see it, actually. When you get it home... You should see how shiny that is. Mm -hmm. That isn't. You can feel the difference, yeah, okay? It's matte. Yeah. That is matte. It's important to print on the shiny bit. Okay. Okay. Um, it doesn't bleed. Right. Uh, and what I mean by that, if you do it on this time, I can't, sometimes it will actually kind of sink in. Right. And this is, it, and don't ask me how it works. We've been buying this tissue, special tissue paper. Now, um, we've got a question come through. Uh, afternoon Studio, hello. I uh, don't know your name, but hello to you in, Kin in Kildare. Um, I thought I could check out as it's an email, as not in the UK. Can anyone help, please? It should work now for you. Yes. Yeah, if, it's just been enabled. So if you're in a different country, uh, yeah, if you go and go for the digital download and you're in wherever it may be, uh, it doesn't matter. Lots of you watch in the USA, I know that much for a fact. So if you want to have it, yeah, because it's not actually physically being posted, it's just basically an email that comes through your PC. It's been enabled now. You can order it anywhere you are in the world. And again, you'll get your PMP refunded if that's the only thing you buy from us today. Now, John in Hampshire, hello, John. Uh, he says, good afternoon. Sorry I was out and missed your explanation of what is in the three kits in the download collection. Oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> you, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you have got over 3,400 printable elements, John. Uh, we have got another show at oh, six o'clock that we're gonna go through when we show you what's on it. So maybe it's either watch this back or watch that show or watch do both. Mm -hmm. But you have volume one, volume two, and you have the dimensional collection so basically all my journey to wonderland collection in one 
a USB key or one digital download yeah. collection. So you've got the option. It's the same artwork on the USB as is on the download. It's just whether you prefer to get an email on Monday or whether you'd like to get the USB maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. So yeah, hopefully that explains everything. Tune into the latest shows for more of a guided tour around. We did go spend quite a bit of time going through what was on there. So we'll do it again a bit later in the latest shows. So while we've been chatting, I've cut round it. So obviously you've got the carry sheet behind there. Okay, and you could see how some of the ink has gone through which is why it's important to use the carry sheet. Mm -hmm. And the other thing to remember, I don't know if I said, you need to have a white candle. Can you see how that image just pops? Yep. If the candle was red or pink, can you see that? Yeah, it won't, won't work. work. And the other thing to let you know, you can put these on canvases. Oh, okay. Okay, right. so, um, and I will do, so I, I will make sure I'll do that next time I'm doing a you show. Use like a decoupage glue or something you like can that. Use, you can use a bonded seal, cadence bonded seal, yep. or if you've got Mod Podge, you can use either of those. Or think about it, it's just a tissue design. Yes. Put it on anything. Put it on anything you like. Exactly. Yep. Candles is just one thing, and this is why digital crafting is amazing. So that could actually go on fabric as well, then, couldn't it? If you use the yes. fabric decoupage glue, I'm not. T you'd have to test that, yeah, because obviously that needs to be washable. So I'm not too sure about that one. Okay. I know it works with rice paper. I know we do a decoupage glue for hard surfaces yes. and one for fabric. So. Yes, but uh, you, but um, you'd have to test that. Yeah. Canvases is wall art, you know, for doing. You're not going to wash that. You no, know, you're not going to wash that one. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. How cool is that? It's already, I'm really already excited about it because look how easy it was to do. So the next thing is you need to sink that into the candle. Now, the other step is this. You need to get some greaseproof parchment from your local uh, or baking pa uh, paper. You'll have some in the kitchen. Yeah, you? you'll have some have, in the kitchen. Yeah. Do not use foil. It needs to be this, okay? I've had people email me in saying, what about foil? No. No, no, no. No, it has to be baking parchment. You won't be able to see what you were doing through foil anyway, so you need to be able to see as it kind of melts into the candle, which is what's going to happen. And the other thing, foil will become like a heat. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it will, it will melt it even more. Good. So the reason why we use this is because you are going to uh, put some heat on the candle, and if you didn't have it, the wax will just drip everywhere. So I'm simply just holding, I'm going to put it there, so I'm happy with it. Then I get my greaseproof paper. So cool. Needs to be roughly the size of the candle. And then what you're going to do is hold the back nice and tight, like so. So that keeps it smooth. And then you're going to use your heat tool. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> there you go. And it's then what you're going in. to do is plugged in. <laughs> Ellie's tested it for me. Uh, you're going to hold it still. And it will look like it will turn like wet. That's the only way to describe it. There you go. So I can see the floor go in there. You can see the colour gradually getting brighter, more defined. So that means it's sinking into the candle. Now what I'm going to do is going to do almost all of it and leaving a part off. So then you can, s I'll tell you what to do if you miss a bit. So I'm just going around it. Don't leave the heat tool still. As you see it melt, move it. So it's like if you're doing heat embossing, really. It's a similar sort of technique. But you need to use a heat tool. Right, OK, so I'm not going to do the last bit. So if I then lift it up very slowly, Aye. it's now sunk in. How brilliant. Isn't but that great? this bit hasn't this bit hasn't okay i can see yeah. it's not turned totally so all you if you ever miss a bit don't panic all you need to do put that back on and heat that section and there it goes and that's it done so you've oh. gone from a, a very everyday ordinary pillar candle to something that's beautifully decorative that you can sell if you wanted to you bought it for 150 sell it for 9.99 but you can put it with a card yeah. And oh, yeah. It, don't forget, they've got boxes. Candle and cards that match. And an envelope with it as well. So all that on there. So that's the tissue paper. So to me, it's worth getting and now, having a go. I don't know how many hundreds of tissue papers we sold last time, Debbie. <laughs> loads. Was here, but loads and loads and loads went out. This will work on any good quality candle. 
Um, you don't have to spend a fortune on them. I know some candles to be like 15, 20 pounds, the scented ones. You don't have to go to that extreme. Just ordinary kind of supermarket bought pillar candles like this will be absolutely fine. And you get enough tissue to do up to 120, maybe even more candles. You can decorate all of those for just 5.99. That's your tissue paper. Loads of you coming in. It's QL6109. Now, just to tell, talk about the digital artwork of uh, the journey to Wonderland, the USB is the most popular item in the show. Remember, you plug it in, all the artwork is actually stored on the USB. And it may well be that you'd rather have the artwork on the USB rather than on your PC or an external hard drive or, or anything like that. This just keeps it all in one place build up a collection of them. They take up no room whatsoever. Keep them in a drawer. You know exactly which one's which. 3,446 elements and on three collections on that USB for 23.97. Remember, it is making the collections only, how much were they each, the collections? 7.99 each for that one. So it's JC6171, um, and you've got everything on there. You've got envelopes, you've got characters, you've got toppers, you've got background papers, you've got um, projects and, and kind of designer cards on there as well, pyramid magic, characters, the original digi stamps. They're all on there, so you can color in the characters or get the kids to, or someone else in the family can. Uh, and it's all on there for 23.97. Get, get your USB home, plug it in, and just sit there and look at all the artwork. They're all in categories. So you haven't got to traipse through and scroll through 3,400 images until you get to the one that you're looking for. They're in categories. So you can easily find what you want in different colorways as well. And remember, that's not taking into account that you can resize the artwork. So that's three, nearly 3,500 elements that you can resize. So think of the potential, absolutely massive. Debbie scaled that down, that rabbit down, so that it would fit the candle. <laughs> if she couldn't have done that, it wouldn't have fitted the candle, it would have been too big. So you've got lots and lots of potential on that USB. Look at all those different areas there, scenes, characters, pyramid magic, projects. Um, yeah, times that by three. 3,446 elements with a story that we all know and many of us have grown up with. Absolutely iconic, absolutely iconic. First time we've had this on Hobby Maker as well, uh, the journey to Wonderland. And there's the USB. That's the most popular item in the show so far. So far. Now we've also got um, three separate downloadable kits for decoupage, haven't we? So yes. Yeah, so what I've done is because I like just to give variety. Yes. Um, a lot of people have been asking more for decoupage. So these, what we've got is some digital collections mm -hmm. that when you print off, if I can just show you these. These have got the same characters, but they're designed so the sheets are already laid out. Right. Uh, and so you just get the card, what I call the card front, and then the extra elements for you to cut out and layer up for decoupage. Okay, brilliant. So if you fancy going for those, we've got three different ones for you. Uh, now we're starting with Alice. If Alice is the character you'd like to have more of in different dresses, different colored hair, all that sort of thing, but that shows you what is on that download. Now, this is if you just specifically want to go for this. Obviously, the USB and the other digital download has got three and a half thousand images on it. This is only six pounds 99. If decoupage is your thing, and you're not bothered about everything else, there's 32 printable sheets on that download. And again, that will be sent to you as an email first thing Monday morning or during the morning on Monday at some point. And then you can instantly open up the artwork and print it off as many times as you like. Decoupage is a firm favorite for a lot I, of people. I mean, it is. So what we've done, and the thing is, the layouts are different to what's on the USB key okay. or digital. So if you want to add it in, you've got that option. So you've got the 32 what sheets there, and yep. that's just Alice. But then we've also got the same with um, the Mad Hatter. Okay. okay, Mad Hatter next. If he's the character that you like to decoupage and want to see more of him, um, does he remind you of that actor? Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> ZV6197. We're going to go to the same price on that one. So here's the character. He's in, he's in blue and he's in red and he's in all sorts of different colors, green as well. But you've got the scenes and the card fronts and the decoupage elements as well. Six pounds 99 and again you can sell what you make uh you can make them into little pictures to put on the wall if you want to zv6197 6.99 that's the mad hatter and then we have the rabbits maybe rabbits are your thing Hayley from the dreamies um maybe you want to make loads and loads <laughs> and loads of kind of rabbit uh, decorations and that sort of thing here we go so this is the decoupage digital decoupage kit for just the rabbit 
Um, again, scenes in the background, bunting and all that sort of thing. And then you've got the character that you can cut out and layer up as many times as you want. £6.99 for that one. So what I've got is I'm going to be using, I can't remember which one of those, sorry, some of the elements from there, okay. but I'm also using it with the USB key. Brilliant plus the extravaganza kit. So it's just to show you that across all of the actual collections that we have on today's show, um, it all works together. Fantastic. So you know how much I love dimensional cards. Yes. So I thought we'd have a go at something different. We're okay for time. So I've taken an A4 piece of card like so, then I fold it in half, and then about almost three quarters of the way, I've actually cut up there like so. And then what I'm doing is on this side, I am simply, cutting off a third okay and then on this side i am actually using a basically my paper trimmer you can use a scoreboard and you can use a um, or you can use a knife and a ruler not sorry not a knife you can use um an embossing tool and all i'm doing is scoring from when one side to the other to put a score line in mm -hmm. So that will give me, it's called a twisted easel. Oh, well, like that. go there. Yeah. And then this bit, fold over like that. So that's going to create that shape. Love it. Very easy. Yeah. So what I've got is I've got some paper. Now, remember what, you know, this is actually printed off on my satin paper that I've got on today's show. So the papers that we have is we've got what we call like a glossy uh, a majestic gloss to give the coating. And the glossy papers, they're the ones, the same papers that um, Debbie uses in her card kits. If you buy the physical card kits, yes. if you want to recreate the same effect, the glossy is where you go. The satin is also available as a separate item as well. And we have the tissue paper too. So all of those are available options on the website. So all I'm doing is trimming it down. And remember, always get the sizes that you need by just marking. You don't have to measure. And I think it just makes life easier. Line it Good. up yep. and then trim it down. So that's one side. Now, all the characters that you've got, you can print them off at different sizes, like we've said. But what I've done is I've taken the uh, design sheet that we've got in the extravaganza kit mm -hmm. and they're going on there. And then I've got some other papers. Now, people always ask me, how do you actually decorate this shape? So what I tend to do is simply line it up to where I want it, like so and then make a little mark as an angle. Yeah. There. I think I need to Again, use no it. measuring needed. No measuring, definitely. Like so. And then all you do is use those two points. When you think about it, it is logical mm -hmm. uh, and it saves an awful lot. So then that goes on that. And then look at that. Perfect fit. That's how You've easy it is. <laughs> Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> I really, really don't like measuring. So let's stick this all together. I mean, when you get the collections home, whichever one you're going to, I would recommend you go through everything, even when you get the extravaganza kit, because you have so much. You know, you have the 28 sheets with the extravaganza kit. You have the forever code. Don't forget, you can change the sizes with that. Absolutely. There we go. And I actually used... Um, I think when I was doing the candle, I used it from the extravaganza kit because you can change the size okay. yeah, that makes with sense. the forever code. Yeah, totally. Have that on there. So you can change the sizes on the download. You can change the sizes on the USB as well. That's the benefit of digital, really. Definitely. I mean, look at these ribbon strips. How fun is that? It's so cute. It is. The little characters and that. And, you know, not all of the papers and not all of the backgrounds, for example, are actually... Alice or indeed Mad Hatter themed. No, you know, you've the just vintage. got the Harlequin, you know, like yes. the, uh, the, the, the beautiful diamond shape there to that background. That's the, you know, generic. It will become, it will become one of your staples. Yeah. So then oh, this is called, as I said, an easel and a half. So what I've got on here, okay, that lovely sentiment, a simple smile makes the world a better place. And then have a, wonder, a wonderful birthday. So I've got all these elements that I've already cut out. And then simply just putting it together. So this is going to go on here. I think that's my favourite image. She's lovely, isn't she? Anyone for golf? And then what I've got is, I've got this one is going to go on here. So another top tip, if you put foam pads on your um, 
sorry, you put glue on your foam pads and this will stand up. So right. I'm just gonna, you can wiggle it to where you want it because it needs to be like a 90 degree. Right. Now it will hang like this because you're working on it. And all you need to do is reinforce the back and it'll sit in place. Perfect. And this is just gonna go on here. It's like a little stage, isn't it? That you it have? is like a little yeah. stage. You can decorate it and I probably will put some paper on later. And then this one is gonna go on here. And then I've got a, a Fobo. A Fobo? Yes. What's a Fobo? Oh, a Fobo. A oh, Fobo. <laughs> Look, these sheets, the amount of people that have asked me about these sheets. I so they're in the extravaganza kit, okay. They're also in the USB key as well. So you've got all the elements to make your bows out of paper. Yes. So what I've got is three sections to it. And just to show you. So they're the three sections. Right. That's your actual base. So you get them all these different sizes. Let's move that. And you have them in different colorways. So they're your tails, are they? Yeah. Right, gotcha. And this bit is the middle. You can rub Distress Ink on the back, but all I'm gonna do is just curl it. So I'm using my thumb. Can you see how it's just curled it? Mm -hmm. So this is using the satin paper that we have. And then what you do is put a little bit of glue, like so. Put that into the center, like that. Hold it in place for a few minutes. Then this goes on your tails. Fabulous. And then to finish it off, all you need to do, you have this little extra section. So, oops, make sure you don't stick it on your mat. <laughs> hmm. Then all you need to do, I should have hunted out my little glue um, bottles, but I'll do that in the next demo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all I'm doing is putting that on like so and then bending it into place like that. Perfect. And then that finishes it off and then you'll have to cut the excess off like so. And it just finishes off the detail. So everything on the digital, okay, whatever collection you're going for or even the extravaganza kit, colour matches right down to the bows. And then we're going to have the I'm bow. Glad you showed us how to do that bow because I've not seen that for a while. So yeah, you get loads of bows in different designs and sizes and colours on the USB, on the digital, and also you get some in the extravaganza kit as well. But if you love the tales of Alice and the Mad Hatter and the rabbit and everything else about that story, today's your day. You can really pick and choose what you like. And don't forget those MDF plaques are amazing as well. And you even get the artwork or a sheet of artwork to go with the MDF plaque too. They're on the website, they're only 6 dollars each. Uh, and they're brilliant for anyone that loves the story. Um, have them in the bedroom or wherever. Now, the most popular MDF has been Curious, huh? It is lovely, isn't it? And that's showing you, um, I mean, well, we're going to be doing an MDF show very soon, so then I'll be talking you through it. But essentially, that's been used as acrylic paints. And then, can you see where the butterflies are? We painted that metallic gold, and then while it's still wet, dip glitter in it. Nice. Okay, but obviously do the glitter one first or last when everything's dried in. Well, and judging by that being the most popular, you probably love the artwork of the, of the flamingo at the golf as yes. well as me. It's, it's one of those iconic images you don't forget. Um, and here is your artwork. So you, you get, get one loads. sheet of this, uh, which of course you can cut out and then you can stick onto the MDF. It's exactly the same size. And you've got a bleed line around it as well, which makes it easier to cut out for you. And you also get some little verses and sentiments. Yeah, well, too. I always give you more, but the other thing is you can, you can see you've got two lots. You can decoupage it. And I've given you a pink flamingo, but if you want to make it blue, you've got that op option as well. Okay, and that's how it comes. It comes obviously plain and it comes obviously flat packed as well. You just literally slot the top into the base like that. Uh, stick it with a little bit of PVA glue, paint it before you put it together, I would say. And then of course, after you've painted it, you can then stick the characters onto the MDF if you'd like to. 6 dollars we've got Queen of Hearts. We've also got How Do You Do with Tweedledum and Tweedledee as well. If you want to go for all three of them, you're looking at around about 21 pounds with one PMP of 3.95. But the star today has been the USB. Um, to think that you're gonna get 3,000 446 printable elements with three different collections from the Journey to Wonderland. Unbelievable value. You've got envelopes, you've got background papers, toppers, 40% of our entire stock has gone, and this is meant to be back at six o'clock this evening. Um, and this is, I think, the perfect way of getting all the artwork because you haven't got to worry about um, storage on your PC or anything no. like that. It's all on there. 
I mean, you have. The, I mean, this is why we're doing it. And obviously, you had that lovely lady that's international. Yeah. So this is why we do the digital collections to give you the choice because you're not paying for the dongle. Exactly. Okay. And you won't pay for the, obviously the postage. There's no difference. And obviously, if you have any questions or queries, you can come back to us. And do remember, if you are watching abroad and you'd like to go for the digital collection, you can't physically order physical products from us yet at Hobby Maker, although we are working on that. If you want the digital, which will come to you as an email on Monday with a yes. literal uh, link that you collect. To, to get all that fantastic artwork, please do go for it. It is available. You will get, if you get charged PMP, you'll get that refunded by the call <coughs> centre probably on Monday, I would think. Eighteen ninety nine for exactly the same content on the dongle, but as a download that you can open and enjoy on Monday. Now, you're back at five with two shows. <laughs> yes. Steampunk, Steampunk at five o'clock. And back with Journey. And back with this yes. at six o'clock. So two more shows <laughs> to come from Debbie. Very excited as well that both Debbie and I have known the next lady that you're about to see uh, for many, many years. She's <coughs> coming to Hobby Maker today for the very first time. A very good friend, Sheena Douglas, is here and she's got some wonderful inspiration and lots of art tips coming up in just a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be well worth your while sticking around to Hobby Maker. This coming Saturday on Hobby Maker, we have got a brand new tool for you from the brilliant brand Under the Rainbow. Now, this is an A4 multi-plate tool. Now, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? This tool will emboss, it'll make boxes, it'll make cards, it'll do embellishments, but it also has a hidden secret. It has a parchment plate, would you believe, as well, so it's brilliant. So join us this coming Saturday at 3 p.m. for Under the Rainbow's brand new A4 multi-plate tool. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. If you've recently missed your favourite show on Hobby Maker, it's really easy to catch up on our website. Simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click TV Guide. Here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days, which you can watch, pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobby Maker's catch up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on hobby maker Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. 
Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from a Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? Hey everybody, good afternoon. What an afternoon we're having and it's gonna get even better. I've been looking forward to this show for best part of about almost two weeks. I knew that a lady that I've not seen for a good few years was coming to Hobbymaker. And I cannot be any more delighted than I am right now to give a big squeeze to the lovely Sheena Douglas. How are you, How are you? Lovely I'm morning, brilliant. You? Thank you. How right are back you? At you. I'm, I'm loving it. It's great. Yeah, it's I'm looking place, forward it? to it. It's lovely. Everybody's been so welcoming. It's, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to like it a lot. Good. I do too. And hopefully you do at home as well. Now, Sheena is here. If you want to, I'll tell you what we're going to do. This is something I'm going to do every day that I'm on air in one show. I'm gonna give away either a card or something that is made in one of my shows, okay? Um, and it's, what we're calling it is Davy B's Lucky Dip, okay? Davy B's Lucky Dip. So whatever Sheena makes, and she's agreed to this, in this show, I'll give away to one of you that emails in. You've got to email studio at hobbymaker.co.uk with your customer number and your name, obviously. And one of you, by the end of the show, will know that they have won, you have won, um, whatever Sheena makes in the show. Absolutely. And if I don't get it finished, how about we give you this one, which I did I have made previously. Okay. Just in case I don't get it all stuck together, because you know me. Okay. The intention's there. So if you would like to win something from Sheena on her first ever show with Hobbymaker, just email in now studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. One person will win at the end of the show. That's something to look forward to. Yay. Yeah. Fab. Now, I've learned a lot from you over the years, an awful lot. Thank you. Um, picked Hope up lots, lots and lots of hints and tips. And what we've got for you today are products from Crafters Companion that will help you become an artist, even if you've never thought of yourself in that way. We've got stencils. We've got uh, fantastic coloring mediums, pens. Uh, we've got, I'll tell you what we've got, a special deal oh. to welcome you. Wow. Everybody likes a freebie. Mm. And this has only been done because Sheen is having her first show with us today. These are the sparkle overlay pens. Sparkle overlay pens, they're popular on their own. You love them, don't you? I love them. I, seriously, they, they are in the place in my little box of crafting essential stuff that goes everywhere with me. Okay. They've been in there all that time. We're going to give you not only the sparkle pens today, we're going to give you a glossy highlights. Free. No charge for the glossy highlights. That's worth five pounds of anybody's money any day of the week. So if you want your sparkle pens, the overlay pens, just a little welcome offer from us to Sheena and to you, BQ2061. These will go over anything coloured and give it a sparkly finish. $12.99, you're looking at a $5.99 value for the glossy highlights. There's no charge for that whatsoever. That makes your sparkle pens about seven pounds if you take the six pound off. And they are fabulous. So literally one sparkle pen will last you so long. Uh, will you see how, how frugal they are to use, but how amazingly blingy they are. They're, They're my brilliant. favorite bling, period, all time. Just say it, they, they are. Well, I know you want the glossy highlights back, so I I'll do. give you those. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, we're getting loads of messages coming in as well, which is fantastic. Now, what we're going to do in a minute is just go through all the stencil offers we've got on the show. Um, and then as Sheena uses bits and pieces during the show, if you want to order them, they'll come up on the screen, okay? Uh, Sherry Miller says, hello, Sheena. You're a wonderful artist, and we're so happy to see you here. Oh, thank you. Cheers, Sherry. Yeah. Thank you, Sherry. Wendy says, in Kent, so excited that Sheena has joined Hobby Maker. Such talented, inspirational lady and lovely Dave is presenting too. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, message from Janet in Staffordshire. Hi, Dave. How wonderful to see Sheena, my favourite artist on my favourite craft programme. It's a win-win. Oh, brilliant. And hey, it's us as well. It's us. It's Back perfect. together again. I love it. Yay. I'm okay, singing now. reunited. If we can't read out all your messages, watch out for them on the bottom of the screen. Obviously, I don't want to interrupt Sheena too much. Um, you'll see your messages come up if we can't actually read them all out, okay? Because we are getting loads, as you can imagine. Okay, now loads of you coming in for our brilliant introductory offer with the uh, sparkle overlay pens and, of course, the glossy hi highlights for free. Lots of you buy them for more, more than one of those. Lots of you going for twos and threes and fours, which uh, no surprise there. Now, stencils. I was wondering what was going to be oh. in your first show. You know what? I wanted the first show to be at the core of what I love. And I've loved 
from from day one from the very first show television show many 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 months ago and it's inks and it's stencils because you know what inks is your foundation yep. a water soluble blendable ink top top quality gorgeous colors but something that is also phenomenal value i think we underestimate stencils i know i do i love to think of how we can extend the obvious use for a product and that's what this is about okay so if you want to recreate what sheena is going to be doing in this show today these are the stencils we have on offer now we're doing them individually i know when you launched them two days ago on crafters tv um mm. they all sold out they did super super quick super quickly yes. so what we thought we'd do rather than give you a big bundle which not everybody wants all of them we'll give them to you individually we only charge you one pmp remember no matter how many things you buy they're an incredible price again to welcome sheen as the hobby maker we had to do something special and they've pulled out all the stops let me show you the art deco one first of all let's look at these because these are phenomenal i didn't realize it until i came into the studio now that you're actually getting three stencils in one pack and when you see this price this is the art deco look at this this is the Art Deco. I've got some boards here to show you. Look at the size of them. Three stencils in that pack. Thanks. And watching Sheena, you'll be able to do techniques like this by using stencils. That, I'm afraid, does not look like a stencil card. You would not know that you've used a stencil. Now, $7.99 would be great. It's Sheena's first day. That is not good enough, is it? We want to make sure that you are delighted. Art Deco, let's take that price down. It's SN2054. Sheena's going to show you how you can use what I think are the most underrated craft tools in the oh, business. Yeah, because you can, you can get so much, because it's not a, a hugely expensive process to produce a stencil, mm. you can get more for your value for money because you it's the picture you want. It is such a, so many ways you can use them. You could sell one card and make your money back on that. Yeah, you? exactly. That's it. Absolutely. $4.99 for three stencils. Look at the ones you're going to get. You get that beautiful flower. You get that gorgeous Art Deco, like a blooming bud. And then you've also got your very kind of William Morris. Actually. It is very William Morris. Very much so. I love that, um, that gorgeous um, style. Very, very classy. Absolutely. Lovely. Well, we've got a few to get through. So loads of you putting it in your baskets. Please check out SN2054 is the product code, 4 dollars You may well want to go for the next one as well. You may well want to go for all of them because they're all going to go to that price, which I cannot get my head around. Cannot comprehend. Delightful butterflies. $7.99. No, it's going to be $4.99. They're all going to be $4.99. That that's just silly. That's silly, but it's a great, the best kind of silly. I know. It's fabulous. We've actually got six of these. So if you wanted all six of them, are they all on the website now, Kat? You can pre-order them. They'll all drop to $4.99. Yep, that will be, that, we've actually got seven. £35 it will be if you wanted all seven. Mm. Delightful butterflies. Again, look, three stencils. The butterfly itself, the butterfly background, and then a trio of butterflies together. $4.99, QW 2031. Okay, I'll move along quickly. Peacock feathers. And you can go to town with the colouring on this, can't you? Peacock feather, there's no, oh, there's no oh, limit. Well, gorgeous, those jewel colours. Hello, we're in the right place. What, did you hear me there? How, how appropriate was I? I know, I know. Oh, I can imagine there's some lovely jewel and gem colours that would work with that. Absolutely yeah, right. Fabulous. And I've got some um, finished cards here just to show you the sort of thing that you can be doing. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? So your texture piece, your yeah. glitter piece, these are fabulous from um, Crafters Companion, these amazing glitter piece. All of that, so easy to use, but today we're using them. So you can see how easy that is. You pop them through and then that's it, you're done. Exactly. But we're using them in a different way again. So you can just so much, so much you can do with them. Loads of tips to get the most out of your fantastic stencil. Spots and dots. Well, again, the sky's the limit with this. You've seen dots before your eyes and the ombre one at the top. How cool that, is that? You know what? They're really cool. That's very, very cool look. If you like botanicals like I do, you yep. know, I've drawn a few in my time of your florals. Mm -hmm. This graphic dot behind a floral makes it look very contemporary. Very, it gives it a different um, look and feel entirely with a, with a modern graphic look against that nature, kind of natural, lovely. That should be, again, $7.99 for three stencils is brilliant. $4.99 today, FH2069, fl uh, Swirls and Flourishes is the sixth one. And then we've got another one. Now you're filling up your baskets. I go for all of them. 
um, you know, it's one PMP, no matter how many things you put in your basket all day long. So fill your boots and uh, lots of inspiration from Sheena to come uh, as to how to get the most out of them. KE2085, and remember, at Crafters Companion's own channel, two days ago, all of these completely sold out. You can buy them from us this afternoon, but the stock is going very, very fast. Now I've got one more, I believe, which is, or two more. I've got, what have I got here? Is there two more? Okay, so this one is this stencil set, which is this one here. So this is your bubbles and balloons. So that's basically those two just there for you, bubbles and balloons. And they are eight by eight, two eight by eights in there. Yeah, they're huge and they're good weight mylar. I should mention that. They'll go through your um, machine with your, with your um, embossing mat. Brilliant. So they're thick enough for that. Also your texture piece. Fantastic. So that's $4.99 as well. And then the last one, we've got your butterfly and your heart. Again, these are eight, uh, sorry, these are six by six, these, aren't they? Six by six. So, and they're $4.99 as well. So all the sets in the show are basically $4.99. Some are two stencils, some are three, but they are all incredible value for money. And what we'll do is as Sheen is demonstrating and using different products, we'll put what she's using up on the screen so you can fill your basket if you want to kind of craft along with her today. And remember, whatever Sheena makes, we're gonna give away to one of you by you sending in an email to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. Just your name and your customer number, you could win it. All right, then, where are we going to start? Well, I thought, should we do a very, very quick impromptu? It wasn't even planned, but I think we should need to show you because of that ridiculously fabulous offer with the, with the glossy, highlight glossy highlights and yep. the, yeah. So, like, let me, let me show you. This is one of, that's that big butterfly. That is huge. That's straightforward, just stencil. Just your black ink through your stencil. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. But look, when you colour it with the ink pads, you get something that looks a lot more. And, you know, a stencil, even I can cut that out. I'm rubbish at cutting out. Two, cut it out, tiny bow. I'm not your woman. Right. Right. But um, <laughs> the colouring in, great. But those two things. So let me show you, though, this, um, the pen. So you're going to get three of these in a set. Now, if you, I've, I've said, said for many, 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 many years, I don't even want to mention, um, how if you're going to want bling sometime, somewhere, the best bling I've ever seen, because um, they're not all the same. Some glitters are less sparkly than others. Some um, other elements like your mica are or or more dull. This is super blingy. You get three in a set. Right. Okay? And they're so, all clear, aren't they? And they're all clear. So literally, you, it's the most cost-effective way to, you, to add a, a glitter, a mm. glitter finish to anything. It's, so you, it's not gritty glitter it's either. It's not, and it clings. So what you do, big tip, store them on the side because it's a solid and it'll settle along the longer part of the, um, the, um, the brush. Give it a shake, and then what you do basically is you unscrew this, you take that little ring off there, and you screw that back on, and that then pierces that little um, thing there, and then what you do is it'll puncture it and then you give it a shake and you just keep squeezing. And what'll happen is you'll just see, can you see that's coming through yeah. there now, all blingy. But be, be, every time you use them, shake them to wake them. Right. Right. Now watch. So this on here, I'm going to just do one wing and you just tell me how cool this one looks compared to the other one. When I pick it up, you should, you're just going to be like, what? And the thing is, I haven't squeezed, I've squeezed it once. I'm picking up that little bit there that was on the mat, so I'm not wasting it. Now, and I'm going to do the same on this one and then just see the, how much better that one looks. Can I just as say it actually dries, the glitter intensifies, it? Doesn't absolutely it? does. Once the water evaporates, you see the bling even more. And to those stencils, those stencils I cherry picked, I went through and I went, oh, I want that one, I want that one, and I want that one. Yeah. And they're picked to work together. So if you can invest in them all at this price, you would, could do worse things, I would absolutely say, because... They're all going to mix and match and highlight and, and make the, each of them look really cool. So what I'm doing on here is I'm going to show you how if you want to add highlight to fully, like on the wing, or if you want to just spot highlight and give a little um, you know, accent highlight here and there, you can just brush them on like that. So you can go full on. Let me hold that left hand. Look at that. And that's You've not done that even... before, Sheena. You've done that before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me see. And it doesn't, it's not, it's not even dry yet. That's even going to be more blingy. So from pretty colour to wow. And that's in it. How did they, how do, did they do that? How did Leanne do that? I don't know. Uh, shall I show so, you another big trip, big, big tip with these, um, yeah. this accent, right? So this is something, again, it's a while since I've had 
um, a, a glossy highlighter on my shoes. So I haven't done this for ages and I've forgotten about it. And, I, and then I remembered, I forget most things and I have to Give hope I'm both. remembering them again. Yeah. It's like everything's new again. <laughs> so, so what I'm doing, well, let me show you this. So we know that this is a thick, gloopy substance that all acrylic mediums look kind of murky when they're wet. Yeah, cloudy. But yeah. when you, and what you do is you put them on your thing and you literally just drop them on and they dome and they form a gorgeous domed glossy finish yeah. and you just leave them. Best do that at night when, um, you know, so that you, you, you gives it a good chance to dry. Yeah, don't stick your finger in it to see no, if it's dry. No, you know, don't like I will. Night. Yeah, with impatience, <laughs> absolutely, because I, I am that person. But what I'm doing, I'm putting a tiny little dot of that out there because um, I'm going to come back to that in a sec. I'm going to quickly go to my art liner pens. If you haven't popped them in your basket yet, pop them in your basket because I've got some demonstrations coming up to show you how we can do grasses and foregrounds really, really easy with that. Okay. But what I am going to do, I know this was not this was an extra thing that we've done. Let's use that one. Let me just draw something super, super quick. You know what? That thing with acetate, Dave, you can't see it. No, that's true. You put it down, you can't see it. <laughs> so let me just do this really super, super quick because it is an impromptu demonstration. Now we'll give you the details of the outliner pens at the end of the demo. You do get six and they're on the side of the screen at the moment. I think you get different, yeah, you get a 0 0.05, a 0 0.1, a 0 0.3, a 0.5 and a 0.8 and a brush as well, all six. Right, so what I'm doing, I'm just literally drawing a super, super quick, just so I can really give you a, um, an idea of what you can do. Like, if you want to colour onto acetate with a water-based medium, not going to happen no. because it repels. Acetate, plastic is not notoriously one of the most difficult things to colour onto. Right. Uh, you know, if you upcycle as well, that's the case. Well, so here's the thing. These inks, right, not supposed to go onto acetate. So, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna suggest a fabulous basic ink set, a pad set. If you can get four of these ink pads, I'm gonna give you a shopping list for what I think are the absolute best ones to go Are these for. the water reactive ones? Yeah, the water reactive ones. Okay. So that, the, the, um, the little um, glossy highlights is water-based. Your inks are water-based and until they dry, you can mix them together. All right. right, so watch. So if I want to paint with this pink onto the acetate and I paint, oh, no, no, not playing. No, nope, don't want to know. Not, not, not having any of it, watch. You pick up a little bit of this and you mix that in. Watch. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, no. And then you can get all subtle with it as well. Just like myself. Yeah. Actually, I should have done that on the back because it's, that's paint, um, ink hasn't... Um, Settled, yes, but actually it looks quite good. I quite like that. So it's giving it a little bit of the shading. Ink from the pad, yeah, the glossy, uh, yeah. Highlights. How cool is that? And so you can do overlays on your cards. You can do, you know, normally other than the alcohol pens, there's not much you can paint onto acetate with. But now you can with a tiny. And imagine how much, how far that's going to go, Dave. So again, using it, this is what it's meant for, and it does that brilliantly. However. This is what it can do, and I love, I love, love discovering things like that. This Same. is why I love working with Sheila. I find out things like that which I never, ever knew you could do. Well, this is when you don't get out much, and you see, and you're weird, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, your, your brain wanders too far sometimes, you know, some, sometimes where you want it to, and other times not so much. And you think, oh, I wonder, I'll have a try. You know, some things maybe you shouldn't probably try, but, uh, <laughs> but with this one, yeah. So look, see, so you've got this really subtle, looks most like a watercolour. I really like the way it's picking up a little I bit do. of that yeah. before the ink not dried, actually. That's amazing. Um, and then you've got a really nice, effective um, plastic, you know, painting on something that you shouldn't be able to get that level of I wonder how shading. many of you are reaching for your glossy highlights right now and going giving that a go. Um, remember, you're going to get your glossy highlights free if you buy the three sparkle overlay pens. So the glossy highlights is $6.99, oh, sorry, $5.99 any day of the week on their own. And they're one of the biggest selling um, items from Crafters Companion. Um, if you want the sparkle overlay and the glossy highlights together, remember, uh, Please put it in your basket and check out as quickly as you can. If you wouldn't be so kind, that would be great. Um, now, we've also got, remember, the six pack of art liners. Now, these are brilliant quality. They are archival, so they're very, very, very good quality ink that's not going to fade in the light or anything like that. Um, now, we've not actually had these at all before here today, but what you've got is every size of nib you could ever possibly wish for. And I'm thinking if you are a tangler, if you are a doodler, if you're an artist or whatever, these are going to be absolutely brilliant for you because you get all of the sizes you can see there. That's a 0.05, the finest, a 0.1, 0.3, 
0 0.5, 0 0.8, and a brush nib from Spectrum Noir as well. What about this for a price? £12.99. If you are a Santangle fan, I know Santangle pens are available as well, but if you want to have all those different sizes of nibs, here they are for you. When you want to sketch, when you want to doodle, these are perfect. And you can go directly onto plastic, as Sheena showed you oh. with the acetate. So, now at Sheena's first show, we're going to do better than £12.99. Where are we going to go? That's what it should be. And that's only just over two pound per pen because there's six pens in there and a brush pen. Where can we go with this? Hello to all of you coming through. 10 pound 39, less than two pound per pen for all six. Um, Linda's checked out, Claire's there as well. Jennifer, Helen, Sandra, Francine, Tara. You can never have too many of pens like this. You really can't. One pound 73 per pen, first time they've been on air. Brilliant. I'm going to show you what you can do with them. I've, I've got, I'm all I'm all over, aren't I? But I'm trying to pack as much in as I can for you. So look, this is what this is what I created with this um, with this pen. Should I do that on the overhead? Will you be able to see easier? Or can you see it there? Yeah, fabulous. Okay. So this little bit at the mid, at the bottom here, all done with a pen and really, really, really simple. We're going to create this. Maybe not this hour, but maybe the next hour. We're going to do. They're the stencils, by the way. They're the stencils in the show. They're the stencils in the show. Both backgrounds created using the same technique with a little bit of the ink I'm going to show you now and those pens. Trust me, you're going to want them yes. because they're so They're cool. brilliant. Now, we've just got a, a quick question from Kate in Dorset. Hello, Kate. She says, are you offering the stencils Sheena is demonstrating as a bundle? No, we're doing them individually, but that's got the benefit that you can cherry pick the ones you want. It's only one PMP. Art Deco, there's one left. Delightful Butterfly, there's seven left. Peacock Feathers, 14 left. That's Yikes. how busy we are. They're going absolutely crazy. If it's in your basket, please do check out. And we do also have a special deal on the water reactive ink pads that Sheen is using as well. Um, I think the deal on those is four for the price of three. So if you're inspired to try painting or coloring with what Sheila's, uh, what Sheen is doing here, they're five ninety nine each. So if you buy four, you'll get one for nothing. Okay. Uh and you recommend oh, colours. I'm, 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 uh, this is something else. This is before we even stencil. It's stencil show I haven't stenciled. What am I like? <laughs> but here's the thing, because it's super, super important. If you're going to buy four ink pads, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, well, not tell, I'm going to suggest, strongly suggest these ones here. Just trust me, Honey Pot, okay? Yep. Honey Pot? Yeah. Uh, fuchsia, back to the... Fuchsia, see what oh, I did there? Go it's got to do it every time, every time. Yeah, every time. And then um, Ocean Blue and Noir Black. And let me tell you why. Think of your printer at home. Yep. Think of your printer. If you've got, they're the only coloured ink pads you've got so far. Let me show you just this. This again, very, very, very yeah, impromptu. Colours, absolutely. Makes right, sense. so do this. Start with this. Triangle of yellow at the top. That would be your yellow in your printer. Nothing, no clues there. Mm -hmm. But then you've got this fuchsia, which you would think of as the magenta, is usually what they would call it. And these are what they call process colours, right? This is the modern way to make any colour, right? And then you've got your um, cyan, right? Okay, yeah. right? So watch this, check this out. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do 50-50, a bit of that, but always start with your lighter colour, then take a little bit of your um, darker colour. Oh, how gorgeous is that orange? There's your how orange, pretty. Yeah. And you've got all of the increments between those two. Yeah, and then you've got the, this and you've got that and you're going to get a lovely purple. Right. So from those ink pads, I must still go in. So what? we're going to take a bit of yellow and we're going to pop a little blue and we're going to get gorgeous green. And so you've got, you've invested in four ink pads. With the black, you can mute any of it down. But let me show you, could you make a skin tone out of them? I wouldn't know how. Well, you can. Can you? Yeah. Watch. So what you do is you want a, an orangey red, right? So we'll put that there. And a, most people do struggle with skin tones, don't they? Yes. And then you want a, a purpley colour. So, right. So we're going to mix that in with that. In that, in with that. Let's see. So, right, a little bit more yellow, a bit more pink. Right, and a bit more that. But what? Are so you thinking? Yeah, I'm not sure. So basically, what you want is a greeny colour yeah. and an orangey colour. Okay. Yeah. And then what you do is you just keep going, and then you get to the point where you can then start fading it out. This is still a little bit pink, but you get start oh, to go. get. See? Yeah. So if you pop a little bit more of that in there and take it down, a bit more of that in there and that in there. See, you're getting a warmer skin tone yes. now. Yes. See? 
So what you do is you make them as light as possible. You're looking at the darker version, but then you make the lighter version. So you've got all those different, if it's a little bit cool, you can make it a little bit, you know, just keep going with that basic mix and add into it just from using those colours that you've got there. So the you've four got... colours you recommend, if you are um, a novice, well, not necessarily a novice, but if you didn't realise that all you really needed were to start off with four key colours to do so many different colours and that you can actually paint with these um, ink pads as well. Uh, all you've got to do is put them onto your glass mat or onto any sort of mat that you've got at home and blend them together. You, you've got the black, first of all. That's, on, that's an obvious. What yeah. were the other colours? Fuchsia? It was uh, fuchsia, honey pot, honey pot and ocean blue. Seriously, and just blue. get those four colours. And the fact that you get one, yeah. but, but buy three, get one. Wow. Those four, Brilliant. you'll get one for nothing, okay? And lots of you are checking out with that. Craft Room in Bristol's gone for four. Alison in West Sussex has gone for four. So you'll be paying six, 18 pounds, basically 17.97, but you'll be getting four ink pads for that price, which is pretty amazing. QH 2050, another top tip from Sheena. I never knew that those four would be the most invaluable colors, but it's obvious that they are. But we do have lots of other colors to choose from on the website. Now, I remember these brushes from you our shows what? of yesteryear. Royal and Langnickel. Royal and Langnickel. Easy to say. Great but brushes, but awful to see, especially yeah. on TV and try to see if that. Remember, Charlie says that cat. Remember yes. the little public yes. information? <laughs> yeah, you have to be there to know it. But yeah, this is a set of brushes that I put together many, many, many moons ago. Again, um, longer than I want to remember. And I put them together so if you're only going to buy one set of brushes, they're going to see you through for everything. So well, we've got only big... got the twin pack, I believe. Oh, the twin pack. Which ones yeah. have we got there? Which ones have we got? I'll tell you what, we'll put the details up on the screen for the two that we've got. We've got the round three. The round three, yes. The round it's six. It's in me set, yes. The round set, yes. Oh, it's... The round, yeah. Oh, right, that's it. Then you've got them all. Either. We're all good. There's, there's a pack of four, is it? Half wash and the three quarter wash. Oh, there's five. Yeah, but they're they're the, they're good. They're the ones. I'm right. missing one, but that's it. But this is the point being: if you're going to create a background wash, you've got to use you, use a flat one. You wouldn't. You'd be on forever and be streaky and awful if you do like that. Mm -hmm. If you want to paint detail, that's not your. That's not the one. This nope. is not the brush you're looking for. This is the one you want. Okay, so it's horses for courses. Okay, and the phenomenal value. They've got a nice soft grip. So that if you have grip problems, you that helps you. And, and I know you've been using these brushes for years and years and years. So if you want good brushes, not quite sure what brand to go for. Uh, this is saying twin pack, but you are going to get five, I believe. So that's KF twenty ninety three. Uh, where are we going with the price on this? For five brushes. How much? Under ten pounds? Yes, that's a, that's, that's that how right? good they are. This right, so you know teaching workshops, Dave. You one of the hardest things, two things: card is horrible to buy if you don't know what you're buying, and brushes. Right. And people come in with all kinds of like horror stories that you know it could be the thing you bought a good. Twenty-five pound brush doesn't make you twenty-five pounds better at doing what you're doing. Good point. You want a good quality, inexpensive synthetic brush, and that's exactly what these are. Right. And it's essential that these work well for something that's coming up. I can say no more. But next shows, just look out. You'll need these brushes. Okay. And it's going to be super important. We're having your own ranges in the future, aren't we? Yes, absolutely. So it's all coming. That's these are fabulous, progress. fabulous, fabulous brushes. Should we? I should use a stencil. What's my like? Yeah, no. Right. Right. So here's the thing. We're going we're gonna to create that gorgeous background. We're using colours. We're going to use um, Spring Meadow. We're going to use Fuchsia. And we're going to use Ocean. Right. So we could have used Honey Pot as well, but I thought we'd use Spring Meadow because it's gorgeous. And what I'm doing is I'm using this um, applicator. Now, this is the huge rectangular applicator, which basically is if you want to put a lot of ink down quickly over a larger surface, this gets the job done quicker than the smaller round ones. It's a horses for courses. Um, they're all great and they're all good in their own time and for whatever you're going to use them. Now, important to know is that this is not, I'm wanting the big chunks of colour and this card, this is the, um, the multi purpose card. Yep, that we yep. got on the show. Yeah, which is great because it doesn't have a ridiculously high chalk content, which means that once this reaches a level of saturation, it's going to be blending out really, really pretty. However, I'm not worried because we're going to we're going to smoosh it up anyway. So all I'm looking at is making big blocks of vibrant, gorgeous, juicy colour and not little bits of impressionistic. Don't be thinking Monet or your Renoir. We're going big and bold. 
So we are popping that like that and always put your lighter color on first. All right, so go lighter color because it's easier to uh, darken a color than to get the uh, another bright color back to where it was if you put color on top of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, Dave. What happened on Crafters TV the other day is happening here. Uh -oh. We've sold out of the Art Deco. Congratulations if you ordered that. The last one's gone. We've sold out of the Peacock feathers. Peacock's still there. Okay. Five left of Peacock. We've sold out of Butterfly. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Well, that's, that's what I'm going to use. I'll tell you what. I might as well tell you what I'm going to use because you might as well know if you're shopping. We're going to use the swirls next, guys. So, um, I'll tell you what, that second show is going to be interesting. It is. Isn't it? So can you see how I'm popping lots of strong colour here? And I'm going to now, quickly as I can, while I've still got a stencil to use, I'm going to go in with... And the good thing is with these ones, because they're so big, I can use one colour on one side and I can go in with another colour on the other side. And it gets... Um, I can basically get more um, on there. I am speed blending here. Now... Big, big tip, another big tip. I'm not bothered right now, but if this is starting to, if you have smudged it, if you've been a bit too um, eager like I have and you've got a little bit there and it's not blending as well as you want, two things you can do. Spend more time, which we don't have, and blend it a bit more. Or use a little bit of glycerin if you want to have it a little bit more smoother blend. Oh, I remember and when, when you first showed me the glycerin. Absolutely, Dave. And what that does, that glycerin is, um, it's, it's, there's no odour, it's safe, it's vegetable glycerin. Um, you can even get like, you know, stuff that you're using in cookery and things. It's like edible grade glycerin. And, but what you would do is splodge some of your ink on your mat and pick up some glycerin onto your blending tool and go from there. So what I'm doing now, this you is getting get to the point. You can glycerin in the chemist, can't you? Yes, absolutely. Because with the faux leather, remember faux leather? Yes, I remember. Back in the day, oh, <laughs> you couldn't get glycerin anyway, could you? There was a rush on glycerin. There was a rush on glycerin, yeah. Yeah, so I brought out this um, technique with using glycerin for a full leather effect. Right, now that is a bit, it's not as blend as I would normally do, it's a bit patchy, but I'm not worried because, let me show you what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna do a little bit more darker in there, and then I'm gonna take, this is really, really simple, great background technique. This is, um, anybody can do this, right? You're gonna take your uh, piece of kitchen sponge, so grab a kitchen sponge, yep. cut it in a quarter, all right? Yep. And uh, this is well traveled, traveled uh, this uh, sponge, this is Trevor. I've got one Brian at home as well. Only you don't yeah. name for a sponge. So, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to pull the little bits out of it so it looks a bit more like a natural sponge instead of a brick. And then we're going to add a little bit of water to this, right? And then squeeze most of it out and then just tap, just gently touch and move around and pounce on the background like this. Just the smallest amount, yeah? And what's happening is you're going to create a really, really cool, instead of spraying it and having random, it gives it, a, if you want it more marble looking, use yeah. more water. But if you want it to just be a little bit more speckled, use less. And what'll, what's going to happen, that's going to start to diffuse. Can you see it's already getting lighter in bits? Absolutely, but, but as let me dries, yes. it'll get lighter and lighter Absolutely, and lighter. but shall we make it even better? Yeah, go on. Sparkle pen, oh. baby. Have we still got the sparkle pens with the extra bonus of the, oh, we have. Remember, right. the three overlay sparkle pens have got today for the first time only to welcome Sheena the Glossy Highlights free. Six pounds worth, you're not paying for them, you're getting them. 12 99 gets you three sparkle pens and the Glossy Highlights today, but Ugh. be quick for that one. These are stunning. So what I'm doing is I'm squeezing a little bit of that stuff out in the smallest amount. I haven't got loads of water on my sponge because I want this bling to be quite concentrated on there. So you're putting the, the glossy overlay pens on the sponge? On the sponge, yeah. So, and this is, and honestly, it, you think you're using more than, you're not, than you are. You're not. You're using a very small amount and just don't um, wet the sponge too much. Let me pick this up. This needs to be dried. Let me dry this, Steve, if I can. Okay. And then come back and I'll show you how All right. it looks. Well, I'll tell you what, while you're doing that, yeah. let me just remind everybody of a brilliant bundle we've got put together. Um, again, this has got so much in it. It really, really has. Now, this has got your... Is the stamping platform with this? Yep, you get a stamping platform. So that is the 6x6 six six grid. You've also got your Spectrumoir replacement rectangular pads for your blending, 10 of those. You've also got your Spectrumoir spritzers, which are brilliant if you wanted to spritz the water onto what Sheena was working on. And you've also got your uh, 
mini blending sponges that look like little Easter eggs because you've got a point at one end and a wider surface area at the bottom as well. Uh, and you do also get the original rectangular blending tool too, which I haven't got here, but that will come. Oh, here it is. Sorry, there it is. Beg your pardon. With so many bits and pieces around, I can't see where everything is. So you get that as well, okay? So all of that in your bundle should be £42.95. That would be good. That would be very good. But today, we're going to do something special and we're going to put a minute clock in. You know, when Cat puts a minute clock in, it's always the very, very good news for you. So if you want this bundle, put it in your basket, check out. It's IT2031. IT2031. $42.95, you're not paying anywhere near that price today. Remember, the six by six stamping platform, the blending tool with all the spare blending heads, you've got your four smoothie mini blending sponges and you get your Spectrum Noir spritzers as well. You can even put inks in there as well, not just water if you wanted to. You need them for next visit. Really? Soon, get ahead of you. Yes. When is your next visit? A month? Um, it's a couple of weeks time, yeah, this is Monday, yeah. Okay. I'm to it twice a month, so oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. 20 seconds, and we're <laughs> going to drop this down, and then we'll see what's happened to that fantastic uh, work of art that Sheen has just been working on. 42.95, 10 seconds to go, and we're going to give you a very special deal on this. Blending should be easy. It is easy when you've got the correct blending tools. Where are we going to go with this? 42.95. Not today. Boom. 33.99 for all of it. 33.99. Perfect stamping platform, perfect blending tools, and your spritzers as well, saving you a £10 note. You've got 25% off the price. £33.99 for all that little stash. Hello, Claire. Hello, Linda. Hello, Jeanette. And hello, Shirley. And don't forget, if you are sending us that email, you could win what Sheena is making in the studio. I'm going to do this every day that I'm on shift. So it's called Davy B's Lucky Dip. Um, one person, by sending an email into the studio, send it to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk, put your name and also your customer number, and I could be sending you the card that Sheena uh, is making in the show, or whatever Sheena is making in the show, okay? And I'll do one of these every single day that I'm on shift in one of the shows where we're making a card, basically. Okay. I've got to say, Dave, that was a genuine. What? That price. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? That stamping platform alone is worth it. The pl stamping platform, because it's magnetic, you can multi-stamp in your position. And Welcome that's, to Hobby that's... Baker. We do that every what? day. What? I'm in the right place, I tell you. <laughs> I'm liking this. So, right, what I've done is I've used this swirl stencil. Um, not sure if it's still there, but it's, yeah, we're going to show you how to use it. If you, um, just that you can have a... Well, and tell you what, we'll use maybe one of these little spongy applicators as well. We've used that for the background for... Um, we can use either. Well, this oh. one's the swirls and flourishes. Yes, this is gorgeous. Get all three of them. Yeah. We've got two Look. left of that. <gasps> Don't miss them. These are, like I say, really heavyweight mylar. Gorgeous. Just go. Gorgeous. On. Oh, okay. I'll talk quicker. All right. So, okay. So what I'm going to do, in fact, let's do let's do this, and then we'll use that for the for the black bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this stencil, and I want to pick it up lighter in places and darker in places. I don't want it to look like it's just an overall screen print and it's that same depth of pattern. Does that make sense? So, it does. So yeah. hit bits and then we'll miss bits. And it, what, it's, what it's doing is it's creating interest in the layering. When you buy a really cool backing paper, it looks cool, but you don't, you're not quite sure why? And then he's look at it a bit closer. Have a look. I bet there's lots of layering going on. The artist, the designer, will have had like maybe a full bleached area. Then they'll have a, a shadow pattern in the background. Then they'll have a bit maybe of a bling on the foreground. And that's what makes it really much more attractive and appealing. Can you see how that looks oh, there? Wow. So yeah. So then we can we can go a little bit paler in some bits. Just pick up some bits a little bit more. Have a look and just keep. That's like a carnival going on, isn't it? It's so it is. It's it's happy, isn't it? Sunny. I want to pick up a little bit more definition um, in some a couple of areas, just so that it looks a bit more there, if that makes sense. Best to put less on, and then commit to putting more on if you know where you want it to go. Then again, removing it. So right. So let's say we're gonna say that. Yeah, I'm happy. That's lovely. So we've got a really pretty. Oh, I haven't even shown you the bling. I'm we loving that. The bling. <laughs> it's dried. Again, you don't see the bling until it's dried. But watch, watch when you see this. It is just. Watch for the glitter. Can you see it? That's the glitter overlay pens. That's what they do. 
And I would never have thought of using it like that, picking uh, it up with a sponge. It's fab, isn't it? Yeah, really, <laughs> yeah. really cool. So this one, I'm going to pop there, and we're going to do a border. Now, I'm just going to hold that there rather than tape it. But I've been using that low-tack tape, which is really cool too. Um, and I'll use the little sponge applicator here. So we're going to pounce through here, and this is going to be a much more defined kind of um, edge to this. So just pop that in there, and that, that bundle... Honestly, if you haven't got that, if you know anybody and there's a gift coming up, who's a crafter? Yeah. Oh, you've oh. got everything you need. Um, there's I five can't believe different it. products in that bundle with a £10 discount, 25% off, £6.79 each. £6.79 for a stamping platform. Six that's nine, just, nine, your blending sponges. That is, that is amazing, honestly, and it's a great stamping platform. It was what the first thing I got my eyes on because I need a good stamping platform. Back in the day, you know, we used like the flat, the, the wooden wooden blocks. Oh, no, don't go, ever go back. Um, and then and then we've got the rocker blocks, which are really cool. Yeah, Acrylic cool. blocks was the next stage, but rocker blocks cool. But repositionable stamping platforms, it's made things so much easier. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the butterflies, Dave, right? Oh, no, okay. I'm going to keep that one out there. And the butterfly. This could be winging its way to you if you would like it. This is Sheena's first ever demo on Hobby Maker. First day on Hobby Maker. Just your name and your account number. Email that to us, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. And this work of art from Sheena could be in the post to you. We'll announce the winner before the end of the show at four o'clock. Okay, so you've got about 10 minutes to get your, your names into us. So this butterfly, Dave, is going to sit about here, the, the focal point butterfly. But I'm going to pull this down a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a, a drop shadow for the, uh, the the highlight, the, the big star of the show, the blingy butterfly. Okay. Now, that butterfly has got to be pretty blingy to compete with that background. To be honest, what would also look cool is if you created it in a silhouette form. Yeah. So if you just did that, a black and even grey, you know, black on the outside, grey on the inside, um, and then maybe glossied it up, well, that would look super cool. It would look amazing. But this is basically, I've got now a shadow. That's where that one's going to sit. Let me show you what we're going to do there. And then one last thing before we, with this stencil, we're going to pop a little bit of a, a swirl coming from this little butterfly here. So it's a trail of, um, of wonderfulness. It's spreading all the crafty butterfly love there as it's going through that wonderful galaxy where my home planet probably resides. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm with you actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so can you say we've got like a trail coming from there a little bit as well? Yeah. But what I'm also going to do, here's what you can do again, um, you paint with them. So I was talking about making this a solid. Just splodge your ink, pick it up. And now if you want it darker, it's just simple. Don't add as much, um, you know, water to it and you're going to get more of an opaque coverage there. If you want it lighter, then you use less water. And it's as simple as that. Um, I, you know, crafting products come and go and there's trends and there's things you want to try and there's really cool things you think, wow, that's good. Um, but there's core things. It's like if you're going to stock your cupboard, yes. you've got to have this. If you're going to start to cook, you have to have this, this and this. Now, I know um, it actually says with the brushes, it did say twin pack. You are actually getting a set of five brushes for eight ninety nine. I know, crazy. Wow. Absolutely ridiculous. But these are endorsed by Sheila. She's used them for years. Royal and Langnickel. You try saying that. Um, and you can give us a free phone number call if you want to. 0800 001 4433. Or you can put it in your basket on our website, hobbymaker.co.uk. So what I'm doing now, Dave, is I'm going to use the black and I'm going to make this look, to make the centre look brighter, if you make somewhere look darker. So this is going to give it that vignette. It's an oldie, but it's a goldie. Now, what is super important here is make sure you've got a good, mat that you're working against which yep. we have we've got the, the glass mat glass here mat, yep. and just give it a clean now you know i have uh, maria will tell you i'm not one for giving things a good clean necessarily if i can possibly <laughs> ever help it right I, I i yeah not not me i don't i don't put my hand up for that however on your craft mat do that before you start because if you've got any bits of glitter bits of glue definitely water when you do this, it'll, it'll, you'll get a splodge or a smudge. If you right. pick water up on your sponge when you're doing this, the, instead of sitting on the surface of the card, which is basically what this is all about, it's spreading the ink over the surface rather than in the core, you'll get um, a splodge that you will not be able to remove. Okay. okay? Yep. So now can you see how that centre looks even more vivid? 
It's like you're looking through a telescope at it, isn't it? Isn't it so pretty? And that's how, in stages, it looks good, but then the next bit looks a bit better, then the next bit looks better, and you go, oh, yeah, it's rocking out. So that's the butterfly and the swirl. So what I'll do is I'll clean up, and I'll show you another way we can use the stencil. Okay, dokie. That's good. Right, well, we've got lots of other goodies in the show. Now, which stencils do we, do we still have left, then, I wonder? Let's have a little look. Now, if the stencil demonstrations that... Uh, that uh, Sheen is doing is making you inspired. Now the spots and dots, we have eight of these left. I cannot believe that you're actually gonna get three stencils. Look, you get the ombre effect, you get the big eight by eight square, or eight and a half by eight and a half, and you also get that fantastic kind of target or bullet design as well. So eight left of those, be quick if you'd like them. Next to that, the peacocks. I'm surprised that's still there actually. One, one left of the peacock. Okay, that's going to go any second now. Good luck. I hope you get it. And then the other large one here is this one, which is your love hearts. So there you've got the big eight by eight, eight and a half by eight and a half love hearts that kind of graduates in size. You've got the single love heart, and then you've got the DL of love hearts there as well. So how many of these have we got left, Kat? Just checking that one for you. There we go. So you've got all three stencils in there for a brilliant price. Remember, we're matching the price for all of these, four pounds and 99 pence. Uh, that one's just gone. That one's just sold out. So we still have these. So this is another way of getting the love hearts. You've got your butterfly and love heart. So these are six by six stencils. Both of these, we've got eight left of these at four pounds, 99 pence. So they're about to go any minute now. That was the butterfly you used in that demonstration, Sheena, wasn't it? It was, yes, that, that yep. huge butterfly. Yep. That's gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely fabulous. And then this one is a combination of your balloons and your spots. So if you want these, we've got a few more of these. These are actually eight by eight stencils, these ones. And we've got two left of those. Okay. <laughs> They're going to go any minute now, and they're going to be $4.99 as well. What a great introduction to meet Sheena. If it's the first time you've ever met her, you're going to be a permanent fixture on Hobby Maker, which is really good news. Dead chuffed, and you don't brilliant. live that far away. Oh, half an hour. That's brilliant. You don't just pop in. Oh, leave me. You'll be saying, oh, she's back. I know, where I'm coming. Um, I know where I'm coming for a coffee when I finish work then. So Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> we'll do lunch. Yes, absolutely. Let's do lunch. Right, so what you can do, here's another way to use these. So what I've done is I've used my stencil and I've used um, a piece of paper, a piece of card, card, tape it down, use your art liners. So use like a fine one, like a 0 0.5. They come in, I should mention they come in all different sizes. When you see me using these, how you can make really cool grass and things, which will have to be the next time, I think we may not fit it in, okay. you want them. So basically you're gonna go around and just draw around the outside like that, and literally draw around everything. It's great to get a pack of six, because if <sighs> you buy them individually, you pay quite a lot of money for them. But as a pack of six for just 10, 39, including one of them that's a brush, and it's archival ink in there as well. So. Oh, Oh, it is. It's fabulous, definitely. And you know what? We, um, if you've missed a bit out on a stamp, or if you want to add something to the stamp, yeah. like if it's a, a rose, for example, and you think, oh, it could do with another leaf. Well, do it. Mm. You can do it. It's really... So what I'm doing is like, oh, what I'm doing now, Dave. Look, you can basically make the butterfly your own style, your own design. Every time you do it, you can change it a little bit. You feel put that one there. I'm gonna put that one maybe from there to there, and you can do little, you know. Um, veiny bits and winged bits and whatever you want um, to decorate it and so it looks much less like a, um, a stencil and much more like a stamp so what you're doing is you're making the stencil look less stencily by filling in bridges so for example a bridge is where a bit of plastic's there to stop everything falling out okay so yeah. there's a bridge between the head and the body but all you need to do is just we can just you know join them up like that and then we can pop that there and join the, the once that's called these are antlers on TV, seriously. Um, so what we'll do, we'll pop a little bit there and what we can do with this one, we'll use the, um, we can use the sparkle, we could put a bit of um, the Midas, anything like that. Actually using the Midas metallic. Midas metallic. Um, I wonder what they would look like. I've never tried them on top of a color. We could try it. I've only, because the thing is I was going to color these in with multicolor. Okay, you no, do that then. I don't know. I'm going to... Right, you, do, you, know you do that. What? Let's have a look. We'll have a play. Let's have a I play. know we've actually got a good deal on these. That's the only reason I mentioned it. Now, I haven't seen these before, actually. You've got... Look at these. These are a real treat. Anything metallic always proves popular. You've got metallic ink pads from Spectre Noir. You've got a platinum, a silver, a rose gold, and a gold. Hello. Lines are busy. 
Yeah, you're going to want these. You are definitely going to want these. Now, these are metallic pigments. So they're going to give you the most wonderful metallic shine. Whether you're using them with brushes, whether you're using them onto stamps or whatever, there's your rose gold, there's your gold. The platinum, it's like a pistachio, isn't it? And then you've got your silver. Now, they should be $5.99 each. So that would be $23.96, if my maths is right. $24.96. We're going to do them under £20 today and not even $19.99. So you're going to get at least one of them absolutely free. How are these new? I don't, I don't think I've seen them. Ah, well, they're new to me, honestly. You know, I've been... Um, I've been with uh, Crafts Company for nine years and then not for five and then come back and then it was like, what? So sparkle pens, I knew, yep. I love them all the time, never fallen out of love and, and absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Had them there everywhere. Okay. But, and the water reactor, but these, new to me. New to me too. I'm going to show, we'll, we'll, shall we colour something in with them? It makes them 4 49 per ink pad. Look at these colours, silver, platinum. Oh, that, that platinum is gorgeous. Then you've got your rose gold. Then you've got your gold with metallic pigment in the ink. So you're going to get a, such a great result with these. 17 97 for all four. You're getting at least one and a bit for nothing, OK? And that's KR2002. I want to have a little play with these. Oh, I'm having a play now, Jane. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've, got, you've got some there. Yeah, you know, why not wait till your first show on a first channel to um, have a bit of an experiment? Why, you know, hello. Some people would have thought probably not the best time. What's that colour then? This one is um, rose gold. Rose gold, right? Okay. So I'm going to I'm pouncing with it because the thicker the application with these, the better they look. If you water them down, you don't get the full pop and impact. Right. All right. So I'm pouncing this on here like that. I'm wondering. I'm having a thought. I'm wondering if we dry it, if we can put a little bit of a ombre effect with the black. Um, regular water reactive on top of it as well. So rose gold, okay? okay. Yep. Let's try and see a little bit of bronze, see what the bronze shows up. A little bit more, ooh, it's, it's jewelry-like. It's gorgeous, Dave, this is pretty. Right, so what I've got, rose gold, then I'm using that little egg applicator out of that um, collection, that ridiculously priced, fabulous collection. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm pouncing that around the outside and it's giving it like an ombre kind of a transition from the, the rose to the copper. And I need amazing. to dry this. I'll dry it. That looks then, like sheet metal. It looks like sheet metal. And I'm thinking that actually could be the winner winner for that cord. I'm going to dry that and I'm going to try something else on. OK, if can. well, if you want these first time I've seen them, I'm not saying it's the first time on air, but I've not seen them before. So you're getting all of your four metallics with real metal pigment in the actual ink pad itself. Platinum, rose, gold. That's what Sheena used. Silver and gold for 49 each. How much should they be normally cap? Five ninety nine each. So you get one fifty off each one. So you save about six pounds by buying them today. And they're brand new. AR two double O two. Got a screen full of names going for it. Loving Sheena's demonstrations. Just check out your baskets. Um, we've got a lot of brand new customers coming through that are following Sheena, hearing the news that Sheena was going to be here. Remember, you're only paying one PMP per day. So if you buy three or four things throughout the day, it's three ninety five for all of those orders, and they'll be dispatched straight away from Crafters Companion. If you buy something from Joe, that gets dispatched from the Craft Hut. It's real, genuine, every day. Not not just for one day only. It's every day, capped PMP of three ninety five. No trickery. Um, it's just something we do every single day. Free phone number on the call centre, and it's free to order on the website. I had a thought. Oh, go on. Have we got the acrylic markers on the show? Oh, yeah. Right. Now, here I'm thinking, verdigris? This is acrylic. I don't know why I'm whispering. This is acrylic paint, yes, isn't it? Yes, it's acrylic paint and a pen. Acrylic it's paint It's like the travelling perfect crafting kit because okay. I've got everything in a non-spillable formula. The acrylic paint's in a pen, sparkle in a pen, and they're fabulous. Well, if you're going for the, um, the metal pigment ink pads, why not treat yourself to these? Because the colours are going to come up, work beautifully well with those. You've got your gold, you've got your silver, you've got your black, and you've also got your acrylic white paint as well. So paint without the mess. Well, yes, because the thing is with verdigris, what looks great with verdigris, you need a metallic base. Hello, we've got a metallic base, right? Right. And you need white. We've got white in the pen. Right. And you need a teal colour. This is literally, I can't... So you're going to make yeah, it look I mean, like rust? In a monologue, would say, yes, okay. like it's patina. You yeah, know, yeah, when yeah. it goes all like um, copper and, and bronze, it goes all kind of that gorgeous verdigris look. Now, this is where me in a monologue probably would have said, give it a try, Sheena, wait until you're not on air. <laughs> but, again, is this playing? And you know what? 
Why not? Let's have, give it a try. So, um, haven't perfected the, the application yet, but let's have a try. What colour is that, that ink? So, that what the, we've um, got... Is that the parakeet feather it's one? The, this is the lagoon. Oh, lagoon. Lagoon. Okay. So, what you can do is a couple of ways you can do this. You can have it so that this starts to run down the wings and look a little bit um, like, um, you know, like it's... Um, you know, in bits. It's, have, if you've never seen verdigris before, guys, have a look online. It is just absolutely ridiculous well, how how bright on, on copper don't you you do on copper yeah and it looks really really cool this is working this is working great so i'm going to use some of that yes anything Spatula like that That's and verdigris on it yes precisely and it goes all chalky looking oxidized and it looks totally totally um, nothing like you would imagine the colour to be. So by um, using some of the darker teal in bits and the white, but try not to be too contrived and symmetrical with it. So all you're doing, and that's the white acrylic marker, I'm going to add a little bit more white to it. Mm -hmm. So just squeeze it and you'll take the white out of there. Of course, you can go straight on and go a little bit more kind of See, like this. This is why I love working with Sheena, because she gives me ideas. I would never have thought of doing that. We've had so many messages. We've run them all across the bottom of the screen, so I hope you've seen yours, but we couldn't obviously read all of them out, but so fantastic to have Sheena with us at Hobby Maker. And you've got another show later on, haven't you? I have, yeah, seven. seven um, yeah, I don't know what I'll be doing at seven. Well, <laughs> it could be a lot of drawing with those heart liners. And, uh, so look, that is that's as good a verdigree as I've seen a, a kit, to be honest. Let me wipe this up and let me show you. Okay. I, I'm very pleased with that. That is a definite repeat one. That's a, another, we'll do that again. Okay. So look, that there, is that, let me show you. Hold it. Oh. Look at that. That is so clever, isn't it? using the metallic pigment ink pads and the acrylic markers using a little bit of white and also mixing it with a little bit of the turquoise from the, uh, from the water reactive ink pads. And there you go. Now that yeah. is gonna be one by one of you. Okay, what Kat has done, she loves doing this. <laughs> she's put all of your names that sent in an email into the studio onto the wheel. Sheena's wheel <laughs> or Dave's lucky dip wheel. Yay. Can you see your name there? Okay, where it stops, you're going to be the winner. Emily Card! Oh, Congratulations, Emily! Yay. You've won it. Congratulations, Emily. <laughs> we've got your, I think we've got your customer number. Uh, we will send that in the post to you and get Sheena to sign it on the back if that's all right. I'm going to stick it together now, so at least you've got a matted one. All you need to do is put on a, on a square card. I'm actually going to stick it all together for you. And every day from now on, in one of my shows, whether on the early shift or the later shift, I'll give a card that someone has made or something that's been made during the show away. So make sure you just email in every single day during the show that we're doing that in and you could win whatever. Uh, right, check out your baskets, please. We've got so many of you um, putting lots and lots of things in your basket today. Remember the clear overlay pens, the glitter pens, and the, ho um, the, uh, the glossy highlights for free. That's going so quickly. 80% of the stock has gone. You get three clear overlay pens that um, Sheena so brilliantly demonstrated and the glossy highlights you're not paying a penny for. Just $12.99 for those. If you buy nothing more than that today, you've got a bargain. All the stencils, most of them have gone. We've got a couple left here and there, but the website will tell you what's available and what's sold out. Um, and we've also got lots of other Spectrum Wild goodies that we haven't even touched on. So they'll get to those a bit later on. Sheena's back at seven. It's yes. been so good to see I've you. I've loved it. It's been lovely. lovely. You're going to meet Zena at seven. Yes. Okay. I've met. I've met the little uh, cuckoo. You've met Ivy. I have Ivy. She's oh. lovely. Because we've got we've got a little Willow at home. So it's like oh. Lovely. Ivy got me an Easter egg for, for Easter. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, right, we've got lovely Joe Jarrett on the way. Uh, we've got, of course, a craft cut on the way with amazing, amazing fantasy dips, which if you haven't seen, we still have them available. They're brilliant, they're genius. Lovely to have you with us, Sheena. Thank you, it's great to be here. Thank you, and thank you for an amazing welcome. Thank you, everybody out there as well for supporting. It's fabulous, thank you. I'll see you with Joe then in a couple of minutes. Don't go away. <laughs> This coming Saturday on Hobby Maker, we have got a brand new tool for you from the brilliant brand Under the Rainbow. Now, this is an A4 
multi-plate tool. Now that sounds interesting, doesn't it? This tool will emboss, it'll make boxes, it'll make cards, it'll do embellishments, but it also has a hidden secret. It has a parchment plate, would you believe, as well? So it's brilliant. So join us this coming Saturday at 3 p.m. for Under the Rainbow's brand new A4 multi-plate tool. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. If you've recently missed your favourite show on Hobbymaker, it's really easy to catch up on our website. Simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click TV Guide. Here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days, which you can watch, pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobbymaker's catch-up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? I'm loving this afternoon. I hope you are as well. Lovely to see Sheena here. Isn't it great to have her? Yeah, fab. Yeah, yeah. real diamond. And she's back a bit later on at seven o'clock uh, with more inspiration and more ideas. Now, Joe started our shows today at one o'clock and it went crazy. We've got brand new fantasy dip colours for spring 2023 and it was a whopper of a launch. Um, you can buy them as a set of four, which is the best value, isn't it, really? Yes. Or you can yeah. buy them on their own, which is still good value. And if you're a newbie and you've never done it before and you're not quite sure about it, then maybe just choose a colour that you like the look of. Um, I'll go through the colours for you individually first. Have we still got the, the finished ones? Uh, you had them out, didn't somewhere. we? Somewhere. Um, oh, they are. Right here. Oh, they're up here. Uh, not that one. That one. Oh, oh. everything's oh, well. going pop now. <laughs> <laughs> 
And there's some, oh, there one. And okay. that, yeah, Just so I can show you the colourways. Yeah, there you are. Thank you, Joe. Oh, okay. Now, ocean, this is what Fantasy Dip's all about. Look at that. You, you basically use your wire that we've got in the show, um, use your forms to shape the wire, and then you dip it in the Fantasy Dip. And it literally comes out like, well, not like this. It, you put them together, put the petals together to make the flower. But you end up with that beautiful translucent finish. It's almost like a pearlescent finish. Now, they should be $8.99 each. Uh, we did a deal and we let you have them for $7.99 per jar. 150 mil in each jar is what you're looking at here, but it couldn't be easier. You just dip it in, waft it around a little bit for a few seconds so that it, the, uh, the actual color kind of stays put and it dries in minutes. And then you can make these wonderful three-dimensional flowers. And that could be jewelry, it could be a flower arrangement in a home, it could be a, an embellishment on a card. You can put them wherever you choose and use them however you like. So that's the ocean. Then we've got bumblebee, and I'll tell you what, the, did you see the lines the way they lit up when these yeah. colours first came yeah. out this afternoon? Yeah. So many of you that love fantasy dipping just thought, I just need the next colours. This is like a, a beautiful buttercup colour. Butter, custard, all of the above, creme brulee, all the beautiful yellows, that beautiful, beautiful colour. So that's bumblebee, Seven ninety nine for that one. We've then got cherry, which is this one just here. I just love the fact it's so translucent. And it keeps its color beautifully as well. So there's your cherry. And then the last one, the most popular, because it is like Mother of Pearl, really, it's called Moonstone. And that's what you made the lily out of, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. And that doesn't have any color at all. But you can actually mix colors together if you want to. But Joe, you were saying about mixing them, just do a little bit of each. Yeah, do a little bit at a time. Yeah. Um, just to, just so you get used to it and just test, because it's nothing worth mixing a whole lot. And then you think, oh my God, what have I done? Mm. Um, so just do a little bit at a time in a container with a, a sealed lid. I will put some empty pots on next time. I keep forgetting. Um, so yeah, remind me, shout at me. Okay. And this one is again the moonstone, I think, isn't it? Uh, that's actually pearl. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a pearl. It's similar. Um, but you can, yeah, you can roughly see the difference. Yeah. It actually, um, you can see the colour in the moonstone by holding yeah, it can. against that. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. It's kind of sort of a, <clears throat> a lilac-y silver. Yeah. Yeah, it's got that's that hint right, of lilac it, yeah. to it. Yeah, definitely. So that's Moonstone. That's the one that's in the lead. Now, if you want all four of them, we're going to do a better deal for you. And I know many of you are kind of, this is your new favourite thing. This is something that maybe you just had a little go with, had a, took the plunge, dipped a few bits and pieces in, and you thought, do you know what, this is for me. These are brand new colours today. I'll turn the colours around so you can see all the ones that you're going to be getting. You're going to get all four, not for $35.96. We've done them and we're doing them at a deal price for you today. $27.99. And because you're dipping it in and pulling it out and you're, losing, you're using so little. Yeah, yeah, it lasts for absolutely ages. Yeah. Just make sure in between dips you just keep the lid on. Yeah. Because um, it will evaporate otherwise. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you can make hundreds. Absolutely. Yeah, really what can. we recommend is that you go for maybe the starter kit that's got the flower forms in it as well. Also, you get some wire. You also get some oasis. You can put your, your petals and, and it's like that in the oasis. So it has somewhere to sit. Don't rest it down on the table. It will drip and that sort of thing. But in the oasis, it dries in next to no time. Um, and yeah, the actual starter kit is on the screen, I believe, now for you. So you're going to get um, two reels of the wire as well, uh, the oasis, the tape, the tutorial, uh, everything you need, basically. Uh, it's over here. So everything here that you can see, there we are. Two reels of the, of the wire, which is very, very bendy and very flexible, very easy to use. Floristry tape, oasis, and your wooden blocks, which should help you form the shape of your petals. Okay, 15 pounds and 99 pence for that. Now we did speak about the mold earlier on. We didn't actually demonstrate it, but if you like the look of this, look at this. You do get three test tubes with it as well. You're thinking, what do I need a test tube? Well, the test tube goes in the middle of the vase and you can make it out of the compound or you can make it out of resin. Now, this is clear resin, but it's also got like dried flowers captured. Mm. You can even, if I just grab that one, can even make your fantasy flowers and put your fantasy flowers in resin. Oh, wow. Which is a lot cheaper, really, than buying dried flowers. Yeah, because dried flowers can be quite expensive. So that's a, a fantasy dip flower yeah. in a resin globe. Yeah. And all you need is the mould to make it, I suppose. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, talking of moulds, we've got the mould to make this vase. 
And I know last time we did something similar to this, it was a different shape. It absolutely flew, everyone loved it. And you are gonna get your three test tubes as well. There's the silicon mold, so you can fill it with either the resin or the compound. Um, and this is reusable again and again and again as well. Um, it's only $16.99 for the mold. And also you get your three different color test tubes as well. You get a pink, a blue, and a clear as well. But imagine how much you'd sell those vases. Yeah, yeah, and that, they are so effective. You know, even if you just put one single stem yeah. in there. Um, Sometimes one single one's even more effective yeah. than the load. Yeah, yeah, it's just classic. Now, the resin, if you want the resin, we've got two different sizes, haven't we? Yes, no? yes. We have. Yeah, we have. I don't know what's on there today, actually. Oh, no, we've just got one, actually. Oh, we've just, just got one the one, size. have we? Okay, two sizes of the compound and one size of the uh, the resin. So this is a, a, a is it fifty fifty or? Uh, it's two to one. Two to one. So, so uh, that's, why that's twice the size of that. That's it. Yeah. So it's two part A to one part B. Right. Um, the reason being is it's a lot stronger okay. than a one to one. Um, so if you're doing something like a vase or artwork, you want that bit of strength in. One to one's fine for um, jewelry making. Yep. Um, but with the two to one, you've got the choice of jewellery making and you've got the choice of doing structured work. Okay. Now, how many vases could we make out of that? Um, four. Four vases out of yeah. these? Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's more than I thought. Yeah. So the price of this is on the screen or it's coming up any minute. You get 750 grams of... Well, both together, basically. So you get 500 grams of part A, 250 grams of part B, making 750 grams. You can have it for less than 30 pounds. 29.99 DI1374. And I know there are loads of you that love uh, resin for jewelry making and also for home decor as well. Uh, order that today. That'll be with you very, very soon indeed. Uh, are we using that or are we using the compound? I'm going to use the compound. Okay. Because um, then that way, hopefully, through the show, we can demold it. Okay. And I can leave it long enough that I don't break it. <laughs> All right. Um, now, we got the actual compound in two different sizes, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, uh, Hazel in Great Island says, Hi, Joe. I thought of putting diffuser oil and reeds in the test tube. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Really It'd be lovely. Idea. Yeah. That yeah. would look great. Be lovely. And it'll smell great, too. Yeah, it will, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Mm, OK, like now that. the compound. OK, if you want to have the compound, it comes in two different sizes. We've got 1.25 kilo. Uh, here that comes on the screen. So uh, basically get the compound and the binder together. That's VL1364, £22.99. pence. Have we got that bag? Is it around? Oh, it's here. Yeah, there you go. There it is. So that's, everything's dotted around the studio. I can't see where anything is. OK, here we are. So there's your compound. And then that's your binder that you mix with it. So that's the size you'll get for £22.99. pence. How many vases could you make? Five. Five vases out of yeah. that. Brilliant. OK, so that works out about... Four pound of vase, something like that. And then the larger size, which is over here, huge. This is, wow, 5.5 kilos and your binder. There you go. So if you want that, that's my weightlifting for the day. Um, what can we do that price? How many vases? Uh, you're going to be double, aren't you? No, oh, no, two and a half, isn't it? So five's a kilo, isn't it? Uh, one, five, five kilos. ten. 25. 25 vases yeah. out of this yeah. for 49.99 and it's on split pay as well which is 24.99 today plus your pmp and 24.99 in four weeks time okay two pound of vase isn't it that's all right isn't it yeah that's really good yeah i like that i reckon yeah. you could sell you could sell those vases for about 15 20 quid I reckon. yeah not, I reckon if not so. more yeah mm. What do we do first then oh right okay me <laughs> <laughs> you're on okay um right so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use casting compound. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use some glitter. And I, I like a little bit of a antique sort of beaten about look. A bit like me, really. <laughs> I don't know, I think I knew you were going to say that. I just knew <laughs> So what I'm going to do is pile up glitter. That's the biggest bag of glitter I've ever seen It's in my good, life. isn't it? <laughs> you know why? Because I normally knock it over. So at least that way I'll have some left. <laughs> Hello, Fiona. Thank you for your question. Hi, Dave uh, and Joe. What do you recommend to colour the casting compound? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Now, you can get special pigments. Um, cheapest thing to use is acrylic paint. OK. All right. We've got loads of that on our website. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is mix up some um, of the stuff. What's it called? Compound. Oh, compound. I'm very tired now. Oh, bless you. 
um, layout. Your binder, um, save for outdoor pieces because it protects them. Yeah. So if you're doing vases and things like that, I mean, especially these ones, they're not going to get wet. No. So they don't need, and it's really, really strong. Um, makes no difference to the strength if you're going to use binder or water. Okay. So I tend to keep my binder for outdoorsy things. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is going to take a few mixes, so don't nod off. And literally, it's I think about you've got more chance of nodding off than me. <laughs> I had a really rough night last Did night. You? I only had about three hours sleep. Oh, bless you. And a long drive. Um, yeah. So it's roughly about um, two thirds compound to a third water. Okay. Oh. Wouldn't the compound cover up the glitter? Wouldn't it kind of just make it dull? As long as you um, pile it up it will be fine because okay. it doesn't actually, it's not like resin where it's going to move it. Right. Um, because it's it thicker. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you, you'll get a little bit, obviously, that sinks in, mm -hmm. but I want that sort of look whereby you've got bits missing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What's it called? I don't know. Um, it's probably stressed. Not. Distressed? Maybe. <laughs> or stressed. I kind of like, a, like an ancient sort of look, like an antique sort yeah. of look. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's it's taken that. It's quite a contemporary it. shape, though, isn't it? I yeah. Like, I love it. Yeah, no, I like that. So, literally, just pour that on top of your glitter. Don't take long to mix, then. No, it doesn't. It does go off quite quick as well. Oh, I'm going to stop there because what I was going to do shows you, I'm getting a bit dodgery now. They show you. Or your um, paint. Yeah, I've got okay. to put my paint in. So we've got um, all sorts of acrylic paints on the website. I know Cadence, we stock that. If you go to the website, you'll be able to find Cadence acrylic paints. And they're brilliant. Right, so blob of paint. Don't mix it in too much. And then what we're going to do... Oh, so it's going to give you like a marbling effect? Yeah. OK. That might look all right, actually. One side plain, one side a bit marbled, mightn't it? I think it would, yeah. I'm trying to convince myself that I've not messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to fill the mould right to the top? or As long as you go past that point there, because that point there is um, where your hole's going to be. For the test for you, Yeah. Right. All right. So yeah. I'm just going to mix some more up. Bear with me. All right. If I do it in a big lot in one go, I get too stressed. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want no. me freaking we out. We don't want to stress Joe. <laughs> No, she's not. You nice. can do it in a bigger container at home. Yeah, you, you can. To. It's just, yeah. Keeps it manageable, though, doing it in a plastic cup. Well, yeah. It's, yeah. I can't believe how quick it mixes. No, I know. It's good, isn't it? Mm. I like it. Does it get warm? Yeah. All right. So if you think of a really strong, strong plaster of Paris, yeah. basically, that's what it is. Um, plaster of Paris chips. This doesn't. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so yeah. we'll put a little bit more paint in, as I've remembered to do. Do you have to keep it, when you're not using it, do you have to keep it airtight or anything like that? Yeah, I just tend to put it in a bigger sort of, oh, we'll have a lot of colour, um, in a bigger Ziploc bag. But there are, on the actual bags, it's ziploc anyway. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Now, this mould, you can do resin or you can do this compound. It's entirely up to you. You can rinse them out and use them for both, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure it's clean. Yeah. I mean, uh, just imagine a, a, a craft stall at the local fair or wherever, you know, with literally maybe a dozen of these vases in different designs, in different colourways, some clear, some with bits in, like these flowers. Um, I mean, you could, this could be a little bit of a sideline business, couldn't it? Yeah, I think, you know, if you... Um, I mean, lots of people that I've spoken to have said like, their children have, have nicked the vows that they've made, you know, um, and they have been um, really popular. Mm. Um, but I think at a craft fair, you know, and especially if you're using your casting compound, why not get your casting, your compound and make to order at yeah. the show? Because yeah. half an hour... Yeah, because you don't need any machinery, do you? No. no. That's a really good idea. They choose can, a colour, choose yeah. a theme or whatever, and yeah. Come back in half an hour, please. Yeah. We'll be ready for you. Yeah. Does it really set that quick? Yeah. Blimey. Yeah. 
what a great feature to have. I bet you'll be the only person at the, the craft fair actually offering to make while they wait. Yeah. Or go for a coffee and come back. Great idea. And you can put all sorts in them, any colour you choose. People can choose their colourway. I mean, the resin doesn't, that's not that quick, is it, the resin? Is it? No, you need to leave that. I tend to leave it overnight, to right. be honest. Um, either that or if you put, put it's about six to eight hours. It will depend on the weather. Right. Funny old weather at the moment, oh, isn't it? Horrible. Um, so, but in the summer, obviously, we've got the temperatures where it's going to set even quicker. So I tend to sort of do my late at night and then leave it overnight, mainly because it stops me prodding. <laughs> That's the reason I do that. Yeah. I? I know what I'm like. Is that ready yeah. yet? Oh, no. No. And it's just so... I'm very... Well, I've got better as I've got older, but I'm quite impatient. Yeah, you see, and that, so I tend to have, like, three or four things on the go at the same time, so I, I'm not tempted to prod and poke and pick. Yeah, so you're not um, sat there watching one thing, waiting for yeah. it to dry. Right. The trouble is, though, is if you get up in the middle of the night, you know, sometimes you have to, don't you? Um, and, um, yeah, you think, oh, I wonder how it's doing, and then you give it a poke, and you think, well, that's just a waste of time. Look at the mess I'm getting in. Give it a tap. Right. Does that get rid of the air bubbles? Yeah, or? it's going to bring all your bubbles up. <laughs> I need a bath after this. And then just leave it. OK, I'm going to leave that. My producer just said the, the mould comes with a bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> it just made me laugh. <laughs> a bung hole. Yeah, it's, it's basically a bung that creates the hole in the top of the vase. Yes. It just sounded very funny. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> so we're going to leave that set. You've got giggles now, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to leave that set now. Yeah, OK, brilliant. That's it. So that will take how long? Uh, about half an hour. About half an hour, OK. Fingers so it'll crossed. be ready by the time we end the show then. That's yeah, all right. Good. Now, loads of you are coming through for the Fantasy Dip. If you want to go for the compound, 16 99 is the small one. Oh, that's the mould. Beg your pardon. That's the mould. OK, so the mould, if you want it, 16 99 It will come with three of these test tubes, a blue, a pink and a white one. And they just basically fit in the bunghole <laughs> in the middle of the vase. Thank you, Kat. Um, and the test tubes on their own have sold out, I've been told, so sorry, but you can still get three if you go for the mould, OK? And I just, I love, I love both. I mean, I love the kind of industrial look of the compound. Uh, yeah, I do. But it's weird, isn't I it? I equally love the total clarity yeah. of the resin and being able to put things in it. These are dried flowers, but you could put anything in there, couldn't you? You could mm. put beads in there. Yeah. Anything yeah. that you want to kind of, yeah. you know, kind of catch it. It's almost like trapped in time, mm. everything inside it. Really yeah. lovely. I mean, that on a bookshelf, on a uh, coffee table would look lovely. Mirror and glass up... looks nice in there. Crushed Cutters. mirror glass. OK. Yeah, that looks really nice. nice. But again, you can, you know, charge, I reckon you can charge 15, 20 pounds for one of those easily. I mean, we've got the fantasy flowers, of course, in the top of the vase there. But if you wanted to put some reeds in, we asked to have that question about um, essential oils and diffusers. Yeah, of course you can put them in there. No trouble at all. Absolutely brilliant. OK, Janet's coming in, Leslie, also Debbie and New Crafter as well. Brand new colours, though, on the Fantasy Dip. Let's go back. And I think we're going to do another demo on the Fantasy Dip now, Shall which we? is fantastic. Let's do it. I'm in a right mess, you know, Dave. Look, Makes plastered. Sense me. <laughs> plastered. Uh, right, now, do you want them individually? Do you want them as a set of four? If you go for them as a set of four, we can give you the best price. Twenty-seven ninety-nine, and this is quite simply a case of getting the wire, dipping it in, and letting it dry for a couple of minutes, and that makes your petals. Now, there is your bumblebee. That's the colour that bumblebee is going to be. There is your beautiful cherry, the cherry red. Here is your moonstone, which has got an ever so slight tinge of lavender lilac to it. Um, and then you've got your beautiful. Look at the blue. Isn't that blue beautiful? So you're going to get all four launched today and we've had more stock. We've actually partnered with Joe for this because the stock that we had last time sold out in about 20 minutes. Uh, we keep saying to Joe, we need more, we need more, we need more. Uh, and now today we've got four times as much stock as we've ever had before. And that stock went really quickly at one o'clock this afternoon. Good news is though, there are still some available. So if you normally, if you miss the first show, second show hasn't got it in because it's sold out. 
Today, we can still do the second show for you with the Fantasy Dip for $16.25. We've also got the starter kits available as well. We've got double Oasis. We've got the strengthener and the thinners. And we've even got bits available on their own today as well. If you just want flostry tape, you can buy that on its own. If you just want extra wire, uh, we've got the rose gold wire and the silver plated wire as well. That's a bundle. The floristy tape, if you're running out of that, is only $3.99, but it will come in the starter bundle. If you want to go for the starter bundle where you've got all the wooden forms to curve your petals and to make your petals and leaves as well. Um, we've also got these, which of course, once you've made your flowers, you can put this through the center to arrange them maybe in a, in a vase or something like that. This is your stud wire. Mm -hmm. Stub wire, not stud, stub wire. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different... That's a whole different channel. Yeah, um, yeah 30 stub wires, um, and that's KG1327 <laughs> if you want these today. Uh, lots of you have been multi-buying these as well. So you get 30 of them for one ninety nine. And remember, if you bought something already, add it to your order. You're not going to pay any more PMP than that three ninety five that you've already paid, OK? Now, you don't need to spend a lot of money. You don't just have to buy a kiln or you know, expensive machinery or anything like that. No electricity needed. So you can do this when you're sat in front of the TV at home or when you're away for a weekend or whatever. Because I, I, it took me a while to work out why I needed and what those wooden dowels were for. Because you get yeah. quite a few of them in Star Trek. Yeah, there's five, um, all sort of different sizes um, for sort of graduating, um, obviously, your petals, but making your, your basic shapes, really. Um, you can use other things, but it's always nice to have sort of the exact sizes. As your fifth um, one. Fell off. You know, to... What's fell off? The fifth one. There's oh. only four there. There's your fifth one. Was there? there oh. Um, I don't know what I was saying there. What's the saying? I don't know. I don't know. No. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I love working with you. Um, now, you've got the different sizes because you want to make different size petals. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> This is sleep. See, I've got you in my ear. I've got cat in my other ears. <laughs> ah, well, you see, <laughs> two women, one either side. Yeah, look, that's a bit of wire. Uh, I won't give you that one. That's a bit thin. Is it? Thin, not thin. It's <laughs> thin. There you go. Make some shapes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make five of these. So put your wire around, bring the wire together, mm -hmm. okay? Hold on to it and twist your form up. I keep getting my plaster wrapped up in my wire. I'm twisting my form. Twisting your form. I've done it again. How about your snips? Yeah, well done. Thank you. All right, so I've got five. There you go. That's it. Right. I've done this before. Yeah. Hold on to it then. You're not finished yet. Okay. I'll keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to put a little bit of shape in this again. So I tend to use my finger. I'm just going to put a little bit, a little bit of a dent. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Okay, don't worry about your shape. Take your thinner gauge wire. And we're going to wire these all up. So we're going to have quite a few veins. Got How many do I need? Oh, at least four. Four, OK. Yeah, I reckon so. So on those little dents you've made, this is so cool. I love doing this. It's all right, isn't it? You can lose yourself, can't you? Yeah. And I think that's why it's so popular. I mean, guys are going to love to do it. Ladies are going to love to do it. I mean, obviously, if you've got kids involved, adult supervision that goes without saying, but I mean, yeah, they'll love it too. Yeah. And it's, you know, you can, if you can make the shape in wire, you can dip it. Yeah. And of course, now you've got the dowels in the different sizes. That makes yeah. it easy to do. To, to do that shape any other way wouldn't be easy. Yeah, no. And especially if you're doing like uh, something like a rose, you can work right up from the smaller um, petals. Yeah. Um, to your large, as large as you want. Okay, so this is a little bit time consuming, but it is very effective. One, two, three, I did five, didn't I? Okay, I've done four. Four, do you want to put some veins in? Yeah. Shazzy, shazzy. Hmm? Shazzy. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to have a vein going up the middle there. Yeah? yeah, put veins wherever you want. 
better, especially if you're doing, um, yeah, a larger fall, a larger petal. Give it some structure. Okay. Don't use sharing, are you? <laughs> I'll, I'll bring my own tools next time. I can tell. I've got some more somewhere, but it will take me half an hour to find them. And everyone would have gone so home. The bigger the petal, the more veins you need in there. Because yeah. obviously, it's a bit like when you blow a bubble, you know, when you're a kid, blowing bubbles with washing up liquid and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, if you've got somewhere for the actual liquid to hold and grab, you're more likely to get a better result. That's it. And then just snip your ends of your wire off. Okay. Yeah. And we can put a bit of shape in this so just hold it onto your form and then we've created a, a nice shape i might have yellow oh okay do you want you can have yellow as well i'll let you yellow is my favorite color all right bumblebee it's called available on its own i've got the wrong end have you or buy it as part of the bundle. You'll, honestly, this is gonna last you such a long time. Yeah, I'm in my own little world now. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so dip into where all your wires have joined. Just give it a little bit of a, a wiggle. Mm -hmm. Or what did you call it earlier? Faff, faff it, did you say? Waft it. Waft it, that's it, a waft. Not faffed it. <laughs> <laughs> Make words up now. <laughs> Little bit of a waft just yeah. until just, the top. Just keeps the colour where you want it, basically. Yeah. Shove it in your oasis and then you can just carry on making. Now, I don't want to bore you to death, but. Yeah, I've gently got place it in your oasis. No, shove it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I'll start getting hysterical when I'm really, really tired. <laughs> You get even funnier when you're done. Do I? Yeah. I get, yeah. It, um, yeah. I have to be careful when I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, careful what you say. Yeah. I try to think before the mouth engages. So, there we go. I've done three already. Done yeah, That's I've done it. three. So, if I show you everyone at home, I mean, they're, they're odd shapes at the moment, but I can tweak them. So, I've done what Joe's done. By putting a little bar through the middle, it gives more for the liquid to kind of grab onto, okay? Just got to give that another twist and turn, cut that off. But you can see how forgiving it is, even yeah. with, um, you know, your wire work. I mean, it's so easy to, 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 to mould it and shape it. Mm. Just cut off my loose end. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Right then, okay. What sort of shape do I do now? Pinch at the top? Or not? Personally, what I would do with them, right? Put them in. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Is I would give a little bit of a shape in the middle. Pull that down a bit. Just need to. And what or we give it like a, make it look like a heart or something. Yeah. Okay. You're the expert. Well, I play a lot. And then, so you can even put little twists in your, your vein. Oh, right, okay. Yeah? Yeah. So, okay, so is that your stomachs? It's because you haven't eaten. No, oh, my stomach. It was. Wasn't it? Was it? Well, it was something going on. <laughs> <laughs> no okay. No one's there, is there? Right. I'm ready. I've got three to do. Right. Okay. Do you want to dip? Yeah. Can right. I do the blue? Do what you like. Yeah. Because that blue is gorgeous. Have I got any oasis? I can stick my... Yeah. Good. We've got spare oasis in the show as well. Only got a few of those left now. It is handy to have the spare oasis because you start making petals and then all of a sudden you've got nowhere else to, to put it. And if you stab it like I stab it, then... Um, yeah. I'm wafting. Yeah. You're waft, go on, have a good waft. So you just move it around, it means the colour doesn't go to one end, it just kind of stays where it should. Now, if you want your oasis, two of them are £1.50 for two. So 75p each, we've only got 10 chances left to get the oasis, but it gives you somewhere to put what you've made. 
Hey, look. Look at that. Get wafting Can you? and then wafting. Oh. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Uh, before your eyes, it's drying. A complete coverage. Just because I put that vein in the middle, it gives it more surface area to grab on. Cat, come out, have a go. Come on, cat. Cat wants to dip. Come on, love. You, 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 you know that cat's in my ear all the time, and you've probably never met her. Well, you probably have, actually, because we've got gallery cams, so you've seen her. But let me get cat out. Cat, cat, cat. Craft, cat. Crafting is sociable. Yeah, come on, girl. In the oasis. You will dip it right. Oh, you, 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 then you dip it again. You, if you don't dip it right, you can dip it, you dip it again. Okay. There you go. This is Cat, everybody, producer. Dip Roll it in at an in. angle. Roll them in, right to where you think it's going to be. Hold it with the pliers, because otherwise it will take your nail polish off. All right. And they so look rather spectacular. So just dip it into the. Where it... And gradually take it out. There you go. <gasps> there you Done it. it. And waft it. You've got to do the waft. Waft and waft. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> you're a natural. You've wafted before. That's <laughs> <laughs> what she does in her spare time. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And just stick it in the oasis. Oh. Come on, more fingers and thumbs now. That's all right. There we go. And that will dry in a couple of minutes. Thank you. That was loads all of right. I want, a, want about ten roses now, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. I'm not sure this is riveting TV, but I shall... Ah, oh, just cut myself with the things. It's made her day. <laughs> well, the thing is, they sit there, don't they? Work hard. You yep. never get a chance to play. So I think we should set them a yeah, challenge. They push all the buttons, set all the prices, give you all the good deals, and then... Yeah. yeah. So I do. I think we'll ought to, we ought to set them a challenge. So I've got three now. Right. Do one more. One more, okay. Yeah. How many? One, two, three, four. Can I do one without a vein? Of course you can. Okay. Will it still work? Yeah. Because so I find the vein the vein is not tricky to do, it's just a bit time consuming. So if I yeah, can, does I can do it without the vein. So it does go quiet when you're dipping and wafting. Now, yeah, since Kat made her appearance, lines have got very busy. That more of you checking out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, Kat. So there's one without the vein look. So you can do it without the line in the middle if you find that a little bit too fiddly. Look at that colour. Isn't that amazing? Nice, isn't it? It's gorgeous. But again, waft it a little bit so you don't get all the intensity of blue at the bottom, so it kind of stays in the middle. Uh, Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Um, great to see you both, Dave and Kat, having a go. Thank you, Caroline. It's fun, it's great, it's easy. No, I'm not gonna do veins in my last two. Oh, I've got a bubble there. Oh, you've got a bubble? Yeah. How'd you get rid of the bubble? Oh. Dip it in again. Yeah, I've got my lid stuck, Dave. I'll do it. Oh, I've got a drip now, it's all oh, happening. No. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, you make, if you make and sell, just, just bask in the glory that everyone's going to be in awe that you've actually made these from scratch because that's what you've done. You've done it. Put a hole in it now. Is that lampshade from earlier disappeared? What did I do with my lamp? Hmm. I don't know. What I tell you what, though, we've got headdresses here. I mean, look, look at this. Imagine, imagine that at a wedding. I mean, if you bought that from a hat shop, what do they call them? Milliners? Is it milliners? Uh, 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 yeah. Um, that would be a fortune. Yeah, without that, probably not an expensive hat. With that, suddenly, you know, it's gone up 50 quid or whatever. Um, the four brand new colours, um, the possibilities are endless. I, I love this because this Joe showed me in the one o'clock show this afternoon. Look at this. Just using a twig from the garden and either sticking or just twisting some wire around the branch, you suddenly then got, what do you call this again? Um, cherry blossom. Cherry blossom, that's it, cherry blossom. You stick it, stick it with some um, you know, hot glue gun or something like that, or just use the wire and wrap it round. But it then looks like you've got cherry blossom, real cherry blossom, but it's all fantasy film, fantasy dip. Love it, love it, love it. Well, I'm gonna leave them to go off. I've just seen this butterfly as well, look. Yeah. Look at this. 
So four petals, technically, makes a butterfly. Put a little bit of bling in the middle, some of your little crystals in the centre. And we have actually got the faceted stones that, um, that Joe actually got for us in the show today. There's 600 of them, 100 on each strand, and you get six strands, black, yellow, and orange. They're available as well. But yeah, you could put a few of those in the middle of the butterfly, and suddenly you've then got a butterfly brooch or a butterfly hair grip, or yeah, you can make it a dragonfly if you have the wings longer. Loads and loads of possibilities. Now, the beads today, if you want them, 600 of them, 9 99 And they come on strands. All jewellery maker fans will be familiar with the way that they come. So, yeah, they really do sparkle. Look at the sparkle on these. Look at them dance in the light. And you used those as like stamens, didn't you, earlier on? Yes. In the middle yeah. of flowers. Yeah, I'm just going to do a few to... Oh, do I want orange? Beads also, if you've got beads. Um, and you can dip your bees to change colour. Okay. If you want to. Where's the old one? Seems a shame though, because they're so nice. Yeah. And um, by the way, black beads, if you're thinking, what would I use those on? Poppies? Middle of sunflowers? We had a big sunflower earlier, which I think has gone walk away. I don't know where it's all gone. Oh, it was here. Oh, it's here. There it is. There we are. Look. look at that. Look at that. I mean, this is taking it a stage or two further, obviously, but that is fantasy dip with the beautiful black crystals in the middle. But if you break that down petal by petal, yeah, there's a lot there, mm. um, but they're all the same, same shape. Same shape, yeah. Same shape. So you've That's got how many, you've probably got about, what, 20 or 30 there? Uh, I think there's 35. 35, to make yeah. that stunning sunflower. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? And it's just one simple shape. Right. Just repeated? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we are, by the way, if you're wanting green, we are looking at getting green next time Joe comes for your leaves and stuff like that. But in the meantime, you've got these spring colours that are brand new today to make all your petals. We showed you a lily at one o'clock. You can watch that show back if you want to. Mm -hmm. All right, so all I've done, just threaded on three beads yeah. and just wrapped them round. Okay? Yeah. Um, going to just take that across, that across there. Pull this off and grab it all. Kate's got a question. Hi, Dave and Joe. Uh, how robust is the film once dried? Uh, oh. Very. You know, if you want your strengthener, if it's going to go outside, um, Joe recommends using the strengthener. And do you put that on after you've dipped it? You dip it first, let it dry, and yeah. then what, dip it in the set strengthener. What I would do, would do is to... Um, Make sure you've got the shape of your petal you want because once you put strengthener on, there is no going back no. at all. Whereas at the moment, even though they're strong, you can still, you know, yeah. bend them slightly. Right. But no, in answer to your question, it's incredibly robust. It's not very fragile at all. So if you do want strengthener, certainly use it if you're putting things outside ornamental because otherwise they, they, they won't like a battering from the wet weather and the wind and that sort of stuff. But certainly, yeah, we've got the strengthener and we've also got the thinner. So if you're finding that your actual uh, fantasy dip is actually um, getting quite um, gloopy and quite stiff, you can just add a little bit of the thinner to make it more liquid again. Because obviously if you leave the lid off, air dries it out. It dries very, very quickly once you take it out of the jar. So obviously if you leave the lid off the jar, the jar could dry out quite easily. And I've done that yeah. before. Yeah. You know, something's happened and I've not... Yeah. I mean, see, I need leave my lid on when I'm working just like that yeah and if something happens it's not done up tight and the whole lot's gone hard but the thinner just brings it all back mm. just so, like, so if you're using it for ornaments inside you don't need the, th the hardener if you want it outside then certainly do use the hardener or if you know it's going to you know be put through its paces wherever you're going to be putting it okay we've only got how many left 10 of the strengthener and the thinner so if you want that you get two larger tins that I've got here uh, they're 150 mil are they yeah, yeah 150 mil of the strengthener 150 mil of the thinner um, for £12.99 you get both okay ZD1334 now the brand new bundle we have 50 sets that's all we've got left now this is the biggest stock we have ever ever had since Joe's been with us at Hobby Maker we got if you're just getting in now quarter to five Maybe you've been out all day, just getting in from work, thinking, oh, I didn't realise. These are going to go. Um, if you watch this show back a bit later on, it does get repeated on the internet uh, when we go off air at 8 o'clock. So lots of people watch late at night and first thing in the morning the next day. They're, they won't be here later on. So if you want them, you're going to get Moonstone, 
bumblebee, you're going to get ocean, and you're going to get cherry. Brand new fantasy dips. And, and mine are now completely... Where have they gone? Oh, no. <laughs> mine are now com completely dried. And Kat's has ours, absolutely. Not mine, ours. <laughs> but, yeah, that's now completely solid. So but completely see-through. OK, so what do I do first? Right, OK. So... so I'll take them out of this. Yeah, take them out of that. Um, go on, you can have my stamens, because I'm kind like that. Because I haven't got any... Well, I've got some somewhere. Let me just twist this up. Joe's got in touch. Hello, Joe. Good afternoon. Tom. Sorry, not Joe. Uh, no, Joe. <laughs> Tom is saying, <laughs> Joe, you and your products are amazing. You really make these items and you help anyone that needs it. It's been an awesome being on your DT. Oh, thank you, thank you darling. Uh, you know, Tom and the girls are just so supportive. Like, not only to me, but to the whole group. Mm. You know, they're, they're absolutely brilliant and they bite, bounce ideas off and come up with things. Right, hang on a minute. Where are you going now? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. So get your stamens. Best place, start with your stamens. OK, right. Yeah? Yep. Put a little bend in. And then you can just start going around like that. You okay. want to get your tape. Yep. Start at the top. I always say, just get it together first and then you can faff about with it afterwards. I'm a good faffer. Oh, do you? you have to faff, don't you? You have to stretch it, don't you, to get uh, it sticky? Put it on, and then as you're putting it on, then pull it and sort of stretch oh, it okay. at the same time. Which side's the right side? Hang on a minute. Right, so, as it's wrapped up, as you're pulling it off, that's going to be your sticky side. OK. So if you put... That's it. Got it. Yeah, push mm -hmm. it, squeeze it together. Yeah. Don't pull it too hard. Oh, OK. You break it. Just squeeze it. Yeah, squeeze it and give it a little tiny pull. OK. A little tiny pull. A little tiny pull. <laughs> and then you can start putting your other petals on. OK. Oh, sorry, petals. Oh. And then... Tell you what, this is really therapeutic. Yeah. So I'm just going to go with, as you stole my stamens, I'm going to go with a big <laughs> bead. <laughs> not that I begrudge them or anything. I've not actually... I've done some of this with Joe in the past, but I've not actually done this bit before. So. No, you haven't. And, and, you know, until... Um... Sorry, I just want a bit more tape. I don't want to fight you for tape. Um, the more you do, <coughs> the more confidence you'll get. And, you know, it can be a bit fiddly, so just take your time. But I say just wrap it round, mm -hmm. squeeze it with your fingers, give it a little pull, get your first couple on. And if it goes wrong, you can just undo the tape yeah, and just undo definitely. it and go back and rethink it. Wrinkles. I've got some wrinkles there, Dave. So have I. <laughs> in places I don't really want wrinkles. So get a heat gun on that and that will just flatten that right out. But you'll notice, see, because it's a larger surface area. Tiddly winks. <laughs> You're going to throw that up in the air in a minute. Mm. Got 10 minutes. 10 I've minutes. Got 10 minutes to get this done. 10 oh, minutes. No pressure. Now, I've actually got four petals on this. It's almost like a four-leaf clover. I should have done five, really, because it's normally odd numbers, isn't it? Yeah, but um, what's the name? Uh, poppies. The majority of them only have four. Oh, yeah. Good point. So, um, can be, they're fantasy flowers. Yeah. So, it can be what you want. Now, as this is my very first attempt at putting it together, what do you think? I think you've done all right there. What do you reckon, Kat? Does it look all right? If I'd had a fifth one, I could have overlapped the petals a bit more. Yeah, you can. Oh, I've got statements on the outside. That's all oh, right. I can push, push it in. Push, yeah, of course you can. One escaped. Yeah, and I mean, you'd be at home, you'd be sat down at a table, we're stood up. A bit up, more relaxed. A bit more yeah. awkward. Yeah, cool. I'm quite happy with that. So you can still bend it. Oh, Once now look at that. So and you just got your single bead in the middle there. And isn't that yellow just amazing? Isn't it? This colour, remember, is called Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Really good number, a really good name for it, absolutely. There we are. So, Bumblebee, 
cherry, moonstone, ocean. Four new colours. And normally pots of this sort of material would be about 125 mil. This is 150 mil for each of them. And they're 6 99 each at that price. You can buy them on their own if you just want one colour to give it a try. Never done it before. 27 99 though, gets you all four of them. And I know many of you buy all the collections that come out from Joe. Also, think about it. If you've got um, previous colours, these are going to tie in nicely with the colours that Joe sold out of last month and the colours that we'll be bringing you in the future as well. Now, it's, it was so frustrating from our point of view that we go on air, we get loads of people come through, put it in their baskets, check out, and we're sold out within 20 minutes. That's what happened last time. Um, and that's normally what happens. But we ordered four times as much stock from Jo this time. We actually kind of partnered with her to be able to get this quantity available for our show today. And we're down now to the last 50 left or less than that now. 40 remain. That is it. There's 40 sets. And there's 12 of you with it in your basket. So we're down really to the last 28. Hello, Gillian in County Durham. Please check out Crafter in Derbyshire, Crafter in County Durham, Sue in Peterborough, Marlene in Essex, Deborah in Essex. You know, whether you're wearing, wearing them, whether it's going to be a corsage, maybe it's going to be a, a, a posy for um, a, a wedding, whether it's going to be a top, tape, a top, top table decoration uh, for a wedding reception. I'm a, I'm a best man in a few weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. My sister-in-law, I'm going to be the best man for my sister-in-law's new husband. Oh. So, yeah. Brilliant. My other half's giving her away. Oh, that'd be lovely yeah. day, that will. But there'll be lots of flowers going on. I need a buttonhole. Do I do. Know. Yeah. What colour? Suits blue. Right. Uh, pink tie. Pink handkerchief. Yellow. Yellow one? Bumblebee. Yeah, I'd be, I'd, actually, that would look good with blue, wouldn't it? Yeah, mm, that would look good. But yeah, for anything like that that you've got coming up, or whether it's just for interior decor, for home decoration, you can make and you can sell if that's what you want to do with these. Um, we've got some jewellery here. We come on every day after Jewellery Maker. Um, I mean, this is a beautiful fashion jewellery piece, and that it's incredibly light. If you put, kind of put something in your hair, you know, you don't want anything really heavy kind of weighing your head down, especially if you've got to wear it all day long for a special occasion. Maybe you're off to the races. It's the Grand National, isn't it, tomorrow? Is it? I think so. I don't even yeah. know what day it is, Dave. We can't get it in time for tomorrow, but you know what I mean? If there's a, a racing event coming up, Goodwood or something like that, and you want to dress up, Ladies' Day, all that sort of thing, you know, these go a long, long way. My, I, when I got married, I had Christmas roses as a... Oh, uh, yeah, but oh nice. it was dead by about two hours after I put it in the jacket. Because <laughs> they don't... And these won't do that, no. you know. And also, I didn't have a keepsake afterwards. You've got a keepsake with yeah. these. Um, right, a question from Ray in County Antrim. Hello, Ray. Could these be added to a wreath for an outside door? Yes, yes, yes. Use the strengthener, yes. especially with our weather. Yes. Um, because, yeah, they, they, it probably wouldn't like it without it, but no, certainly just, with the just strengthener. just the wind, isn't it? Well, yeah. You know, sometimes it depends how you attach the wreath, but sometimes if the wind gets it and bashes it. And also, I know we've had in, um, we've had in the past uh, questions about like memorials and things like that. Yes. If you put them on a memorial outside, yes. that would be all right. Perfect for that as well. Yeah. OK, we've got three left of the strengthener and the thinner. Strengthener for definite if you want to put anything outside. If you want to put it on a fence panel, want to put it, I don't know, um, on a ta outside table or something like that, and you don't have to keep on moving it in and out, in and out, in and out. The thinner is so that you can pres preserve the life of your fantasy dip, make it go that much further. And if it does get a little bit thick because you left the lid off, you get distracted, the phone goes or whatever, and you forget, put a bit of thinners in, that will then kind of liven it up again for you. But honestly, it's just so much fun. We've got about three minutes left on the show, and we're now down to the last less than 40 with 12 people with in their baskets with the last update I had. So we've got about 28 of the main collections. We do have a few singles left, I believe, as well. Is that right, Kat? We've got a few of the Bumblebee, a few of the Moonstone, a few of the Ocean, and a few of the Cherry. They are $7.99 individually. If you buy the set of four, you're going to get the whole lot for £27.99. But what would you pay? What would you sell something like this for? I've seen, uh, seen them on Etsy, £35 a flower. No way. Really? £35 a flare? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, why not? Yeah. I mean, I can see why. You know, they're handmade. Yeah. You know, you expect to pay an awful lot more money for handmade. If you're buying mass-produced from China or something like that, you expect a bargain. But if you're buying handmade from us in Redditch... Oh, is that where we are? That's where we are. <laughs> I had to think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, oh, I forgot I'm we did this. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Sneakily, I might not break this one, Dave. But there's no guarantee. Oops. 
Look at the mess I'm making. Dun, dun, dun. Now this... It's still a little bit wet there. I see what you mean by, about the glitter. It doesn't... Yeah. I thought the actual compound would dull the glitter. and I couldn't understand why you were putting it in there, but it sits on top. It doesn't get absorbed. Oh, you've got your bung out. You've got my bung out. Good. <laughs> you have to use my finger. I'm relieved. <laughs> I've got my bung out. Oh, that's lucky, that feed, wasn't it? Hey. <laughs> oh, I can hear bells ringing. I think that's the boss. Bells. Um, nearly time for me to say Jerio for this evening. I'm back tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Zena is going to be here. Don't forget, Sheena is back with us at Hobby Maker, 7 o'clock. We've got a two-hour Debbie Moore special on the way from 5. But, yeah, if you want that, that, that wonderful silicon mould to make that vase, it can be made in resin. Let me just show you the difference. That's the compound. Mix it with acrylic paint. That's the resin. That is gorgeous, isn't it? It looks like glass. Yeah. And everything in it is suspended, so it could be dried flowers. It could be anything that you pop in there little embellishments that you've got, little ornaments. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you've got your like, kid's first tooth or something like that yeah, you want to pop that yeah. in. People put hair in, don't they? Yeah. Um, horses hair in the towel, yeah. people plait them. I mean, that would look nice, something like that, plaited around there. Mm. And of course, we've got our fantasy flowers in the, um, in the test tube here. Um, but certainly, if you wanted to put reeds in and put essential oil in there, you could put multicolored sand in the test tube as well if you wanted to. Maybe if you're from the Isle of Wight and you've got the fantastic multicolored sand beaches, that would look really cool. Um, it's up to you what you put in it, but I, I think it's a lovely thing. I mean, it, just clear, it looks great. Mm. Can you add color to the acrylic, mm. make it a color? Yeah. yeah, you can either um, make it a solid color um, or you can use alcohol inks. Ooh, Add them in. Because that would Make then it leave it. Yeah, it would leave its yeah. clarity, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, well, the resin we've got, remember, available in uh, one size today. So, if you like the idea of doing the clear vase, you're going to get two um, 500 grams. So, it's two parts of part A to one part of part B, which is why you've got half the size of that, 750 grams in total. And you said you could make how many vases? Can't remember now, it was a long time ago. <laughs> five, you said. Five, five? It? Yeah. five out of one, five like that. And that's cost you 29.99. But you could probably sell one of these for 25 quid. So if you made five of them, it's 125 pounds. And it's cost you 29.99 for the resin. I'm in the wrong game here. Yeah. You are. Mm. <laughs> Uh, it's br brilliant as ever. Um, Joe, safe journey back. Yes, thank you, Great darling. to see you. And Joe. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Zena is here. Ivy and Debbie are here. Sheena's here. A great evening ahead. See you tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for watching. This coming Saturday on Hobby Maker, we have got a brand new tool for you from the brilliant brand Under the Rainbow. Now, this is an A4 multi-plate tool. Now that sounds interesting, doesn't it? This tool will emboss, it'll make boxes, it'll make cards, it'll do embellishments, but it also has a hidden secret. It has a parchment plate, would you believe, as well, so it's brilliant. So join us this coming Saturday at 3pm for Under the Rainbow's brand new A4 multi-plate tool. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker.
This is Gemini, one of the fastest, quietest electronic die-cutting and embossing machines on the market. Its industry-leading high-pressure system delivers fantastic results from intricate dies and folders, all at the touch of a button. Its oversized opening and platforms provide for edge-to-edge -edge cutting of US letter and A4 size with thin metal dies, allowing you to cut materials such as thin cardstock, vinyl, craft metal and fabric. No cranking needed as it will move the plates through automatically and quickly, which means you may spend less time on preparation and more time on inspiration. The Gemini has optical switches, making it hands-free and fully automated, with a built-in auto-reverse function for protection. It's easy to use, so you're always in control. Its sleek low-profile design makes it a superb addition to any craft workspace. It has built-in handholds, meaning you can easily take it anywhere. The Gemini is a universal die-cutting and embossing machine that works with the majority of all leading brands of thin metal dies and embossing folders. All of the platforms that you need come included in the box, as well as a thick rubber embossing mat for intricate detail work on your dual-purpose cut and embossed dies. The addition of the metal cutting plate allows you to cut intricate dies in a single pass through the machine and enables you to cut multiple layers of fabric. For a perfect cut every time, you need Gemini, the electronic die cutting and embossing machine made by crafters for crafters. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. You're very lucky today because we weren't supposed to have this young lady today, no, were we? Not today. Hello, Debbie. Hello again. Hello, gorgeous girl. Could I have a little? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. Um, right then. So this show didn't even exist in the beginning part of the week, did it? <laughs> no. I tell you what, this one, this and her lovely husband Dave, they do not hang about, do you? Well, we try not to. And I wouldn't mind, bearing in mind there was no show Monday, Tuesday, and then this young lady pulls out of the bag, this is how amazing she is, two phenomenal collections, whether you want them printed, digital download, okay. or on a USB key, whether you want the MDF and stencils to go with it, everything. And on the one, there's over 2,200 elements that yes. are printable. And on the other collection, there's over 3,000 elements that are printable. Yes, we've got a double whammy show coming up. Back to back, two hours. Yes. More of Debbie Moore. We always want more, <laughs> don't we? Oh. Now then, we've got this incredible extravaganza kit. I've been here since, now I know we've been going just over a year. I've been here since July last year. I haven't seen a single steampunk like this. Really? I mm -mm. uh, mm -mm. see, we do a lot of steampunk. And so it's very popular, isn't it? It is very popular. So when I was asked to do today, I was like, oh, what should I put on here? Let's go fantasy. Yeah. So we've got Journey to Wonderland in the next hour. Uh -huh. And this is all about steampunk. And the way to describe steampunk is a mashup between yeah. Victorian and the mechanical era, basically. So yeah. that's why you've got these fabulous characters they're beautifully dressed Lo aren't they yes they, they are i mean it is right i love it. even the parasol it's, yeah. it's just amazing <laughs> they're so okay. authentic. So, they're brilliant and they're great for all ages yeah and i do know a lot of uh, our customers go to whitby apparently they do a big steampunk uh, 
like yeah. convention. Yeah. So, yeah. so yes, um, we've been doing the steampunk for, oh my goodness, I think maybe about five, actually no, seven years Have now. You? Yes. And it's so, really popular. Yeah, because we celebrate 14 years next month. I can't believe that. 14 years. Are we having a big birthday? We're having too? a big party. Oh, I'm glad you said that. I'm, I'm bringing in a not... pink cake. Are you? <laughs> oh, or maybe nice. pink cupcakes might be easier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah lovely. Absolutely. Um, now then, so you've got, as always with Debbie, uh, Debbie brings you so many different ways to buy. And again, full angel policies, long yes. as you actually craft with what you, you print have off. to. And also, it's not just crafting anymore because it's printable. You can actually print on printable like fabric, yeah. so therefore you can make your own, I mean, your own, uh, I don't know, quilt, a steampunk quilt. Nice. It could be an apron, it, you know, you can print on so many different things. So the only thing you need to remember is as long as you make something, make something with, with, it, with it, don't print off and sell that. No. Be yeah. respectful. Yes. Absolutely. And if you're not sure, just ring the office. Exactly. Uh, now, then, the great thing is with you, which is what I think is awesome, a um, lot of people still want that printed yes. version of we what they're buying. That. We do I mean, this is what this is all about. So yeah. you are getting 28 sheets. 28 sheets of absolutely fabulous designs. Yeah. And they include the backing papers. Now, we're looking at the backing papers at the moment. Yours will be edge to edge. Because of how quick we turn the show around, these are my sample ones. Right, okay. So when enough. you get your backing papers, they'll be edge to edge. They'll be pre-printed on 150 GSM luxury gloss, majestic right. gloss. Okay. And that is 62 pounds or 150 GSM. And then the cardstock is printed on 250 GSM, Ooh. which is 95 pounds. And yet again, you're going to get that good quality, yeah. plus that forever code, which means you'll never run out. So the thing is, if you're watching this and you've never joined our brilliant channel before, now we assume that everybody knows what a forever code is. For those that don't, what does that mean? It literally means I give you the artwork to actually craft with forever. As a crafter first, I just think I want to have as much out of a kit. So that's why, you know, most companies do like duplicate designs. Yeah, two or three of each. Yes, yeah. which is nothing wrong with that. But because we are actually a design company, we actually own over 950,000 designs. So for us to actually think, right, okay, make sure that all 28 sheets are different, then you get more variety. Yeah. You've got more fun. And this is what you're going to get in here. Uh -huh. And the Forever Code enables you to get this artwork. So in the kit that you get, you'll have a sheet that'll say, nip over to my website. And they'll give you the instructions where to go. Now, only the people getting the sheet will get it for free. Ah, so you okay. will then pop over to my website into my printable section and then you'll find the kit because it'll tell you where to look Steady. and then it'll be priced but as soon as you put the discount code that comes on the sheet it will be free so for you guys if you buy the kit you get the mm. artwork that you can print out again and again and it still amazes me every single time i write down and read out the price tag of the fact that it's got a forever code because the thing is if you see a design that you, obviously the design that you love we always panic about using it we dread using the last yes, one so we you all do move yes. that with this it, offer exactly because i want people with my designs i am a i'm a crafter first so i understand that people want to then move on to the other one see what's new yeah but i want people to use these designs yeah. forever so therefore you've got that variety you use all this yep. you don't have to panic thinking oh i want this sheet again like that character with the parasol uh so she looks like she's she's in egypt doesn't she, she? does doesn't she yeah she, she does, she's yeah, she's in not, egypt yeah, she, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. she needs the parasol but it's brilliant you know if you were doing i don't know if you had a trip to egypt you can make your own scrapbook you make you can memory book yeah. use the characters okay and have loads of fun with it so it's variety yeah, exactly it's brilliant brilliant deal now then um again uh this is quite incredible if you thought you got a 20 pound note gets you all of that forever you're probably thinking my goodness me has this lady lost the plot no she's just very generous and then on top of that debbie comes on and goes i'll do you another couple of i'll do you another little deal on that yeah she's so lovely i love this about you <laughs> i really do and she's given me a donut before the show <laughs> i know oh we have to we say that Dave gave you a donut. Dave gave yeah. me a donut. Because Dave, I gave her, I gave the donut, <laughs> but obviously my husband went to get them. But yeah. yeah. So Dave technically gave me the donut. <laughs> Very nice as well. Uh, right, but it wasn't a forever donut. <laughs> no, oh, it no, wasn't. Not, sadly not. Um, now then, my lovelies, uh, so many of you got it in your baskets already. Just remember, this is your printed version. There are 
28 beautiful crafting sheets here yes and they're use. all different okay you've got different characters and you've got men and women yep. okay and as you're going through it you can see that you've actually got different size toppers gorgeous guys with top hats yeah. there uh, you've got really fun collections different colorways on there Stunning. you know it is a, a fantasy collection it but it's a fun collection for all ages but we were just saying as well that great program that was on did you ever see westworld it's that kind of feel it as is well a little isn't it? bit i actually haven't seen westworld. oh the way they no. dress it's not it's not dissimilar it's really really it? yeah oh. it's brilliant and going back to the white chapel days and all that kind of thing it's just wonderful it really is lovely lovely period uh, so on the hit then this is what happens every time with debbie moore's collections Everybody comes in because they know such value for money. And so, look at that. Now, the good news is as well, if you are a usb -er and you want this collection on USB, again, Debbie's got you covered <laughs> with over 2,200 printable elements. And also, if you want it super quick, super affordable, you can just click on a link with an email yes. if we go with a digital download Yes, version. well, when we go over to the other table, yeah. we'll have a look at that. But yeah, I've... I always make sure that we have a paper demo, or so, sorry, a card making kit yep. uh, for people who don't do digital yet. Okay. But most we'll people these days have an email. So if you've got an email, you can do digital. Yeah, That's and when you I see say. it and you see, because our lovely producer, Kat, and our lovely uh, director, uh, Adam, will actually show you how it all works. It couldn't be easier, no. could it? We it's, want everybody to try I it, don't know, we? I do. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So should we, should we mosey on over and start? I think we should. Tool? Yeah, come on, you lovely lot. Come on. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, this, honestly. Now, there is so much that you can do. We would have to be here forever. And we only have two hours with Debbie. And we've got a whole other collection in the next hour. So we will, do you mind if we just almost tentatively scrape the surface of what you can do with your extravaganza kit? Okay, don't worry. The USB is coming up and the digital download version is coming up as well. No problem. Right, okay, so we're going to get sorted out. Right, okay, so we have some craft card on today's show. And we put it on it because it's an amazing price. It's yeah. 25 sheets for 4 99 And it is a craft card that you can actually print on as well. Brilliant. And we're going to use it because it lends itself beautiful. I am using elements from the, um, obviously, our fabulous... Uh, extravaganza kit mm -hmm. but we haven't gone to it but we've got some cogs <laughs> yes i wonder I... if we could show that no. because i am actually going to be using it in this demo i'll tell you what i'll do if i pop them over with you on the overhead we'll be able to see them don't won't we so in the kit so you don't just get this this is out of a clock and cog kit okay so these are them here so you are getting this that creates you put this in here, and we have got a fabulous finished samples. And look at that. Look, where are we? Which one? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. So look at that. Stephen has actually done this for me. And oh, what he's Stephen. actually done is painted it and put loads of embossing powders on there. I don't know if it picks it all up. Now, at the moment, the, the actual mechanism in the center that you can see there, mm -hmm. that mechanism, that is just a foam mechanism. That's part of what you get with all the elements in the kit. Yeah. But you can put a real mechanism in there. Ah. Okay, we so being able to add one into the show for you, so it makes it workable as well. So if you want, shall I grab that back, my lovely? Yes. Girls? If you want that, can I grab that as well? There you go. There you go. It? There you go. Shall I, there, give me you some might space. Just have it all. Well, yeah. yeah, she said, have it on. We also, she needs a bit of space to demo. <laughs> so um, just quickly, then that was your uh, twenty. Was it twenty-five sheets of your craft card? For just 4 99 that was on the screen previously thank you cat and that'll be on the website if you just go back to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on watch live and it'll just be there because we've just played it so that's great now there is the finished version okay now it couldn't be simpler i mean there's the base and the clock okay so you add that in whichever one you want to pop in there just slot it into position and then you've got all these lovely now there are there's the hands there's the cogs there's the the minute hand there's lovely hearts as well in there there's the industrial screws and cogs and everything in there beautifully cut as always with debbie's mdf absolutely phenomenal all goes together effortlessly and it is a mere eight 
£8.99. You'd have to put a mouse on it, would you? Oh, I mean, you get so much on that. I mean, yeah. you could argue you don't need all those embellishments, but we just threw them in. You get a total of 24 embellishments wow. and then you get the two pieces to make the clock. Brilliant. So you get all of that for 8 99 But again, you don't have to use it all in the clock. You can use it with your card making and everything else that you fancy. Now, again, that's been done in metallics. metallics. You could do that in any kind of colour decor that you fancy. Choice is up to you. But it looks fabulous, doesn't it? And just £8.99. Now then, in, you can see, if I just turn this around, look, so you can see, if I show you there, look, actually, I don't need to turn it around. Thank you, Dan. Um, there is the centre there, look. Now, we do have, because we've used it in some of our cross-stitch designs, we've used it in a... Yeah, use it on sewing street. You can put it through uh, your fabric uh, clocks. We've done it on Hobby Maker here as well, actually. Now, we've got a black clock. Be careful how you say that. I'm not going to say it again. Mechanism, because I've got it right. Okay. All you've got to do... Behave yourself, Debbie Moore. Concentrate on your demo, you. Uh, all you've got to do is... <laughs> so glad I got that right. <laughs> that could have made me P45, couldn't it? So all you need to do is pop in... I did not do that. It was the wind. <laughs> I didn't do that either. <laughs> so, for the mechanism, I generally didn't do that. She's tidying up for me. She's brilliant. £4.99. Thank you, Debbie Love. £4.99 gets you the uh, mechanism. It's got a minute hand and uh, the, 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 the hour and the, and the minutes hand, as, uh, the, you know. The second hand even, that's the one I'm looking for. Second and minutes and hour hands. And all you've got to do is, I think it's a double A battery from memory. But that's going from memory. It'll be double A or triple A, won't it? Let's be honest. Uh, but I think it's a double A from memory. And you get everything that you need that will slot through that hole and make that steampunk clock a working clock, which I think is... And again, with all due respect, you don't have to add the, 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 the cogs and everything. You don't have to make it a steampunk one if you don't want to. You could just leave it as, as, as it is, couldn't you? The option is yours, but we want to go steampunk today. That's what we want to do. Okay, so £4.99 to add in the uh, to make it a workable clock. We thought that was a great idea. So uh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Really fun. Okay, but Absolutely. I love the cogs and they've got little keys and I've got them all ready Brilliant. on my mat because I'm going to use them in this card. So we're going to start with this demo and I'm using the craft card. Now with the craft card, you can create any shape, but I want to just do a basic 21 by 21. So I've trimmed this down to start off with. Now to create your base card, what you then do is get a paper trimmer mm -hmm. and simply trim this down to 23. Is that centimetres, lovely? Centimetres, yeah. yes. 23 centimetres. It'd be good if it was inches, wouldn't it? It would. <laughs> I don't think the card's big enough. <laughs> and then what you then do is at the 21 point, is you simply score a line. And what this does, it creates a tab. So this is how easy it is to create your own shape card, or I should say square card, mm -hmm. because this is the tab, and what you're going to do is put this on top of there, like so. So there is your card base. Okay. So just use some glue or some red liner tape if you've got any. Now, in the extravaganza kit, you have loads and loads... I've got the wrong glue. No, no that's the right one. Um, you have loads and loads of papers. Yeah. Now, the papers themselves have been designed to work with the toppers. So if you want more of a different colourway, you go for the USB key in the digital collection. Right, OK. So this is one of the papers. Really lovely vintage feel. Oh, lovely. And I never actually um, measure, as in ruler and pencil, unless I really have to. All I tend to do is use, if I can find a, a pen or a pencil, and make a little mark just there. You can see where you're actually going to cut, and you just get the paper trimmer. By making those marks, it gives you a precision mm -hmm. that you wouldn't normally expect. And you haven't got to worry about measurements then, have you? Either? Oh, no. Life's too short to measure. I love that saying from you. Whenever I think of you now, I think of that. Life's too short to oh, measure. Unless it's something specific. I, I will do... Um, if it's some, I don't know, I'm um, just trying to think of something to measure. Book folding, you have to measure oh, book folding. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't see that. Um, I will be bringing some book folding later on oh, this will you? month. Yes. Brilliant. I can't wait so to see So I that. will be showing you how to do that again. Okay, so this is going to go on here. So the whole idea with steampunk mm -hmm. is literally layers. So what we've got is this fabulous wallpaper. 
gorgeous. And that's one of the papers in the extravaganza kit. And I've left the white on because when you print off, because I've printed off, oh, that's another thing. Where is it gone? Somewhere under here. Oh, there it is. This is one of the tabs. I don't know if you can see the difference. This has been printed off using Ooh. the satin paper. Okay. It's the same sheet, but this looks different. Doesn't it change it? So this is the gl majestic gloss. Okay, yeah, so it's yeah. the majestic gloss. So what I'm trying to say to you is, by having different papers, you will get different results. Different results. So if you want a more vibrant paper, or I should say finish, yeah. you want something like the majestic gloss. Go with the gloss. If you want more right. of a satin and matte finish, go for the satin paper two different things yeah. and that's the beauty it's about it quite surprising how different it is it actually, is a massive difference yeah. yeah so then all i'm doing is trimming this white bit this off collection. and you're just layering it up so literally i'm going to do something called um <laughs> i like to overlay this is called the clutter card basically it's exactly what it's on the tin you clutter it oh, oh okay okay <laughs> so all like i'm that. going is go in and out like so, shake it all about. And these create almost like little hinges. Oh, right. So then on the other side, and if you if you tear towards you, you get the tear that you can see. So you go in and out, shake it all about. Ooh. You're missing the shaking it all about from Debbie Moore here. Yeah, I do this all the time. <laughs> I'm going to have that one over here. So you can see how you overlay it. Now, what I've then got is I've got some hessian. There's some mm. butterflies on the USB key coming. Brilliant. Okay. And then what I've got, so I always lay up. So also on the show is a stencil. Oh, do you want to see this stencil? Can I so just give you a shot? It is fabulous, okay. Unfortunately, on this show, I can't show you how to do the stencil embossing, but I will show you next time I'm here. And you've got the swirls, the cogs, it's brilliant. And at the price that you're getting for, for an A5 stencil is amazing. Should we tell you what we're doing that for? Should we tell it? Well, should we tell you what Debbie is offering you that awesome stencil for? She's going to turn that nine at the front upside down and give you that gorgeous steampunk effect stencil for six pounds ninety nine. Do you know what I love about this though as well? You also see it as steampunk, but I'm also seeing flowers at the same time. Yes, it's you, really you, clever. There's a bit of everything on yeah. there. And seriously, you, it is something that you will use again because you can use it with your inks. Yeah. Plus you can use it with yeah. your paste. And the other way is what I've used on here is to actually emboss. You just follow the instructions on your die cut machine. You use it with a shim. Okay. And it runs it through the die cut machine. Oh, wow. So I have got that already on here. So I'm going to- Oh, is that how you've done it on that? Oh, God. I've done it on some mirror card uh, and then I've run it through. Oh, that looks nice. So it just brings a little bit of coppery magic on there. How different is this collection? I've just realised, I've been talking, I forgot to put my walls in. <laughs> we'll let you off. I get carried away. This is what <laughs> happens, everybody. Let's put that in there. Just to affect just a little bit of detail, I'm going to have that one in there. Looks nice. And I think she's a little bit wonky. And then I've got some cogs that I want to have and that lovely sentiment. I'm just going to lift her up a little bit. There we go. She wasn't on straight. You know, when you don't put something on straight, it doesn't. Drives you mad, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to have life's what you make it. Well, that's such a good craft quote, isn't it? It is, exactly. It really is. So I'm going to have her. Oh, I'm going to have it there. I'm going to put it there. Then that means I've got all this room. Oh, yeah. To add cogs. Now, when you actually stick in MDF, you need to make sure that you use something either in a, uh, like something like a silicon glue or something that will bond to it. So this glue, I will be bringing it to Hobby Maker very soon. Brilliant. But essentially, it is uh, go for the stencil because it finishes it off beautifully. It looks luxurious, doesn't it? Well, a lot of people, are, why would you not go for a stencil that's only 6 99 that's so fabulous? It would actually be all, I think it'd be rude not to. I mean, also, when you put the cogs on, have them off at an angle. I mean, how quick was that? I mean, I could go forever. I could put a key on. I might just put the key on yeah. there because I like it. <laughs> I do like the keys. I think they're lovely. There you go, everybody. Yeah. But it, there's something about steampunk that just looks fabulous. And I've got, and there is actually a butterfly paper in the extravaganza kit, which is gorgeous, which I use to cut out 
Just on the end here, on the butterfly, the red one that's flat. Shall I grab it? Shall I grab it so you can see? Oh, can you manage, Dan? So what I was trying to say is, when we're going to look at the USB key, there you go. So you can actually print that off um, as it is or change the sizes. Yeah. And then you can actually make smaller butterflies. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it's the aircon over here. Yeah, I think so too. Can I show you something else as well? I've got to show you this because I absolutely love this box that you've done as well. Now look how brilliant this is. So I'll show you the front. It's a little pillow box. I love your steampunk because it's actually very sexy, isn't it? It is. Mm. But you have guys in there as well. Yeah. As the ladies. Look at that. Don't you think that looks awesome? Really, really good. Oh, well done on the stencil. Oh, have we got a good... Vo I think you might... I hope you've given us a good volume of that stencil, Debbie. We have a few, but I mean, look at the detail. Look how finished that look card. Look and you, you, you know, it didn't take long. It didn't. Okay. Because they're big pieces, aren't they? They're, they're dramatic. They are dramatic pieces, yeah. but the beauty about it is the flexibility of changing the sizes. Yes. Uh, whether you're going for the Forever Code system with the Extravaganza kit, or you're going for the USB key. If you want to make a smaller card, and I know some people prefer like a, a 5x7 or an A6, you can ask this to print smaller, and we're going to have a look at that in a second. But that stencil is my favorite favorite steampunk stencil we've done a few in the past and when i was putting the show together i thought you know what i have to put that on i made dave oh. go and get me a sample did you <laughs> dave's her lovely husband by yes the way. yes <laughs> Uh, yeah, not Dave Bradford, in no, case no, no. you're wondering. That could be so, a room, so, so, yes. But the other thing is, going back to the MDF, so that's the stencil itself, beautiful. And, uh, you know, you will not be disappointed, everybody. And I will try to actually give... Uh, I think next time I hear, I'm here, what I might do is do a couple of demos on how to emboss and how to use it with paste. That'd be really handy. OK, because yeah. it's just having the right time and trying to squeeze everything in. But the one thing I was saying, so I've used the MDF pieces as a, an embellishment there. Okay, and they are from the clock, everybody. Uh -huh. You, but don't forget, look at this card. So this card I'm showing you is from. Um, you can see the papers you'll recognise. Okay, this is from the other elements that you get in um, on the USB key. Yeah. But the actual easel stopper that's holding it up. Can you see that? It, it is a cog. Ah, that's a good idea. So you can use it. This is an easel. And to make sure it stands up, you have to put something in front. Love it. And you can use it. It goes completely flat, but then you can put it on that's like that. That's brilliant. Because they're not too deep, are they? They're just no, right. They're just right. Yeah. And the thing about it is that's why we're giving you more, because you will want to put them all on that clock, OK? It. But you want to use it in your projects. They're all, good. all different sizes as well, look. You've got the cogs. You've got the little screws, look, the little, uh, is that the Phillips head on the top? <laughs> yeah, they've got a nut. We've got these lovely keys, got these beautiful embellishments, look. They're absolutely gorgeous. You've got the mini hat. They're really cool. They really, really are. And you've got to have a heart with the lock, haven't you? You've got it for the key. Yeah. You know. So wouldn't... how cool would that be? A steampunk uh, Valentine's or even an anniversary card. Yeah. yeah, that'd be lovely. So that'd be quite cool. And talking about cool, we're going to have a look at the USB key. Yes, next please. Because um, we're then going to do a candle demo. <laughs> That's right. When Debbie was in the other week, uh, last week, um, everybody goes on about... Uh, I'm just going to give you a little heads up here. Uh, Everybody goes on about uh, Debbie's candle uh, demos. And I've not been in the studio while she's done one. And Dave Bradford uh, was on. And then um, I had to hand over and he got the candle demonstration and my little bottom lip was out. <laughs> so De Debbie did say, next time I'll do the candle demo. I said, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so very excited about that as well. So that's coming up. Um, right then. So the USB is the compendium collection. Yes. Oh, over, lovely. Yes. Yeah. And you are getting over, well, 2,200 printable elements. Yes, that's right. So you are going to get your USB key that comes like so. It has two collections on. Oh, OK, brilliant. So that's why it is called a compendium. When you ever see any of my collections that say USB key, compendium or compendium USB key, it means there's two. one, then more collections. Like on the Journey to Wonderland, yeah. it had three. Ooh. 
This one has two, and that's why the price reflects it. However, we've also done a special you offer. We have done a very special offer. We have done a very special offer, and with 2,200 <laughs> printable elements, minimum count, okay, you've got variety on, on them, and you'll be able to see a whole variety from uh, dimensional, yep. different toppers on there, Different characters that you haven't seen yet. Yep. Because there's obviously more. What I've done is given you the extravaganza is a mashup of different designs. Yeah. Where the USB key is the Steam Age. Ah, okay. Just quickly then, uh, Beverly just said, I think I need to invest in a printer. Oh. Debbie, what printer would you recommend? Oh, Beverly, that is quite a hard that is a hard question. Depends on your budget, doesn't it? That's well, like saying well, what card or buy. But you know it? what? I've got a cheap one of my best printers was from a supermarket. Didn't you pay like about forty pounds? Thirty nine ninety nine. Doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be. It's what you print on. Mm. Okay. More and more um, office supplies are becoming more savvy, knowing that people want to print photos, they want to print off craft things, yeah. and this is why USB keys are so flexible, because it. It's so just you don't massive. have to spend a fortune then. Forty pounds printer, thirty nine ninety nine. It's all that Debbie paid. I mean, she has got about four printers, haven't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or is that your die kitten machines as well? Uh, no, actually, I've only got two die kitten oh, machines. Oh, just the two. Um, but yeah, invest in a printer. 80. Let's just, can we just take that back a sec? I, I, every time I need to just, I, I feel like I need to stand on a great, with a great big megaphone and go, <laughs> 2,200 printable elements yeah. for. That's the, uh, the size it is. But in, yeah, exactly, because you can change it. But then that includes the cost of the, stick, the USB That's key everything as well. in it, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Now, then, there is also the option, if you, if you have got a... You might have a computer that doesn't have a USB section or you might have not bought the connector, you know, like if you've got a Mac and things, but don't have to worry about any of that anyway. If you want instant and you don't want to pay... If you haven't bought anything with us today and you just buy Debbie's collection, which is a, an email digital download... The email comes out within how? Uh, basically, as soon as we get the order. As soon as you right. get the order, yes. okay. Uh, then, well, obviously, we don't work weekends. Yeah, or bank holidays. Yeah, or bank holidays. Yeah. So let's be, you know, let's keep it real. <laughs> uh, you know, imagine like a normal Monday to Friday, but yeah. not bank holidays. You know, she needs a, some time off. Um, so yeah, so the digital download comes. You haven't got to pay for the post and packaging, but the way it works is. Our system, because of the way it generates an order, will automatically charge you the three ninety five uh, post and packaging. But then, if it's your only order of the day, we credit you. Yeah. Okay. It realizes it at midnight. It goes, "Oops, a days. They shouldn't have done that," and they credit you back. If you've already ordered today, you'll still have paid your post and packaging, yeah. and it, yeah. it's irrelevant. We, you know. Now, obviously. I'd, I'm going to state this. I don't think I need to, but obviously because it's a di digital download, you can't return it because you've accepted it. However, you would never want to return a Debbie Moore collection. So it kind of, you know. Now, both collections, you get the Steampunk Compendium download. Yes. Get ready for this. You thought $18.99 was a special deal. Look at that. £12.99. I could never, ever, ever... I tried to explain this to a person in the pub the other week and they, and they didn't believe me. I know. Well, we just want to do something <laughs> special. So remember with that, it's going to work exactly the same as you have the, um, as you have the USB key, the content is the same. Yeah. But what you're not getting is the physical USB key. Yeah. You are getting the content on an email. And that's the only difference. Oh, and also you'll get it earlier because we'll email it on Monday. Yeah. Absolutely. It depends how you like to work. But what I think Debbie would like to say is, actually, if you do have an email and you're used to being online, give the digital download yes. a try. We don't think you'll ever go back, do we? No. And then if you're not too sure, we've also got some decoupage kits coming up. Oh, yeah, we have. Which three are, different ones, haven't yes. we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, OK, so when we, should, when we talk about those, uh, we've got some other digital collections that we can use on. And they're digital only, aren't they? The, they the are, yes, the yeah. decoupage, yes. Can we have a look as if we've got the USB? Yes, yeah. definitely. So remember, this looks exactly if you get the download or the USB key. So if you click into it, what will happen is you'll get two choices. Okay. Choose the first one. Okay, there you go. And the menu's on the left-hand side. Always go to the design sheets first section because that gives you some other characters. I mean, look at the guy yeah. down below. Yeah, yeah, click on him on there. So you can see 
that you oh. have got different characters on there and you have got ribbon that. strips, sentiments as well. If you come out of here and go to the next page, okay, we go to the next character, you have got, just choose any of those colorways, there you go. So this is exactly the same. Wow. Now, if you print, want to print this off, okay, you go to top left-hand side and click on your printer icon. It will come up. It'll be set as A4, but this is where you become the designer and you change it. Everybody has a scale section, so if you think I want to make a smaller topper, there you go. It is that easy. But it doesn't change any of the detail no, or the it quality doesn't. or... We use really high res, which means that you can actually print off bigger as well. Yeah. If you want to make a poster in it, if you have an A3 printer, oh, you've got that option. Now, to add, this system can be used on, even on the Windows 11 and Macs. Oh, fabulous. Okay, right. so essentially, Dave wrote the program to work on everything. Oh. Oh, That's the only reason I keep him. <laughs> <laughs> only joking, that everybody. Donuts. No, no, no. That that only joking. <laughs> <laughs> so keep on going. There's more characters. Look okay. Choose one of the. And look at the colorways. You They're know, you've got gorgeous. reds, pinks. So you can see you've got these fabulous guys oh, on there as he's, well. He's a dude, isn't Bows he? on there that you've got the faux bows that we showed you earlier. And fabulous sentiments. Oh, they're gorgeous. Keep on going through the characters. You can see them. I love, I love her. Oh, She's I like lovely. Her, yeah. She means in business. She does, doesn't, doesn't she? Yeah. Okay, so you can get the gist from it. And also the sentiments, the writing in it, it's all steampunk feel. Gorgeous. But then go to the papers. The papers are so special. So Ooh. you've got what we call the basic ones. So keep on going through. Is that what you did the box with? I think it is, isn't it? Similar, yeah. yes. But then you've got, if you click on that first, cr the bottom cream one, there we go. I love this paper. Look at that. Oh. Oh, isn't oh, that good? Look at that. So that is actually also an extravaganza kit. So if anybody's going for the card making kit, you get that. But how fabulous is that? That would look could amazing on vellum. On vellum of course, it, it can print wow. anything. A, fa a, a fabric. Oh yeah. I need to get printable fabric. Yeah. That's what I need to do. So you can I see like the, the variety. Music. Keep on going. You obviously got the walls that I showed you. Keep on going. Right, next page. Right, if you look at the oh, top yeah. one, the red one, one of my favourite ones, we've metalised them. Wow. They look like real metal, they but do, it's yeah. not, okay? This, so this is just, remember, two sections. We've got so much wow. on here. If we keep on going, more papers. So this is great for scrapbooking if you yeah. want to go for one of these ones at the bottom. And if we click on there, okay, so we've got SV, I've just realised on this collection we've got SVG cutting files What's as well. What's an SVG cutting file for anybody that doesn't know? So what SVG cutting files are, are the elements that you cut out with using your cutting machines. Oh, okay. So a cry cut or a scan and cut. Oh. So you have them on here and they match some of the designs that we have. Oh, this is getting really Yes, serious. I totally forgot about them on here. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. because we don't have them on everything because it takes time to sort it out. Okay. So... I mean, you should be paying. I would, I would pay more than twelve ninety nine just for the SVG files. Yes, then, so, I mean, there's so much. Okay, so if I just go to, I want to show you the envelopes. Okay, envelopes. and if we go into say the square envelopes, these are lovely, and you've got them different characters. Click on one of them, and it's laid out so you can print oh. it off. There you go, to make a personalised envelope. Great for all sort of parties and everything oh, yes. like that. Change the size of them. Um, but one other thing I want to show you, if you come out of this one, okay, so mm. there's just, I showed you last time, if we go into the actual digi stamps, the original line working, so you can actually oh. colour in your own. Oh my goodness, this is brilliant. <laughs> so you can colour in your own, okay. Oh, wow. So you can see all the detail that we put into it right down to the boots. Look at okay, that. if you come out of that and remember with regard to and just choose another character I just want to show you that you can put you know look how fabulous that oh, is with a cane amazing. You can essentially Print that smaller and then you can color in whatever you yeah. want. Yeah, I mean we've I've just realized we've only just gone into one collection I was just gonna say yes. yes. <laughs> I mean there's loads more toppers projects. You we know. better get into the next yes. one. Yeah, so we? let's jump over to the other one, okay? okay. So this you've got the both for twelve ninety nine on the on the digital. You're getting download. both on the digital and then the USB well, six key. Pounds 50 and six pounds forty nine a collection. Yeah, saying that This is the dimensional one. So this one has look at the wine bags you got on there. Oh my goodness. Rocker cards, slider yeah. cards. So the wine bags, okay, we always need a wine bag. We do. So you have got the sheets 
So it's it just fantastic. tells you, you know, it's got all everything's on there. If you keep on going, because quite there's I think two sheets on this one. So you've got part one A, and then you've got the sections on there. And then you've got the options of all the different elements to create oh it. Goodness. So that creates a wine bag. But if you print it off at 50%, yeah. it creates a perfume bag. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. If you, but if you come out of here, if you go into, say, for example, projects a second, and, uh, and you can then see, keep on going, these are all the finished items. There's a wine bag. Can you see oh, at the top? Yeah, look at so that. So if you want to know how to put it together, Follow the instructions, step-by-step -step oh, instructions anything, of how to put it together. Again, I'd pay 12 twelve ninety nine just to make the wine bags. But if anybody does church fates, craft mm. fates, and wants to do um, a matching wine bag and card, and we're going to be doing a candle in a second. I mean, Brilliant. there's everybody, there's over 2,200 printable elements. And the physical USB key, you get exactly the same content yep. of the USB key as you are going for the actual digital download. I mean, there's loads, everybody. <laughs> so the, and the digital, so the USB was 18 99 So it's another six pounds to get the, and code-wise, HT6113, okay? That's the USB and you get it on a USB stick, but it's the same set of two collections. But if you want it on an email with a digital download that you just click on, code is KS. 6116, thank you, Kat. And that is a mere, measly, piddly £12.99. Yeah, yeah. Superb. I mean, we've only looked at it a little bit, but I'm conscious of the time and I want to do a candle Absolutely. demo. Actually, before I do that, we didn't... We did show them, didn't we, how to change the side. So what yes. I've done... Right, OK. So that we're lovely... decoupage as well, haven't we? We are. Gosh, there's loads to do. I know. So, on today's show, next to you... Okay, you have got your candle samples. Mm -hmm. I've just realised I just need to plug in this heat tool. Do you want me come here? Oh, it's no, all right, I'm here. Okay, you're okay. So you get 20 sheets of the printable tissue paper. That would mean that you could personalise at least... How many? Seriously? 120 candles. You Should probably can do. Truth? Yeah, you probably can actually do more. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, <laughs> candles. <laughs> Sorry, Cap, but I mean that's 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 it's hard to believe, isn't it? But apparently that's absolutely true. It's more the fact that she's offering you five pounds ninety nine. You've got the images from your download. You've got your twenty sheets. Five pounds ninety nine. I mean, you get so much on that. I mean, if you could pass me the two candle packs, okay, just underneath the clock. Oh, yes, sorry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how you can actually decorate what? them. Using and where? we did earlier in the two o'clock show, we did one using that, I think, the rabbit that you've got on yes, the finished sample. Here. So it's now we're doing a steampunk one. Let's put the rabbit in the middle. <laughs> so if you can see um, on the actual extravaganza kit, that top sheet. Yep. Okay, with a girl in red. Uh -huh. Okay. What I did is you, I took this from the USB key. So that design sheet's on the USB key. Okay. And so what I decided to do, first of all, you print it off uh -huh. and check it fits onto your candle. So I bought a set, a set of candles, blank ones, uh, from a local supermarket. And I think it was cost about 140, not 140, £1.40. I was going to say you were robbed. Day, a long day. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing. The tissue papers are 5 99 but the candle's 140 quid. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So what you do, OK, is print it out, and then you can see whether it fits. Oh, OK. okay? Do the roll technique. Yeah, I do that to check that it fits, OK? And then it tells you on the instructions... But if okay. it doesn't, you can fit it to scale with the digital yes. download and the USB You key. can change it to any yes. size. So on the actual packets of the candle that you get, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Obviously, I'm telling you now. Brilliant. But what you then do is get an ordinary piece of paper uh -huh. and then you essentially cut out a piece of tissue paper and you sellotape to fix it to the one, to the sheet. Oh, OK. And here's one I did earlier. Oh, Okay. So you can see that, you can just about see, can you see that? Oh, yeah. I've stuck it there and it's printed in the middle. Lovely. And then simply, I run it through my printer uh -huh. and all I do is cut it out. 
Now, you can cut it close if you want to, or you can leave a white edge. Okay. So I'm just cutting it out of here very roughly, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to cut it a bit closer. Now, because it's white tissue and I'm using a white candle, this will disappear in the candle. Right, okay. But look how easy it is to do. When you're crafting, crafting isn't just about paper crafting. No, of course not. It changes your perspective in doing home decor items, doing different gifts. If you love making things and selling, yep. doing a matching candle and then making a box to put them in or a bag to put oh, them lovely, in, yeah. that would be amazing. So for quickness, I've not bothered cutting around the edges. You don't need to. Mm -hmm. But I left it on the sheet, on the carry sheet you can see it. as I was cutting it. If I had a red candle, it really wouldn't stand out as much mm -hmm. as if you put it on that. So as much as you think, oh, I want to put it on like a black candle, that wouldn't work. No. It has to be white or cream. Okay. So Bella um, from Bella Art, she actually did the cream candle. Oh, that this we've one got here. a sample. Yeah. And she used colouring pencils to colour it in. Did she? And she'll be doing a demo on Monday showing you how to colour in tissue paper with pencils. Brilliant. Can't wait to see that. But I've just printed. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing to remember, so that's straightforward, uh -huh. okay? How you actually fix this to the candle, everybody, is you need to make sure, first of all, that it fits on the candle. So I'm just double checking. Yep. And then the other thing is to hold it in place. Mm -hmm. You need to use greaseproof paper. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, the other thing to remember, and I've deliberately left this out, don't use your previous one. Oh, okay. Reason being is you might have, you might have, see all these creases yeah. that are left? Because I did these this morning. Oh, okay. What you're going to do is you're going to put this on top of that and it's going to hold the wax in place while you melt the tissue. But if you haven't got a smooth finish, it will leave like a crinkly effect. Oh, okay. So I've deliberately done that way. So I get a fresh bit. And this is parchment or grease proof. Mm -hmm. And simply, I mean, it's quite funny because I bought this years ago to do baking. And uh, <laughs> my husband complains quite often that I bake candles rather than <laughs> do cakes. <laughs> That's why he's had to go and buy his own donuts today. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> It's what a bakery's for, you know. Exactly, you're too busy crafting. So yeah, so just in case anybody thinks, right, okay, I'm doing candles. If you are doing a group candles, okay, and a few in a group, be aware of that. Don't reuse. Make, you you, you could if you keep it the same shape and know where it's going to be, but because I don't know if it's the same shape, I'd rather just don't risk it. Yeah. yeah. And you can and buy it inexpensively, can't you, at certain yes. shops, certain very affordable ones. And then the next thing is you put the heat on. Now, when you put the heat on, this will change colour. All right. This will look wet. OK. OK. You want to say? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to hover. Come over here then. Can I? Thank you. Yes, you can. There we go. So Sorry, you don't. hold it in place and you leave it to, basically, it's starting to, then it looks oh, yeah. wet. Oh, as yeah. soon as it's wet, that means the wax is melting. You move your heat tool along. It is very long, quick, is no. So you need to make sure you keep going and moving. Well, we've had a quick question come in from Janet. Can the candle be lit after the tissue paper has been applied or is it only for decoration? Great show as always, Debbie. She oh, says. thank you. I'll be totally honest with you. I used to sell these candles, okay? I used to sell these when I, <laughs> when I had more of a life. <laughs> and I used to put a little note for decorative purposes only. But my own personal candles that I do, I like them. You do? Think about it. You know, if you don't leave the candles unattended, it's personal preference. So look at that. That's now melted completely in there. Now, the other thing that I got distracted, I have deliberately, I don't know where it's gone. Let's just use this. I've deliberately left, you can see a bit of paper down there. Can you see that's not melted? Uh -huh. So if you forget a bit, yep. like that, mm -hmm. You don't have to start again. Put this back on. Yeah. Okay, make sure it's nice and smooth and put the heat back on. There we go. So you never, you can't go wrong. Okay. Okay, less is more. So that's now all heated. Oh, it's disappeared, look. And I'm just making sure. If I've got anything, you just check the edges. So I can see that bit is still not done. So, because that's really at the top. Just literally hold it tight. Uh-huh. There you go. 
but make sure when you hold it tight is that you it's smooth because this is what the wax is melted right there you go mm. that's so clever didn't that take so long clever. at all did it it's so unbelievable uh, Beverly's also, we've got lots of questions coming in. Keep them coming in while we've got our Debbie here. She's here with us for another hour as well. It's brilliant. <laughs> Does this technique work only on candles? I'm loving all the demos from the Steampunk and the Journey to Wonderland. Yeah, that's coming up in the next hour. Yeah. So does it only work on candles? Does it only work on candles? Well, this particular technique, yes. But you could actually, the tissue paper, print on tissue paper and put it on canvases. Yeah. Okay. You could put tissue paper on MDF. Yeah, because we do what you we know, want. it. The wax scenario, there's only the candle that I can think yeah. of, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but essentially, you are doing printable tissue. Do printable tissue. What you put that thin tissue on, yeah. it's entirely it's up to you. The only one I'm not too sure about is putting it, using uh, fabric glue mm. and turning, put it on a bag. I don't know about that because that's normally rice paper that you mm. do that, not tissue, not tissue paper. But I have done canvases and I have put it onto MDF as well. Well, there you go. Hopefully there that go. answers the question. Yeah. Now then, so many of you have the USB version of the Steampunk collection with it in your baskets. Now the only, the only thing is obviously if you do leave it in your basket, that USB key does not come through your door. I'm afraid it stays with us and you don't get it and you don't get a wonderful collection, a really different collection of Steampunk uh, in this wonderful compendium. Two different collections on the USB totaling at least 2,200 printable elements for less than a 20 pound note. I mean, you go into a, into a bar and you buy a couple of, you know, a couple of drinks or two or three drinks or a couple of pints and a glass of wine, you, you've cleared that. I you? know, I mean, you're getting so much for it's your money incredible. here. And it is, it is a bespoke collection, essentially. It is different. Okay, so, you know, this is what we do at Debbie Moore Designs. Yes, I do flowers. Yes, yeah. I do art deco. What did I do last week? Step into spring. I did Highland Cows. Today, oh, I've got... The yard, your nose, <laughs> all of yeah. that, you know. So today we have steampunk and we also have our adaptation of Lewis Carroll. So it's a variety. But that's what we want, though, don't we? Everybody wants something different. But I'll tell you what I love about this steampunk. Because steampunk can be quite dark. Yes. You've made it really sexy. Uh, yeah, and vibrant as yeah, well. Yeah, very I mean. vibrant. So if we have a look at the pack shot, okay, yeah. if we can for the extravaganza kit, you can see that I've gone for teals, greens, reds. Yeah. There is browns, but the browns are offset with the creams. Yeah, you kept colour in yeah. there, and again, yeah. you don't often get that with steampunk, no. do you? So you give you that option. So it's a Debbie Moore version of a fabulous version <laughs> of Steampunk. It's, it's wonderful. Um, Sarah's just said, hi, Debbie, loving the show again. I made, oh, we should talk about the gnomes. I made the gnome slider cards for the grandchildren for Ethan. Oh. They absolutely love them. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, Sarah, you're very welcome. Now, don't forget, if you are going for the USB key, yeah. there is slider cards on there. I did spot the slider card. There is and dimensional. The we well. didn't get a chance. There's rocker yeah. cards on there. Yeah. There's side scenes. There's slider yeah. cards on there, all on the steampunk range. So there you go. Look. So there you uh, go. Look, mini rockers, rocker cards, bows and there's tags. the slider cards. When you click in it, you can Boxes. see the slider cards. Look at that. There so you go. you've got the characters. And what we've done with these one? Oh, look at a balloon. Oh, well, not a balloon that you lovely. you know, and the character. You know, they are different when you actually get them home and go through it. Honestly, this card. You, honestly, I think, you, I think you're very much excited the gents in the gallery today and in the studio. They're very <laughs> impressed with your ladies on there. I will tell you that. <laughs> I, I mean, it, that's exactly it. It's yeah. great for the guys, this exactly, collection. Yeah. Okay, you know, joking yeah. aside, you know, we have such a following on the steampunk. So that you've got the side seam ones, and these are great, oh, okay. Look at that! And if you go down to it, you can actually see the characters on there that you've got, you layered them up. So, so it's an A5 I, side seam that I've done Can there. I get his phone number, please? <laughs> no, seriously. But yeah, you know, and don't forget, that's printed, at, you've got, I mean, these ones are great. Wow. Oh. So you've got, oh, talking about the lady in the cane, we didn't talk about the de oh, the decoupage. decoupage. Oh, yes. dear. We've so, got three decoupage um, uh, collections in the, in, the, in the... Now, the three characters, we've got girl with a gun, girl with a cane, and the guy. Yes. And they're three separate decoupage, and you can only get them in the... In at the, the moment, yes. Mode. 
So the idea behind them, everybody, it is a fibreless collection. You get 32 crafting sheets Oof. and the idea you've got the card fronts and the decoupage. Oh, fine. So simply with this collection, you can actually just cut them out and print as many as you want. Six ninety nine for 32 sheets is amazing. And there is oh the images. So you can see how much you get there. And I did have a finished sample of her. There she is. Let me just got grab it. her. So here's a card. So there you go. So because oh, you've got them in that. different colours. Yeah. How fab is that? Okay, so you've got that option on there. But then we've got, what was the other one? Um, the girl with the cane. Girl, girl with the cane. cane and then the guy, yes. Yeah. So there she is, the girl and the cane. And you'll recognise that I've used them with papers from the extravaganza kit as well. Oh, wow. Or on the USB key as well. So there she is, the girl with the cane. And then the last one. Gorgeous. Now that's 6 99 again, and that code is JW6169. The, one, the guy. The guy. guy. I don't know where he is. Where is he? Have I, I did him? have a sample of the guy. Okay. Hang on, let's have a look. No, not that one. There he is. You got him? You got him. We've got him. There you go. So you can see there he is there. So you have got those, and you just can fussy cut them, okay? They are obviously a digital. You get 32 crafting sheets straight away. So let's say somebody orders that, Debbie. What happens? Well, what happens is it's, a, it's still a link. Yeah. It's a PDF. Mm -hmm. So you click on it. So do you, you email? We get an email, email from it. you. Okay, okay. so yep. they get the email, and it'll say, please find attach uh, your PDF. Click on it, and then you can open the files. That's that it. That's easy. Yes. It, it's click and craft basically <laughs> click print craft you know exactly. it, as many times as you like as well for 6.99 so if you love decoupage and you love steampunk debbie's just made your day she's combined the two in three different definitely collections. and these are different characters than what are on the usb key what i love about you don't you there's always something different is that it's not duplicated. plenty yeah that honestly you'll actually be you may struggle with the amount you have to choose it's like what do i choose it's just brilliant and the lovely thing is like you said rather than just having two or three of a, of a collection and then it going and on to the next one you go on to the next collection of Debbie's, but the lovely th thing is you can always revisit yes, each previous collection. And, and sometimes we forget what we've got, don't we? I know. We? If you oh. think about the base papers that we showed you on the USB key, that is a great library. Yeah. Because everybody will want some kind of vintage paper when yeah. they're creating something, whether it's for card making, scrapbooking, memory books, yeah. or even doing mixed media. Mm -hmm. You always want that base. That's what I mean. So this is providing you endless possibilities. It's a 24 seven, I can't remember what the saying was, <laughs> shop at your fingertips. <laughs> been a long day everybody <laughs> and you know so when you get at home this is why we're doing these digitals we want people to have yep. a go at these different and let's types. face it we are in the digital world we are we yes. need to get there don't we you know but and the thing is i think even if you're a little bit nervous if you're used to ordering online and you've never tried the digital download Obviously, Debbie's incentivising even you to do that because of, that's the most affordable price tag. But once you've done it, I don't think you'll ever go back because you'll no. realise just how easy and quick it is. And it's at your fingertips. Well, uh, and if you're struggling for storage space, you don't need to find places to put anything because it's no. all there on your, on your computer. On your USB key. And one thing I will say, especially the lady that was asking about the printers, if you're worried about the quality when you print off, that pack shot... Yeah. Okay, because this show was put together so quickly, I printed that off on my printer. Really? All those papers what were about, printed on my printer. And what about cartridges? Do people, what, what is it like about using your cartridge? No? Nothing? No, it's, oh, wow. you, you get so much out there. You know, Brilliant. what we should do is be selling printers next. <laughs> we are going to have to, aren't we? Uh, Sarah's just says, sorry I missed the collection, Debbie. said the slider cards are on. I think we have to buy that as well. That's on the USB in the download, isn't it? Oh, it's on the USB key. Yeah. Yes, Sarah, the slider card. Yes. And on the digital download. On the digital download right. of the Steampunk, okay? Yep. If you, uh, Sarah, that's got slider cards on that. There's so much on there. And there is a breakdown, hopefully, on the website. I've listed everything. Brilliant. So if you want the USB with the physical USB stick, you put that code HT6113, Sarah. That's 18.99. If you want to save yourself six pounds, you're not bothered about the USB get the digital download because then you can get it for 12.99 and you get the slider cards on there as well i mean it's an absolute no-brainer um right there so that collection there is ks6116 that means you get all of that again but that's your email with you click on the digit on the yes. on the link 
and you just digitally <laughs> download it yourself. I can never say that word. Uh, and it's 12 99 but that has your slider cards as well. Well, would you like us to do that all over again, but with a completely different collection? Yes, and yes. I might even do an extra steampunk demo because we didn't get around to do we the third demo. We? No. So I will do a couple of Journey to Wonderlands and another steampunk That'd demo. Be great, yeah. brilliant. Because I think we, now that we've done the concept, we can yeah. probably do the explanation quicker yes. and actually get some demos. Yes. In. Can you mix and match the two? Yes, you can. Wonderful. Okay, my lovelies. So a little cheeky break. We'll come straight back to you as soon as we've swiped this away and reloaded and we'll be back with you with the Journey to Wonderland. Bye-bye. This coming Saturday on Hobby Maker, we have got a brand new tool for you from the brilliant brand Under the Rainbow. Now, this is an A4 multi-plate tool. Now, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? This tool will emboss, it'll make boxes, it'll make cards, it'll do embellishments, but it also has a hidden secret. It has a parchment plate, would you believe, as well, so it's brilliant. So join us this coming Saturday at 3 p.m. for Under the Rainbow's brand new A4 multi-plate tool. Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobby Maker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobby Maker gift card? Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker.
Hello there, I'm sure you've heard the news already, but just in case you haven't, we are the new home of Cricut, the multi-purpose cutting machine. And let me introduce you to the Cricut Maker 3. It is the most beautifully crafted machine. Everything just opens beautifully. It is your ultimate cutting machine for all sorts of surfaces. Believe it or not, this machine will cut through up to 300 different types of products, whether it be cardstock, whether it be vinyl. And Cricut actually now develop no mat needed vinyl. They call it smart vinyl vinyl. You can use that in here as well. And why would you want to cut vinyl? Well, you can personalise things. You can personalise clothes. You can personalise glasses for parties, for receptions, for special occasions. Um, you can make your own wall art for home interior design and home decor. There is just so much that this machine can do, whether you're using it personally for fun and for your family, or whether you may be starting about thinking up a little bit of a personalisation business. Lots of people use the Cricut Maker 3 for this. Now, obviously, it doesn't just cut it can draw, you can get pens for the Cricut Maker 3 as well, and it can also emboss and foil too. They're extra tools that you can buy for it. Now the deal we've got on the Maker 3 at the moment is on your screen right now. Uh, it's a great price, and also the package and the bundle that comes with it is also great too. Take a look. Included in this Cricut Maker 3 Smart Vinyl Bundle is the Cricut Maker 3, the Weeding Toolkit, Vinyl Transfer Tape, and Smart Vinyl in Aqua, Mint, Pink and Purple. So the deal, as you can see, is superb. Now, if you want to see exactly the sort of thing that you can do, if I just grab a couple of these here. These have been done by Julie, who works for us here at, uh, at Hobby Maker. Yeah, personalized water bottles. I mean, the fonts that you can choose and the software, basically it works alongside um, the Cricut Design Center. So when you actually order this, if you make the decision to order this now, log on and go to design.cricut.com. That's actually the website that allows you then to design all the images and all the personalization. And you can do that right now, that's a free service. And they also have loads, thousands and thousands of different images that you can actually cut out. A lot of them are free, some of them you have to pay for, but there is also a subscription service of just seven pounds 50 a month should you want to take that up but it is here today at hobby maker the cricket maker 3 if you'd like yours just give us a call on the free phone number to the call center or go to our website hobbymaker.co.uk <laughs>
Oh, wow. In that area. So, yeah. So, so you know, it is a small world, but look, look how cool that. that. Oh, I think this is going to be epic. They are, aren't they? I mean, oh. everybody, you know, you're looking at it and, you, and it makes it smells. And with the collections themselves, okay, that is, I mean, I have to say thank you to Barbara because she actually made that oh, card. Barbara, it looks amazing. Thank you. But you have got so much dimension aspects on here because you're right. It is 28 sheets. Now, look, that looks 3D, it but does, that's yeah. just a topper. But it's laid up wow. because you've got the actual matching papers on there. It gives you that 3D effect. So we've actually planned this kit so your toppers match your papers, papers and give you more of a 3D look. Do you know what as well? I was just looking at that. I've got so many friends that play bridge. Do you? Yeah, there wouldn't you go. that be the most brilliant card for anybody that plays bridge or Definitely. any card? Do you know what I mean? And yes. there's, a big, there's a big bridge, you know, <laughs> whatever you call it, bridges, you know. Whatever you call it. But that would be great for that. <laughs> um, now then, you get 28 printed sheets Sheets with this okay, one. You get the, and the forever code. The actual uh, 250 GSM, the card elements. Yep. And then 150 GSM, the backing papers. Beautiful. Plus it comes with a forever code. And that's just one aspect that you're getting. I mean, Patricia's just bought two. I'm guessing she's probably getting for a friend. I think so too. I would imagine. Or she might just want to have both. Because oh, they're just amazing two. price. They are, aren't they? For $17.99. Yes. Yes. And the collection. This is the only thing I feel so... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Do you know any twins? <laughs> <laughs> I love it for you both. Look at that. But joking aside, if you are a twin, wouldn't that be a great card? Yes. Wouldn't I mean, it? you know, this is what the... The, the story is such a special story collection yeah yeah it's heartfelt okay so with the collection itself you've got obviously the queen yeah you've got on uh, um different characters on there we'll have a look when we look at the usb cheshire key. cat haven't we cheshire cat yeah Gotta have the cheshire so cat. yeah so this is why we've gone a little bit crazy with extravaganza kit it's lovely brilliant right so that's 17.99 don't forget we've got the usb coming up which i think is going to be hugely yes. popular shall we go to it i think we need to go over Come on, you lot. i think we Come need on. to have a look at the usb case um, so, at the moment, okay, what we've done on here is we've given you an extra special USB key. Mm -hmm. You thought you were getting a bargain with the um, steampunk with two collections. And that was 2,200 elements, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Can we do that again or a little bit more? I think we should do more. Loads more. <laughs> Loads more. So, what we've done on here, everybody, we have not only given you three collections, so this is the, uh, the actual Journey to Wonderland compendium. You have got three collections on here, which means you've got over 3,446 printable oh, elements. 3,446 plus elements. Yes, I stopped counting them. Yeah, she's, got, yeah, she's like, I've, I've, I've had enough at that point. Now then, this is, I mean, if you do, um, we don't ever offer to divide 53.97, which is not actually going to be your buy price today, by 3,446 elements, because it would be uh, it, or practically a minus, wouldn't it? So it, just, uh, it wouldn't yeah, even be a penny. It, yeah, it is just silly, isn't it? That's what you're going to get. Um, now then, um, this is outstanding. And, and Debbie's going to do you a demo. And she's also going to show you some phenomenal car. Oh, my goodness me. And we've got decoupage options coming up as well. We've got MDF coming up as well. Are you ready? Because in about 40 seconds time, uh, we're going to bring you the most outrageous deal today. So this, just to remember, comes on your USB stick. Should we show a few samples? I think we should. So mm. we've actually shown you, so we've got some from the rocker cards that you can see here to the other dimensions. But look, you've got Alice, you can see there she is there in the blue, but by having it as a digital collection, yes. look at that. She has got, okay, different colors wow. on there. Wow. Okay, so you have got different characters. Totally different in the different she colors, does. isn't she? And look at the detail that we've given you. So this is an adorable, obviously, a decoupage sheet that we have actually done there. But look at the detail behind, okay? If you actually look a bit closer, you can see that you've actually got scenes in there as well. Yeah, look at that. Can I just draw your attention to that 5397 to 23 you've just saved 30 pounds yeah. 30 pounds i know it's and you're amazing. getting let's just remember 3000 more than because you got bored of counting at that point i understand 3446 elements to this collection that are printable for 23 pounds 97 and you get the usb you're saving 55% off that price, 55%. Yeah. And that is amazing price because you're getting so much on now. Yeah. We're going to have a look at, are we going yeah. to have a look at the USB key now? Or yeah, are you wanting to go through? Or... 
Oh, right. Brilliant. So Brilliant. we've got that on now. And the other thing to remember is as well as it as a USB key, we have also got it as a download. Yes, we have indeed. So we have it. That aspect is uh, the same content. OK, so it, all the difference is, is that you'll get an email. OK, instead of the USB. Yes. Yeah, so instead of it posting out a, U, a USB key, you will get an email yep. that will be emailed to you. Uh -huh. So you need an email. There you go. How many times do you say the word email in a sentence? Exactly. Well, that's all we need, isn't it? <laughs> we need an email. Uh, now then, what we're going to do is still your 3,000 plus 446, 3,446 plus printable elements, all printable. It's, we'll drop the price for you. Now, just remember, this is your link from an email that you click on. Still the same access, but without having to plug in. Yes, okay? definitely. So that saves you even more and goes under £20 to £18.99. For, I'm just going to say it again, 3,446 plus printable elements to this epic, and I think you hit the nail on the head, ageless collection. It and is it's an got a real sense collection. of fun and wonderment it is, as well. Because when you see what I've given you on here, okay, I mean, I've had emails and letters in from loads Thank of people you. who, they've had a Mad Hatter's Tea Party. <laughs> they've had a, this is, this is one that tops it. They have had a Alice in Wonderland theme wedding. Oh, wow. So because when we come to have a look at the collection, you can create your own invites. Oh, okay. So and you, girls parties as well. And yeah, girls parties you know, and everybody else. So, and it's all about fun, isn't yeah, it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we will have a look at the collections now Brilliant. and then we'll do a quick demo. You think about how many people are going to be having street parties and tea parties for the yes. coronation. You could dress it up as a Mad Hatter's one, Yes, you? you could, couldn't you? How oh, cool would yeah. that be? You can actually make your own bunting out of the actual uh, oh, Journey nice. to Wonderland collection. And we're only two weeks, a couple of weeks away, aren't we? Yes. Um, now then, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll pop the extravaganza version on first, which is the printed yes. element. So that's where you get 28 of your crafting papers that are, that are and your forever code. OK, so you can keep printing yourself. You can keep printing yourself. Forever. So you have that forever. So now that one is 17 99 Now we have promised some demos from because we ran out of time in the first hour. Now I cannot have the caliber of Debbie Moore on the show and not have her showing you. And don't worry, the MDF's coming up as well and the decoupage options are coming up as well. But we cannot not ask this lovely lady to give us a demo because we only got one in the first hour, didn't we? I think it was two, so much to, we got two didn't two. we? Sorry, yes, you did. You did because oh, we did the candle. We did a candle as candle. well. So I've lost my card. So there we go. 17.99. For that one, my lovelies. So what I want to do is I've already got my elements ready. Now this is one of the papers, everybody. So you've got we've got we've what, what we call them is matte and layering papers. Okay. Which basically means you've got busy designs. Yeah. And then designs that you can layer them on top. Okay. So in the extravaganza kit, we've done this. So if you like this paper and think, actually, I wish it was I had a hint of brown in the background. Yeah, just to bring that out. Usually distress inks on it. Oh. So you can actually go to town with it. So I don't know what I've done with my square card. It was crazy in between that break. Honestly, so, I mean, she did well to set up like this, didn't she? I was amazed. I was. Amazed. I had some amazing help from everybody, to be fair. So what I'm doing is I'm just using this card and I'm just trimming it down to a almost a square because I wanted to start off with a little square card. Okay. Now on today's show, we have got my uh, card, printable card on the show. We have indeed. And the printable card is fabulous because you get in there uh, 15 sheets. Uh -huh. You can feel the whichever one's the, probably that top this one. This one. Oh, no, that one. This one, that's it. 15 oh, that's sheets it. 15 sheets of card, you've got it. Okay, and it's 250 GSM. And that's what I use to print. I also use oh, it to make it? cards and I also use it to stamp with. Lovely quality. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Really? And it's only, is it, I can't remember how much it is. I don't know. How much is it? Hey, how many sheets? Fifty. Yeah, how many sheets though? 30, 30. sheets of that quality. Did she, she write with the font? Yes. Yeah, yep, that's the right. We're going to pop it on the screen. I kind of need to see it in writing first, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'll just see it in writing. Oh, okay, she was right. £7.98 <laughs> for 30 sheets. And what GSM was it, Debbie? 250 GSM. Wow, and it, do you know, it feels even more, it feels even more sturdy than that. It's amazing. Beautiful quality, it's absolutely. Gorgeous. And I'll take you, you can stamp and ink and everything. Stamp, ink on it. I'm using it as a base card now. It is absolutely such a fun collection to 26 have. 26p a sheet. 26p. 
I am not surprised. I mean, wow, it's Debbie Moore. I mean, for that level of quality of paper, and we're at 26. I think you got the two and the six the wrong way around. You think? I think you might have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Brilliant deal. Okay, so what I've been doing, I've got my base card. I've already got my topper. I've got some sentiments already out. So it's very easy. It's such a fun collection. Everything matches. It makes yeah. your life so much easier. You know, sometimes you think, oh, so what goes with what? As I'm talking, I'm sipping water, if you all don't mind, because... I'm losing my voice. Oh, no. Please don't do that. Are you all right? Mm. I've just been talking too much. <laughs> what happens is, my husband loves it, is I lose my voice when I get tired. Oh. And so, obviously, because I was here at the weekend, wasn't uh -huh. I? And then I'm here. So, I've been a bit busy. You have just a bit. Well, we're very grateful for you standing in, lovely. Thank oh, you. that is totally fine. I'm having loads of fun. Yeah. But my husband will be with happy. You, don't we? <laughs> yeah. We He'll, he's going to get a quiet journey home, is he? Essentially, yes. <laughs> there you go, Dave. Okay, he'll I'll be very happy of that. Okay, so all I've done is I've put some lines in, and this is what I love about crafting. It doesn't have to be difficult. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're new to paper crafting, just this is a great way to learn. Watch all these demos that people yeah. have. There's such a variety here at Hobby Maker, isn't there? Yeah, it's great. So I've got my paper there. So it's lovely. I love the paper. And then what I've got is I've got my topper here. But I've got this gorgeous topper. Uh -huh. I'm getting distracted. There we go. So as you can see there, this is lovely tea party. Yeah, so you've it. got on the USB key, you have got different elements that you can do. Uh-huh. Um, from when she's at the uh, palace, mm -hmm. so when she's having the Mad Hatter's tea party, it's got different stances and scenes. So we're going to have a look at the USB key in a second. Right, I'm just making this we've, is straight. We've ju put, just put the USB version of the, which is the compendium, uh, on the, uh, now was it, how many collections? Three. Uh, three collections, not just one. <laughs> three no, collections. Three collections. $23.97. Adding up to at least 3,446 different printable elements. That is loads. Wow. And don't forget, you've got dimensional things on there. So you can actually have lots of fun um, and doing different from rocker cards. You know, I think we've got a sample somewhere. We do. There just we go. There the rocker can cards. I grab that in front of you there? Look. Damn. They really are lovely. So let's get this card finished. <laughs> so this is just doing a fold back card very quickly. Oh, look at that. I'm going to put that on that and then that's going to go there. So you can see that's all laying up. It all works together. I've just backed it and I've just got some foam pads. I mean, who doesn't love a cup of tea? <laughs> yeah, to be fair, our, pro our producer Ellie can't make a cup of tea. Can't you? I think she says that so she doesn't have to make us a cup of tea. <laughs> That's what I think it is. That's what I... Is she not very good, Dan? No, Dan says, no, she's really not very good. Do you like a cup of tea? Uh, I do drink tea, yeah, but, like cup of tea. but not all the time. I'm terrible because I forget it's there and it goes uh, cold. Oh, don't like cold tea. Oh, no, I can't, but I forget about it, so... <laughs> I'm not Terrible. surprised when you're putting collections together like this. Yes. <laughs> right, so there's my little topper. What I like about it is, look how adorable. So obviously she is using a hedgehog there and you can have got these lovely adorable hedgehog elements on there. So these are from the USB key that we're going to have a look in a second. Okay, we've got that on the screen so you can, you can uh, check yourselves out. We'll talk you through it in a moment and show you how it works. But that is the code, your JC6171 and for just 23.97, We'll say it again, over 3,446 printable elements. So there is a very quick card, a fold, and it's using an extravaganza kit with a couple of elements from the USB key. Those hedgehogs are so cute. They are cute, aren't they? <laughs> But we're no. going to have a look at the USB key because there's so much on there. Now, remember, there is three collections. Okay, there's yeah. three collections on there. Over 3,400 and, was it, 26? 46. 46, mm. there you go, <laughs> nearly right. Um, but that's at the size it is. So when you actually pop it in, follow the instructions. Now, if you're going for the digital collection or you are going for the USB key, that's just how, this is how it looks. Okay, you click into this. So we're going to click into the first one. And you're going to be able to see all the different elements come up. So look at that. So you've got from wow. design sheets, from backing papers, decoupage envelopes, inserts, card prints, toppers, digi stamps, sentiments, scenes, characters, uh, pyramid magic, and even projects. What digi stamps are, are the original line work 
of the art uh, of the actual oh, this design. Is where you can colour it in. So you can colour them in. Ooh. So if we have a look at the digi stamps, these are the original line <gasps> work. So oh. you can choose whichever one you want. Okay, and oh. you'll be able to see, I mean, it's just honestly gorgeous, everybody. So you can actually do your own colouring on here. Okay, you colour in, do your own colouring book. So these are the original line work. Can you change the sizes as well? Yes, yeah, so if you go into the print of preview, if you go to print, what you'll get oh, is brilliant. you'll get the scale. So you can change that to a different size. So if you put in, uh, say, 40%, yeah. you'll see that it goes down. There you go. So That's you can right. keep changing the size every time. Gosh, this is unbelievable. It is a lovely collection, honestly, everybody. Wow. Oh, we can see that. I mean, and you think how many, you think out there in sort of, you go into the, uh, different supermarkets and different uh, sort of um, department stores and things, just how popular Alice in Wonderland is and there's whole dinner sets and all sorts there of stuff, is, isn't there? There is, there's so much on here. Now, if we click on the X at the top, we're going to look at the design sheets at the top. So we click at number one, okay, yeah. and what will happen is these are what we call the design sheets. And choose any of the characters. So if you choose a character, we're going to look at every one of the characters so you know what you've got. So, for example, there is the actual queen. She's in red and gold there, but yet again, you've got her in different colorways. Wow. So then we'll go over to the next one, uh -huh. come, close it down. You've got the Cheshire cat, but then we go over to the next one. You will have Alice. And you can see this is what I was saying. OK, you have got her with different colours. Wow. So that was the card that I showed you. Yep, let me show that, you here. I think Barbara did, showing you how easy it is to do. OK, so you can print it off and then just choose the paper to go with it and layer it up. We'll and so card. if we close this down, OK, and go to the top. Oh, so there's the card that Barbara's wow. done from it. Lovely. And then keep going. And you've got obviously the Mad Hatter, which we saw the digi lines, okay? We uh -huh. keep on going. You've got, I love the rabbit. Yeah, he's the you, best, yeah. isn't he? How cool is that? Look at you. So don't forget, you can print to different sizes. So you, if you want to print this off, all you need to go is just to the top left hand side. Then you change the scale. So if you change it to 50%, it will change it down. Okay, and then you can print off different sizes. But again, isn't that great if, you're, yeah. if you've if you forgotten somebody's birthday because he was Belated always, wasn't one. he? I'm, yeah. late. I'm late for a very important day. Exactly. So then if we come out of here, I want to quickly go to the papers, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go through them all because there's just so many. Wow. There is literally so many. I mean, if you click on the rose one because I'm actually going to use that Why in you? the next demo. Okay, um, the, the, the blue one is actually the one I'm going to be using Ooh, next. brilliant. It's it beautiful. is a gorgeous collection, everybody. If you keep on then going through, okay, to the papers, uh -huh. you can see that there's such a variety of um, colourways that you can choose them. Checkboard, keep going, vintage. Now, we could be here all day. There's yes. three. So what I want to do is come out of here mm -hmm. by clicking at the top. You should be able to go back. Yep. And then go to number two. So you should be able to then see she's at, she's in the Queen's Court. What's she doing to that flamingo? She's playing croquet. Oh, just checking. <laughs> so if you click on the design sheets, okay. Yet again, you have got the famous caterpillar that I can't remember how to say his name. As starts with an A. You're going to have oh, to Google uh, it. It's not, uh, it is not called Kevin. <laughs> What's okay. his name? He starts oh, that's going to drive me mad. Somebody please tell me, because I can never remember the name. Okay. We're, up, we're having a chip. Look at that. Laugh as much as you breathe. Isn't that yeah. lovely yeah. sentiment? Yeah. Okay, so you've got really fun sentiments. And we close, come out of that and go into the next one. Okay, so keep on going. I keep on going through them. Then click on one of them. Click on the blue one, because that's the traditional one. Yeah. Yep. And there she is playing croquet. And yet again, Gorgeous. how many different things? Absalom. Absalom. That's Thank it. you. Absalom. That's it. Thank That's you. The one. I, was, I always Wasn't forget it. I remember it. <laughs> I know it starts with an A. <laughs> OK, so we come out this, OK, because we're going to start a demo in a second. So I just want to show you that you've got other things on here. Let's have a look at the tags and toppers, because we haven't actually gone into there. So then if you just choose at the top ones so we keep on going up at the top one yep 
These are the toppers that are laid out in four. But look at these scenes. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, they're brilliant. So these are great because you can actually oh. print off the whole sheet or just part of it. So it is just gorgeous. Wow. And then we're going to come colors. out of this, okay, and go into the next one. So, yep, they go to the Alice. And then what we're going to... There's the caterpillar. Oh, there he is. Look at him. But look at the detail that you're going to get. You get so much detail on that. And if you scroll down to the bottom two... Oh, wow. But if you actually look at the images, we put pictures in the pictures yeah i can see there look it's okay incredible look. so we if you zoom in you can see that all the detail that we've put in there it really is it a fun works. collection on there so we've made loads of oh my goodness paintings for everybody so we think about everything when it comes wow. to these collections so everybody we got remember there is there's so much on here over 3400 yes you've got sentiments you've got characters you've got plain tags in there and toppers we're going to go to the decoupage number three okay because we haven't actually seen that before choose the first one she's alice at the party tea party and there she is you've even got a little mouse in the teapot oh look <laughs> so you've got that on there okay Wow. And, you know, really lovely when it comes to oh, this the decoupage. Knockout. Now, we've got one more collection, then we're going to do a demo. Very quickly, I want to show you. We come out of that and go into the and out again, yep. And go to the third. Getting all three for this price yes. on the USB, So the this, the best thing to do is go into projects for here, so you can understand what you're getting. Because, and then oh. go to the gallery at the bottom. So then you can understand, because I've done a finished card, oh. you can do corner cards, the instructions are there. Gosh. You can do grotto cards, the instructions oh. are there. Keep on going down there. You've got the slider cards. So Sarah, if you're watching, you can yeah. do slider cards there. If you keep on going, you've got scene cards, three layers on there. It is just so much fun. Just quickly, we've got less than 50 available of the USB kit. Oh my goodness me, if you if you are hoping to get hold of this, make sure you check out as quickly as you possibly can because they are absolutely disappearing. Oh my god, you've got a calendar there as well. Yeah, so they've got a calendar. We're oh. gonna show the calendar. You've got the actual box envelopes on there. Brilliant. You've got a side scene. Also, you've seen me do those before. Yeah. I mean, these are all the different types of shape cards that you can actually do on the third collection. <laughs> it's, him. it's all about dimension, everybody. <laughs> so if you're not going for the USB key, you really need to have a look at the digital Absolutely, download. Absolutely, yeah. So much on here. Right, if we come out of here, uh -huh. we're just gonna show the calendar because the calendar yes, to me is amazing. If you click on the calendar, second one up from the top. Uh, number two, darling. On, on the left, there you go. There you go. Click on it. It's all done. You just need to print it off. No way. You scroll down. Christmas presents. Okay. There's no days of the week, so you can do one every year. You can change the oh, size. Nice. It's set up. And for leap year, just put a gem. It loads 29. Can you see it's down there? Yeah, got it. Put it on there. Okay. We've tried to think of everything, and it really is Wow. So much on here. That's brilliant. So that. you have got a whole variety of characters. And and when you actually look at what you're getting for that price. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Can you imagine just printing this off? It tells you how to put the calendar together. Does it? Make a calendar. Yeah. Okay. Sell them when the, it is just crazy. Well, you've made it you know, sell them. You, yeah. The USB key itself, it's worth That's just so driven much. everybody to I'm just not check surprised. out. <laughs> Go for a calendar. Maybe I should wow. do I think we need to do I think demo. we need to do Please be quick on the USB. Please, please, please. Okay, bearing in mind the USB stick is supposed to be £30 more than that. Debbie's really looked after you today. And don't forget, we do have the digital email uh, download rather coming up in a moment as well. But I think we need a demo, please, Debbie. Yes, please. Uh, could you pass me two pieces of card, uh, the craft card? Craft card. And while I'm doing this, okay, would you mind showing the MDF? Because obviously we're going to run out of time before I we will. hand. So what I'm going to do um, while you're doing that, I'm just going to show, going to quickly make a square card with this. Okay, great. So I was thinking if you show those, yep. that would be great. So if we start over here, now we've got the, how it comes, okay, which is the, obviously the MDF naked. Uh, and this is the uh, curiouser and curiouser. And then it can look, depending on how you'd like to decorate it, something like that. Isn't that fabulous? 
That is unbelievable. And don't forget, it comes with a sheet. So you, you get the character sheet as well. Oh, do you? That sheet in front. Oh, gosh. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, there you go. Look, so you get that as well. So then that way you can actually use it. And so what I would recommend you do is put it together. Yep. And then paint it. Uh -huh. And then stick the character on. Paint it, then stick the character yeah. on last. But from experience, you get paint on the character. Yeah, I thought you might. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I have done that before many a time. So the best thing to do, everybody, is to essentially uh, paint it. Yep. And then put your character on. Brilliant. That is brilliant. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, six nine, $6.99. Um, there's also two more. So just let me just pop that one back in there. Sorry, here we go. It's all right, my lovelies. Don't you worry. Let's put that there. There you go. Put that there. Right, so the next one that we've got is the Queen of Hearts. Very and lovely, isn't it? Very lovely. And again, look, if I just show it you decorated. There we go, look. I mean, to get the glitter on the heart, everybody, uh -huh. all you need to do is put... So that one's been painted, I think, red. Yeah. And then while... It has. I'll turn it around, look. OK, while it's wet, I put red glitter on. Oh, OK. OK. So there it is painted red. There it is with the glitter on the top. And again, you get the printed characters as well. OK, all for six... How you do? You make me laugh every time. They are amazing <laughs> price. Okay, so you, so you have got um, the third one. Okay, is so fun as well. How do you do? How do yes. you? Do? So there's your how do you do? There he is decorated. I think he's brilliant. Yeah, it is Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Yes. Look at that. And you've got, have a mad birth... Oh, I've got it upside down. Have a mad birthday. Every adventure requires a first step. So you have got those to go on. Obviously, you've got more than what you need. Yep. Just in case, like me, you want to either decoupage it or you cut in the wrong way. <laughs> I just give you more. You know I will. She's, I'm very, a... she's very generous. She gives so you more. I just wanted to show those before I actually do Brilliant. this demo. Okay, Thank everybody. You. So... What I've done here while we've been, because you don't need to see me making a square, but all I've done is use the craft card and I've trimmed it down to 21 by 21. And then I put this on is 21 by 23 and done a score line and I put stuck a tab. So this is then, there's that rose paper. Isn't that beautiful so rose paper? Heaven. And then I've got Alice already ready to go on. And then these are some extra embellishments from that design sheet. And everything works together, doesn't Everything it? works together. So what I wanted to show you was, don't be scared. You don't have to use that size one. So if you want something smaller, there it is there. I've just cut that in half. Oh, OK. OK, yeah. and I'll be showing you why in a second. OK. So then what I've then have, I've got some roses that I've actually um, already cut out from them as well. And okay. then I have a contrasting paper. I love this paper. Ooh. And I'm doing that toe technique that I did earlier in, I think, the last hour. Mm -hmm. So we're going to st start off with by sticking this down. So this is in the extravaganza kit, everybody. But so it's that's, yeah, we'll just pop that on the screen really quickly. That gives you 28 crafting sheets in yes. the um, Journey to Wonderland and the Forever Code for a, re a very lovely launch price here on Hobby Maker today of $17.99. But it includes the Forever Code for you as well. And that's the collection that's on the steps, okay? So $17.99. I mean, it, it is that that collection has everything you need to get crafting Doesn't on it. Just? Yeah, and it'll never run out. So these two, these papers I've used, the whole everything that I'm using is from the extravaganza kit, but obviously it's on the USB key. Uh, bear in mind the USB with less than 40 oh, we're wow. in the 30s. If you've got it in your basket. Some Tweedledum or Tweedledee could come and get it. <laughs> and then you won't be Cheshire Cat grinning, will you? Oh, hey. oh wow. That's really quick. <laughs> OK, I just want to explain about tearing effect, OK? Because this is one of my... I love this technique. And a lot of people said to me they can never do it. Okay. Now, the trick is symmetrical tears. Ooh. And what I mean by that is you get your thumbs mm. and you tear towards you. And by tearing towards you, you get the white on the front. Mm -hmm. 
And that also means that you can rub distress inks into it as well. Ooh, nice. So what you do is you tear in, out, in, out, shake Big it all about. Mm -hmm. And whenever you see me tear, you will guess, I always say this in my head, even to this day, but what you have is a symmetrical tear. So you've got an even tear all the way it's in way and out. isn't it? Yes. Mm. So, because people say, oh, I can't do it. If you do it that way, have a go, you'll be amazed. And then all I'm trying to do is make sure it mirrors it. Okay. On either end. Uh -huh. Okay, and then we stick it together. Ooh. I do like that effect. It's really cool. So I'm using, also on today's show, we have got uh, some bottles uh Ooh. which we've sold so many oh, you get the three best. okay they've got that precision head on them haven't they they have okay so i use it for detail and if you could pass me the craft card behind that stencil the stencil the craft card the black not the craft card, oh, the black card sorry oh. i want to show you how detail you can go so i've got one here i filled it with some craft pva glue when you use it, okay, make sure you check on one side to let squeeze it out. There we go. And then look how detailed you can look go. That. So if you only want a little bit, yep. okay, for using it with roses, for quilling, mm -hmm. okay, also doing it with different techniques. I was doing it with building flowers. Paper piecing. Paper and piecing. Like that. And detailed, you know, when you cut out detailed dies and you, yes. you just haven't, you, you know, you need, you've got all those spaces and you've just got to dot a drop of... A drop glue. a little bit. So I do use my other glue for the background, but for detailed stuff, I do use that. And it's, look at the price of three. They're, they're two pounds, well, two pounds each and then one ninety nine. Uh, ultra fine glue tip bottles. You will, you're getting all three of them for five ninety nine. Yeah, such a good deal. And it's one of those things you'll wonder how you managed without it if you didn't have it before. So good luck on those as well. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> I mean, you're very welcome. So I am now just starting. So all I'm doing now, I've just realised I haven't put my uh, my ribbon strip. I'm going to put my ribbon strip through the middle and just break it all up. And then I've got some roses that I'm scattering. And then I've got happy birthday. Instead of having the big topper like that, mm. I've cut it to break it up like yeah, that. Yeah, it's funky that, isn't it? So what you need to do is when you're actually designing is remember two things, colour mm -hmm. and also lay it out. Because as a woman, you'll change it your mind three times. <laughs> you will. I'll admit it. I'll own up. I bet you do as well. We will all change our minds. It's our prerogative, isn't it? It is. Um, just quickly, we're going to pop the USB on the screen. Um, oh, sorry, we put the extravaganza on the screen. Sorry, lovely. So we put the 28 crafting paper collection back on your screen at 17.99 with the forever code, which is what Debbie's working with at the moment. The most popular way to buy currently is the USB at 23.97. Having said that, have we done the digital download yet? Oh, we have. Yes. Making sure we did. But yes, by far, the best seller so far is the USB version. So at the end of the day, when you think about it, you're getting just the same thing. But the other collections that we have is the decoupage yes. kits that we have on. So um, while I'm sticking everything on... Should we do those as well? Yes. Brilliant. Okay. So, if, so should we do Alice first? Because she's, she's the main girl. Yeah, she's she? the main yeah. character, yes. Yeah. So we've got here for you, which is your... Now, this is um, digital download, okay? That's the option, digital download. And you can get all of those gorgeous decoupage designs in your digital download, which means you'll get the email with the link for just six pounds 99 I know, brilliant price. Yeah, that's amazing. So that's 32 sheets at 6.99 six and you can just keep printing those can't you but i mean that's you can print and print that's what i mean print and print and print and print and print and print so and because print. it's a digital it comes already as an email yeah so essentially you can print off at the size it is yeah you want to make it smaller you can print smaller you make it bigger scale. you know it's endless the possibility <laughs> 6.99 Honestly, it's just phenomenal. Oh, we do have the rabbit and we do have the Mad Hatter as well. Yes. Yeah, no, I think a lot of people are going to end up going for the rabbit. Yes, it's a handy one to have. Can I tell you something? I was walking the other day, walking the dog, yeah. right, next to a brook, and I'm talking about like a mile or two miles from anywhere. This woman works past, 
She's got a great big black rabbit round her neck. She's walking the rabbit, <laughs> holding it. I've never seen anything like it. This great big black lobbyed rabbit. I watched, she went past me. I went, excuse me, is that a rabbit you got round your neck? She went, yeah, and carried on. <laughs> it was amazing. That anyway, so just I'll share that with you. Uh, six pounds ninety nine. That's your amazing rabbit. All um, your decoupage option. Thirty two sheets of decoupage in your digital download. And if you're as mad as a hatter and you want a, a mad as a hatter decoupage collection for £6.99, because quite frankly, at these prices, we think Debbie's gone mad as a hatter, but we love her for it. Uh, so again, just grab the mad as a hatter. Your code is on the screen, ZV6197. I love the sentiment and he's, he looks so great, doesn't he? So your mad hatter decoupage 32 sheets for just £6.99 and there's your code. Right, we're going to put the USB stick back on because the compendium, don't forget, has three different collections on there, would you believe, with over 3,446 elements, of which she, Debbie then got tired of counting and just gave up. <laughs> We've only got 36 left and we have got a lot of you with it in your basket, so don't forget to check out. Shall we you? have a look at more things on the USB yes, key? Yes, I think we should, okay? Yes, please. Because don't forget, this is, actually I think it might be the biggest. I was USB. just going to ask, is yeah. it the biggest ever? The biggest one that I have brought here, um, yeah, definitely. So. 3,446 at Plus. the size it is. What should we look at then? Okay, we're going to go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Ooh, I love fun. that. And we're going to go back into the first one, okay, and have a look at some other areas that we haven't seen. So let's have a look actually at Pyramid Magic because mm. people don't know what Pyramid Magic is. If you click on the queen to get started, and as you can see, you've got from one, if you scroll down to the end, so what Pyramid Magic is, it's layers like decoupage, but you end up with a pyramid. Oh. So look, can you see? So look as the queen gets, the toppers get smaller. So you end up as a pyramage. Oh, that's, that's what, what it is. is. Okay, so oh. if we come out of here, we'll go into another section. So then if we go down to where we got the envelopes, actually, we haven't actually seen the envelopes, the third, fourth one down. Yeah, let's do the end. Was that a dodo then? Yes, that was a dodo. Oh. So then if you go to C6 uh, envelopes, I love these. Go to the next page, okay, because we've got loads. And go to, say, for example, the red one, the rabbit at the top. These would be great. If you want to print them out, this is a C6 envelope. But if you go to your print on the top right-hand side, if you click on there, look what happens. Change it to 30%. This makes a gift tag envelope. Oh, great. So how professional will you look with a, a, a little gift tag envelope? Oh. So we're going to cancel that and come out of that, okay. And then we're actually going to go to, uh, so that's just showing you some other elements that we haven't actually seen. We're going to jump over to the next collection. So we close this down at the top and go to the next one. There oh, we go. There's three on here, isn't there? There we go. Number two, yep. So where we haven't been on here, inserts. Now these are great because they finish it off. We've got them in different sizes. Yeah. So if, for example, you go to your A5, uh -huh. okay? So we want to, and then click on say the first one. What we've done here is given you, you oh. can actually personalize it and type in a message if you want to, or you can print it off. It won't print off with blue. It'll just be white that you can write okay. it. Yes. It so, could be an invitation with the time on the top. Brilliant it? idea. Yeah, I like Six it. Six o'clock. That's the time you're having it. Okay. Yeah. This is. And if you come out of here and then come back out, next one. Keep going. Okay. Then we've got them all different colorways. But then okay. if you go back into the inserts and go into, say, for example, squares, you'll find more variety with that with different characters. So then you've got these characters, <laughs> there you go. Then keep on going to the next one and then you've got the rabbit, but oh, you've got the rabbit in a different cute. stance. He's now at the he's now at the palace. Yeah. So what well, you can see the character there he is. How adorable. Oh, he, he looks yeah, lovely yeah. there. Yeah, he's now worried now. <laughs> he does look a bit worried, he's he? head. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna jump over to the next collection. Hop over. I mean, it. there's so much, but I'm trying to show you a bit of things that we haven't seen. So as you can see, you have got on here corner cards. Let's go, we've looked at calendars. The corner card, if you click on one of them, the way to design a corner card, look at the detail that you oh, get yeah. in there. It is a 3D scene card. Isn't that clever? Okay. So you have got all these gorgeous characters. You've got decoupage elements on there. 
and you'll have the instructions of how to put this together. And then you've got so many different elements, okay? And it's filled. We're all mad here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> filled with so many aspects on here. It is really fun, okay? Oh, and then look, you've got all the uh, family recipients. As and well. then a, a plain one for you to add somebody's name in. Oh, that's brilliant. And then if we come out of here, so okay, we're looking at this one. And then we're going to go to, say, for example, shape cards. These are great for invites. So we have one of these somewhere. So if you click on the, any of those, well, I'm just looking to see, not that one. We had some shape envelopes, but if you look through it all, look you can create, oh, I've got one, <laughs> found it. Have a so, mad day. So these create shape cards. And what I mean by that, we're gonna go into, we're gonna come out of here. Uh, so these will make table names as well. Click on the card one at the bottom. There you go, yeah, I've got one here. So you have got just for you invitation. Yeah. So if you scroll down, so you've got the characters. If you're having your bridge party, yeah. you can send this. And here's one I did earlier. Oh, look at that. So the idea behind it is, if I turn it round, the instructions are in there. It makes this, OK? Very clever. And it comes out like that. And then what you can do, you can put invitation or you can change it with a name. Oh, wow. So that is just on that. It is just so great when you this come to creating that. so creative. Now, if you come out of that, we're going to go more and more time in the projects, everybody. So we come out and go into the projects at the bottom. There you go. Uh, there you go. So you can see, so we're going to go to the corner card, the top left. Uh-huh. So it's showing you as you go down. It's got the instructions of oh, how brilliant. to put it together. But if you come out of that, okay, You've got them for all of them, okay? So that is a box envelope. How many Good. times do you Well, you need, you need that boxes? if you're doing decoupage, yeah. don't you? So we've got the box envelopes on there. So you've got the 3 3 d If we come out of that and then go I love that the you box. give the equipment as well as the materials that you've used. Yeah, so if you go into those envelopes, uh -huh. number five, there you go, and click on the box envelopes, Yeah. the one in the middle, there you go, and click on the top one. A box envelope is a deep envelope, so that it's got everything on there for you to create. Oh, I see. Look, it's got the score line and everything as well. So there you go. So, I mean, there's so much on here. Brilliant. So this is the USB key with over 3,446 printable elements. I mean, we've only looked at a little bit. I mean, there's so much on here. I don't think here. we've even done 46 elements, have we? With that, let alone the other 3,400. I know. And don't forget, we're changing, <laughs> changing the sizes, sizes well. and giving that option as well. So if you come back out of that, OK, but the main section is if you... Uh, a grocery card, actually, we haven't shown that. It's one of the dimensional cards. So you've got... The way you have to look at the instructions first. Yeah. If you click on the first one, okay. If you scroll down, keep going. You basically score and cut where it tells you and stick it together and makes a grotto. Oh, are you joking? No. That, I mean, there's just so much on there. The amount of work that's in there that we've actually put on there. You are creative. going to have endless of fun. That's the thing. It's, it, it, there's so much, even a calendar. Yes. Well, look, look at, at the, the calendar, calendar again. Mind. I know, everybody's favourite. Oh, Actually, let's the change the sizes. So, OK, there's the front of the calendar. No days of the week, OK, everybody. So if you go into it and to go to print on the top and right side, remember, it works on PC, Mac and Linux. If you put fit to page or put 100, it will print the correct size. OK, but then that will be to A4. So if you decide that you want it smaller, yeah. you have that option as well. By changing that to 50, then you can make smaller desktop ones. You, there's just oh, would you just ones. type the days in for the right date for each well, year? Well, you don't need to because, let me scroll down, there's yeah. always 30 days. There's yeah. always 31 days in May. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You're always going to have it. And for leap year, look, we've left that on there as well. Brilliant. So, you know, you have that option. So you don't have to put days of the week unless you want to. But it gives you, you know, to buy a Journey to Wonderland esque. It's our adaptation it's of Lewis's it's Carol brilliant. story. It's brilliant. Uh, calendar. You're going to get your money back in no time. Of course you are. Of course you are. And again, like you say, as long as you make with the collections, you're happy for people to sell, aren't you? Yeah. They're as long as you it. make it, you right. know. Um, if people are not too sure, they can ring the office. We have a licensing department. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze in the demo Ooh, from yes, Steampunk. Please. Yes, please. We did, we did promise, didn't we? We can just do it, hopefully. 
from the steampunk demo. So if you weren't watching the previous hour, we did this all over again with the decoupage, uh, the USB MDF, key. the digital download, the USB kit and the printed card option. Every single one of these yeah. in steampunk theme. Yeah. So if you want to go back and the compendium on the USB had two collections from the steampunks. So if you want to go back and grab that from the previous hour, then you can do. So we'll pop it back on the screen for you yeah. and you're going to see. There you go. That is the um, that is the 28 crafting sheets printed for you with the forever code at 17.99 but there was also the option to get the um steampunk compendium 2 collection 2200 plus printable elements for 18.99 if you just go back to the hobbymaker.co.uk website and also there is also the digital download with the same collection 2200 across two designs uh two collections rather for just 12.99 Okay, but we'll put the USB back on because that does seem to be the most popular on both uh, <laughs> collections. So, uh, yeah, grab that, my lovelies, and uh, we'll pop it back on the screen. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. All right, okay. So what we've got is, I did say we'll finish this last demo because I don't know where the time went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, everything flies so quickly, doesn't it? Well, so it fit in when it's you, lovely. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I did bring two different complaining. collections. <laughs> so this is from the extravaganza kit for the steampunk. Very vintage, lovely. Gorgeous. And that's what I've got on here. And what I'm doing is a quick twisted easel card. If you've never done one before, square card, get one angle, fold across. And this creates this twisted effect when it comes to your card making. So that is going to stand like that. Okay. Very easy to do. And then what I'm doing is getting this design and then deciding where I want it. I want these cogs on here. So you can leave a little white edge, but I'm not on this occasion because I want to hide all the white. And like I showed you earlier, just use your pen as a guide or a pencil and just make a little, you know, it stops the measuring. Just make a dot there and a dot there. And then cut with your paper trimmer or you can use a guillotine, whatever you have to hand. Mm -hmm. And this is how easy it is. You need to remember where you put the notch. I've lost it. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, the USB is now down into the 20s, so please don't miss out on that, on either collection, but certainly on the, uh, on the journey to Wonderland, you've got to be really quick, and, and the steampunk is going very, very well as, as well. Oh, Peter's in as well. Come on, Peter. <laughs> I won't say the obvious, but there are rabbits on the journey to Wonderland one. There. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right, okay, so very quickly, remember the USB key for the Steampunk has over 2,200 printable elements. It has only got two collections on, but it's still a fabulous collection. And then very quickly, because time is running out, so how to make a card in two minutes. <laughs> yeah. You know, as if a challenge that I'm having If anybody to can, you can, Debbie. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you have a card kit or a USB key to hand, everything there colour matches. And you can see how easy I'm putting everything together because it's there, really. Yep. And then under here, for an easel card, just to show you, it needs to stand up. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I've got my happy birthday, and that's going to go on there. And mm -hmm. then I've got some more embellishments with those gorgeous butterflies, cogs galore. Have that on there. Put some foam pads. And then we're done. <laughs> Well, that was there a you go. One, wasn't it? I've still got two minutes. Relax. Oh, breathe. 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 <laughs> um, just remember, if you do want the two collections on the compendium with the steampunk with 2,200 plus elements that you can print to your heart's delight, then you know what to do because we've got so many crafters. We've got Peter, Mary, Stephen. There's lots of gents coming on the steampunk, which we're really glad to see. Olga, you've just got it. Deborah, you've just got it. Well done. I know Stephen's on the phone to the call centre along with Mary as well. And everybody else has got it in their baskets. It is absolutely awesome and so different. And you've got guys and gals on there. So don't you, there's a, there's, a, there's a girl with a cane, there's a girl with a girl, and there's a fantastic uh, couple of, a few guys on there as well. So it's really good. Sarah said, oh, I bought the steampunk and extravaganza downloads. Thank you, says Debbie. No, so, sorry, Sarah. thank you, Debbie, says Sarah. <laughs> you've had a long day too. <laughs> well, while you've been chatting, I've finished the card. There Ooh. you go. Oh, well done, Sarah. So Gosh, she's from the gorgeous. extravaganza kit, but she's also on the USB key or the digital collection. So Brilliant. everybody, if you get any of the collections, you're going to have lots of fun with my fantasy rangers. 
Uh, but it's, you, I hope you've got. I hope you've got like lots of time on your hands, though. <laughs> yes. Because you're going to need it. You're really going to need it, whichever collection you get. Which, again, Katie, you stand a chance. If you get them, well done. I think she, yeah, she's on the phone to our wonderful call <laughs> centre. And if you don't know what to do, you can either do that, ring that, um, yes, it's Berkshire, darling, not Berkshire. I had this yesterday. <laughs> uh, if you've got the, uh, use the free phone number on the screen, just call our brilliant UK base right up here above our heads, based in Worcestershire in the middle of, well, it's not how we speak, but in the middle of the UK. <laughs> uh, anyway, US, uh, sorry, uh, 0800 double zero one double four double three and if you like checking out yourself just use the website hobbymaker.co.uk it's that simple debbie thank you thank so you. much you can stand in any time <laughs> oh my goodness me watch it because they're all after your candles that's fine i'll leave they're it they're all after gift. your candles um right then my lovelies we have got a very very special will i say a special treat that's if there's anything left after this afternoon. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We were joined by the lovely Sheena this afternoon from Crafters Companion. And apparently I've got a surprise. I'm hoping it's good news because she had a brilliant first uh, few hours with you, with Dave earlier on today. And we've got her to close the show with today. So, Debbie, thank you thank ever you. so much. Join Bye. us after the break for this brilliant, lovely Sheena. <laughs> This coming Saturday on Hobby Maker, we have got a brand new tool for you from the brilliant brand Under the Rainbow. Now, this is an A4 multi-plate tool. Now, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? This tool will emboss, it'll make boxes, it'll make cards, it'll do embellishments, but it also has a hidden secret. It has a parchment plate, would you believe, as well, so it's brilliant. So join us this coming Saturday at 3 p.m. for Under the Rainbow's brand new A4 multi-plate tool. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, 
on our website or on YouTube, so you can watch at home or on the go. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Hello, my lovely. Well, we had a lot to do in that break then. <laughs> this is Sheena. Hello, Sheena. Hello. Hello. Have a cuddle. This button down. Hello. <laughs> so, I've heard a lot about you. But have you? I have. All oh, good. No. Oh, All good. Okay, few. All yeah. good. All good. Now then, if anybody hasn't heard of you, in the craft or has is new to the crafting world now earlier on act bear in mind just before i do say this earlier on oh, i've got to tell you um this lovely lady did sell out of all the stencils and we were a bit scared that basically we were going to have to dance and you do techniques all through the show yeah and you would not say you want to see me dancing oh, really? oh, no, oh the whole oh. studio will be out <laughs> be not, like, nothing left so i'll tell you what we'll do is we'll uh, introduce sheena in one second i've just got to get this on because we've been inundated with people saying have you got any more of the stencils which we'll talk you through in a moment we do have more of the eight by eight inch uh, bubbles and balloons which we've just popped on your screen. It's the most outrageous price tag already. Six not. Oh, you are, you are joking. I'm not. Is that, isn't that, isn't that, that's why we've got none. That's seriously. Right, we've added 50 more in. If you missed out on the bubbles and balloons earlier on this afternoon, Okay, just to show you, sorry, I'm going to go back and introduce you to Sheena in one second, just in case anybody thinks I'm being rude. But um, I feel like if I don't get the stencil on, I'm going to get lynched. That's, yep. Lynched, quite frankly. 10% uh, is already in baskets waiting to check out. So that is your, this is your, um, look at these, bubbles and balloons. Oh my goodness, but these are going to be so used, aren't it, they? Well, I've got a really cool um, demonstration I'm oh, going to show you. I did, oh, we didn't get to do it last hour because um, we had that much else we filled. So we've got the agreed demo I'm going to show you. Can, can I just clarify? You do get both. Yes. For four nights. And, it's, you know, and you know what? It's really thick Milo. So this is going to be, we have put them through your die cut machine with, a, with an embossing mat. It's going to take your texture piece really well. Oh. Uh, it's just phenomenal oh, value. I'm not surprised it sold out earlier. If you like that, like, bocker effect, you know, with the light oh, yeah. in the background. Spots and dots is your baby. That's it. That's You're sorted. Amazing, it? Yeah. Right. Now, while that sells out again, okay, while it sells out, sells out again, you want me to put another stencil in? I need to introduce Sheena. Have we got spots and dots? Can I? We have got oh. another one, but can we? Can, yeah, I want to on introduce then. you first because well, it's, a, it's lovely having you here. So, where have you come from? Who where are you? From? How long have you been doing well, crafting? Crafting like forever, as long as I can remember. Professional crafting, um, TV crafting for about 18, 17, 18 years now. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so, um, I'm loving it here. Do you That's know your fun. stuff then? A bit, I've done it a bit. You've yeah, had a go. I've had a go. Yeah, she's I'm had still a go. in the we, audition. We, she's all right. I'm <laughs> still in the audition. <laughs> so, I was but, saying, um, how long have you been back at Crafters? Like April. This is it. Oh, so gosh. I was away. I was with them for five, for nine years. Then I was away for five. Then I'm back. And, you're and back. I'm loving it. And, and we've grabbed you already. Yes. We don't let the grass grow. We don't, do we? Absolutely not. But oh, it's been honestly, lovely. It's been, been so fun. much buzz about having you here. Oh, it's been. Everybody's been so welcoming. Oh, and it was a lovely show earlier. And I'm I'm looking forward to this one. It's been great. And it's on the doorstep because I sound like I well you you might think I might be a Geordie you know I don't know if there's a, 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 an accent there I don't yeah just a bit. Where are you from? I am proper Geordie yeah but I live in Evesham now. Oh do you? Half an hour away. Oh, oh my goodness me. Yeah. Well that's a nice local one. Isn't then. it far? Why yeah, you come down to Evesham? Um, Maria. Ah, <laughs> Maria, who's sitting right over there in the corner. <laughs> Hello, lovely. <laughs> you can't see Maria, but we can. Uh, right then, my lovely, she's lovely. Yeah. Uh, right then, so, now, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put the other stencil on. 
which is your spots and your dots. Now, where's the spots and dots? I have my packet here. Ah, Shall right. I get? I've got a board. Oh, if I you? can, if they can talk to you, yeah. I'll go oh, down there and find a board for you. On you. Go on, there, then. Cover me. She's going to go down there and cover get the me. board. Okay. So then, well, look, do you want? There you go. You go. Don't Still, worry. Look at that. We're not, we're not precious here, are we? Um, again, this is not your prize. If you missed out earlier, or you just joined us, and you cannot believe this deal. I thought six ninety nine was outrageous, but. £4.99. I want to get off. I don't mean to be rude, shit. I want to get off and buy one. Oh, um, these are so usable. So, oh, here we look go. At that. Oh, you are an absolute. Oh, here we go. Look. Look at your spots and your dots. Look at all that lovely glitter coming through there. Look as well. No, that is so usable. And it's similar oh. to the other one, the dotty one, but dots are perfect because you know you can't cut dots. And to do, no. even to punch that many dots, this life's too short. And those circles and that graduated graphic one on the top. Love that one. They look super cool with like a floral in front of it. Do they? If you, could, if you use a neutral, in fact, I've got a card. Well, you know what, I'm talking about it. I'll show you. I'll oh, just quickly though, you know the previous one. So then again, Ellie, love. Oh no, right, this, sorry, we have to jump about here, don't we? That previous one, with the dots and the balloons, there's only how many left? 22. Oh no, oh no. Oh, look at that. Oh, shall I come over there with you? Okay, hey, come on. Come in. Oh, go, sorry. Balloons. Look at that. I went right over you then, So sorry. that's the quick demonstration, but I have to be really quick because you're not hanging around, are you? No. That's that. Um, look at this spots and dots in the background. Less look how 20. cool that looks with the, um, with the butterfly. Oh, oh, yeah, they do make it in the background. Don't they? Isn't that cool? With it, yeah, yeah. That was a butterfly previously, but that's the kind of thing you can do with. And look, also oh, different card again. How different they look. Aren't they cool? They really set off what yeah. they mean. You mean star of your show is? Yeah. You're the main star of our show. This. Aren't well, you are. I don't know. I'm more from the spot or a dot. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's only 16 left of the uh, of the dots and the balloons. 16. I'm not going to get one, am I? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to get one. I did get warned I wasn't going to get one. Well, to be fair, I got told I wasn't going to get one because there weren't any left. Uh, yeah. So we're lucky to get 50. So we're lucky to get 50 more. <laughs> I'll tell you what then. While you check out my lovelies and it sells out again, should we see our lovely Sheena? Do you mind? Are you I ready? would think we should. Yes, I've got lots oh, of things ready. here. We I'm can ready. do that. Yeah, let's do it. Let me get me um, my sample. Someone's We've excited. Got so I mean, somebody new on, isn't it? It's lovely. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is the, the spots and the dots, yeah? Yep. But, um With the balloons, yeah? Lovely. So what I've done, Zena, is mm. I have isolated a balloon. So you can take any size you want. And what I've actually oh, um, protected it... Oh, yes, okay. I've used the um, the low-tack tape to basically oh, just good? mask everything. Mask everything. Yeah, oh, so okay. it's great as an overall background, but like this, then you can do something much more sophisticated. So what I'm doing is I'm using my um, applicators. Let oh, me we've get got all on this on the screen, by the way. Uh, just quickly, are... they're all, both sets of stencils. I think there's only six left. What? 16 in baskets, I'm so sorry. What? I so, felt a bit worried for that balloon when you said it was going to be isolated. Uh, but I'm all right now. It's fine, it's with his friends. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, is, here's your thing, I'm probably like, overshouting, but I'm kind of scared of balloons. Oh, no, I, I know, I didn't, yeah. I was, well, like because they pop. I don't make, yeah, they look lovely. And you know, sooner or later, I'm always, I'm, I'm on high alert <laughs> if there's a balloon. Because <laughs> you know, sooner or later, it's going to happen. And I, I just, I'm like, on I edge. I can't pop a balloon, can you? Oh, no. No, I couldn't do that. Oh, no. No, I couldn't do it. No. We had to do a thing over our birthday where they had to pop these massive balloons. Oh. And I had to get somebody to come on and do it. I couldn't do it. No, oh, no. Uh, I was all kinds of fun as a kid, can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think that stencils. There was one of the dots and the uh, the balloons and the and the uh, and the um, and the bubbles. So if you want the balloons and the bubbles, it's sorry, it's gone. You can't have it anymore. We'll put this one back on. Great. We'll put this one back on because we do have a few of these ones left. So if you do want those, um, but there's only 20, sorry, I'm so, I feel like I'm having to wait <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't like doing that. But if you want the spots and the dots, okay? The spots and the dots. Now I'm gonna leave you there. And if you don't mind, Ellie, I'm not gonna speak again until I've seen Sheena do this. I'll tell you what we'll do, what we can do. Seeing as we've got that there that far, we can actually 
Peg, another thing I want to show you onto it, it which is perfect. So this is the these are the art liners. Now art liners are fabulous. Got those fabulous because they are a series of different width nibs and they're permanent, right? So you're, they're water resistant. So you know when you've stamped something and sometimes you've got that little bit and you go, oh no, I missed that. You know, even with your repositionable, you've put everything away and you went, oh, I missed it. Mm -hmm. They're great for filling that in. And let me show you how they, the different, different sizes, sizes are. Yeah, they? they're really cool. Ooh. And um, I've been doing a lot lately. Let me try and get the smallest one. They're super, super fine. They start from super fine. I've been doing a lot of um, like um, Facebook lives, yeah. right? Where I'm using a really pale ink. <gasps> And yeah, these and is then that the zero point zero five? Zero one? zero five. Yeah. It's like hairline. Isn't Look at it? this. So this is what I would do with, um, like if I was drawing a stamp, I would re, um, cross hatching. So you really want all these different sizes, and all. I'm not going to do every single width, but I'm going to show you in between. So these are zero point zero five, yeah. zero point one, yeah. zero point three, zero yeah. point five, and zero point eight, and a brush. Yeah, let me show you the brush. We're coming oh, back yeah. to these, okay? Because look at the brush nib. See the brush nib? Look. Ooh. These would be good for sand tangling, wouldn't they? They're fabulous for tangling. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant yeah. for all kinds of tangling. Um, so I'm going to have to be quick with everything, aren't I? Because well, there's only 18 left. Uh, now, I was going to shut up, but she had bought these in, so that wasn't my fault. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault. I'll get moaned at on Facebook, because of, and I'm so sorry, <laughs> but when she brings it in, I've got to do it. So there are six um, art liners in there, would you believe? So they're not even two pounds a pen. You've got, as we said, zero. Put, in fact, if I turn that around, look, so that Dan can just show you, there is the lovely list and the actual how fine they are, look. Quality micro pigment inks, quick drying and smudge proof. Uh, but you've got to be super, super duper bionic quick before they sell out. There's 14 left. Okay, good luck. No. Oh, well, I'll show you how to make these balloons look really cool. Okay, so what you want to do is um, don't even draw like a straight lines, draw like sketchy lines and maybe double lines and, and make it look like you've drawn them really quickly yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. if you draw them with little scribbles and decide which one's going to be in the front and which one's going to be behind and then just and it gives it much more kind of um arty kind of I sketch like look yeah. see and then you can just draw the little the little like thing like that doesn't it yeah absolutely and this is what i've been doing with um using um like pale ink, very pale ink, like the water reactive inks mm. we've got on. Stamping it so you can barely see it, then inking over in this kind of style so you can make oh. even a, a quite traditional stamp look really mm. quite modern quirky, and sketchy. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, much more quirky is definitely the word. And then and then all you do is you yeah. do your little things oh, like that. That's what makes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. And then you're literally going to just go down like that. There you go. And how cool does that look? That and then you, totally when you've done, it. doesn't it? And then yeah. you've got a really cool card like that with just some little ah! splatters and things. And and by blending around the outside, it gives it a natural highlight. See where I didn't use it? I went around the outside and it, look, it shakes look it. That. And you get, and then you've, how cool is that? That's lovely. From you a, have got a lot of fellow people that don't like balloons out there. Well, there you go. You're see? not alone. Well, this is a safe way. Yeah. Would you go in a hot air balloon? Oh, I love to see. And you know what the weird thing is? Would you go in is? it, right, yes. No. <laughs> no. But I love to see them. So at the bottom, when I first moved to Evesham, yeah. I heard this, sitting in the garden, I heard <laughs> this loud noise. Do you think like, Maria? Oh. I'm thinking, Maria, <laughs> Maria, <laughs> pet. <laughs> She's feeling a bit iffy. <laughs> and, and I was like, what's this? And then all of a sudden, this huge hot air balloon at the bottom of the garden no. appears in the field. Yes, yeah, so every summer, the, the um, hot air balloon takes off and oh, so I'm like, hi, oh, wow. uh, how happy am I? And it oh. just makes me smile. Love it. Love to see it. At least you know she's not going to come down and pop it. Absolutely. You're safe. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, now the pens, I don't want to, I don't want to, don't worry, we've got the sparkle pens, the acrylic paints, the metallics, but there's only how many left? How many left? Oops, eight. Right. Eight left and there's... Oh, yeah, well, we're over allocated, so I'm going to wish you good luck on that one. But again, if you like your sand tangling, grab those because they're a bargain. Absolute bargain. Mm. Um, 
The right that stencil. Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to give you those because okay, I don't want to. Yeah. Here, look, my lovely. Sorry, I didn't give you that. Which one? Let's, that well, one. we don't want to upset anybody. Twice. So let's move that out of the way. That's gone twice <laughs> today. <laughs> this one. This is going to go twice today as well. And we only have how many left? Sixteen. Is it sixteen of the spots on the dots? Honestly, it just get, if you're thinking, just get it. Again, that'd be good for Santangling as Fantastic. well. Fantastic, wouldn't it? Fantastic. Well, it's so good. Yeah. So We're going good. to go to which one, Dolly? Absolutely. Oh, Ooh, right, the metallic markers. There. Right, these are amazing. Um, we recently did a little bit of artwork at home and wanted to make a put an area in it where there's a little bit of wor um, wording, a little bit of writing. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, what should we do? And I said, why don't we use the gold metallic marker? And it worked brilliantly, so to edge it. We're trying to make as Maria's over there. You might be thinking, look, she's literally within how many within, feet? In, yeah. In chapter and you just can't see. It. Yeah, it's kind of got that cold chill, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just kidding. <laughs> so, so when you get She's these, there's, there's she? three different, <laughs> there's three different widths of these, which is fabulous. So yeah. from really thin, right, yeah. to where you can do detailed work. Now, when they're, when they when they're new, you you want to just kind of get them going again, give them a little bit of pump, and then get them right. We'll have to give that a little bit of to get that going. You've got to get them pumping, haven't you? Yeah. yeah, we have. Give them a we'll pump. try the other one, but we'll get that working in a sec. But that's the finest we'll one. Keep doing that then we've you. got, thank you, and then we've got the really super, super thick one. Look at this. Look at this one. This one's fabulous. So we'll give it a shake, and when it gets it going, you get them there. Look, see, the ink coming through. Absolutely fabulous. Now, this one is the one I would be using. There you go. Fabulous. Look at that. That, Ooh, look at when that. you've got a uh, corresponding like this card I created with the stencils from this earlier show which we're not even mentioned because you're just gonna get a bit bitter because you've seen <laughs> them <laughs> right so that's what you mean look at look at what you could have had look at what you could have <laughs> had yeah. it was set it all up nicely doesn't it on a show so then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead I like and, you yeah, thank you yeah. <laughs> right and then you just pop that along there and you've got the perfect coordinated perfectly coordinated background so when that's dry that's going to go on there so instead of gold or whatever i've got the perfect copper base and then oh, this little line here is what i use with that super fine one so that is the metallic markers there you can obviously you know color in you can stencil with them but that's just a really quick little example of how i just think that looks super classy doesn't it is it that one it's the um no oh it might not even be Yes, I think it is. The metallics, it is the it's metallics that. one. So, if I yeah. so 20 metallic markers, ultra smooth coverage, precious metals. Oh, you get all six, all three packs. Oh, goodness me. This is getting sillier, isn't it? So, these are your, um, so, cover beautifully, they say, for a perfectly smooth and highly reflective metallic finish. Uh, they're water-based inks, they're acid-free and archival, and they give you a flawless fade-free result, ideal for use on. Now, this is great if you love using your black card or your darker surface, then, of course, the effects really sort of pop in, don't they? Oh, absolutely. It's not going through Fabulous. popping again, but you know No, we're not doing that yet. No. So, no. you've also got the rare minerals. Okay, you're getting all these as well. Would you believe that's 18 pens? Again, not even... That's one that, pen what? You know what? A this pen. is why I love Crafters Companion, because they bring you amazing quality and the price. And then when you do special price, it's like... Just silly. Yeah, and this is Spectrum Noir, so we know that it's art artist quality. We're talking top of the range and then metallics to go on your black card as well. And this is just going to look outstanding. £1.30 a pen. We've also got the antique elements. That's where I come in. <laughs> there you go. How fab are they? All of those colours. Yeah, so if you, if I, in fact, if I do that like that... And then like that, that is all the 18 colours that you're getting in that pen set at £1.30 each. You are a very kind man, Dan. Do you want me to do a quick scribble with yeah, you? Yeah, shall, shall we? we? Can we use Thank those you. ones? Yeah. Shall we? Shall we? On, then. Yeah. Does it matter which one? Should we get them? Which ones which do you want? Which ones do we want? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They I'm look pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see yeah. You know what? I've got to be honest. I've been with, with crafters for nine years. Away yeah. for five. Yeah. And I've come back and some things I know and I'm familiar and I love them. Your sparkle pen. Wait till you start me on oh, the sparkle pen. Oh, the sparkle pens. We've got them as well. Oh, seriously. 
Yeah, and then also the water reactive ink pads, amazing. Yep. Other ones, I'm discovering with you. Oh, great. And I'm not going to lie, that I am, but I'm thinking, wow, they're fabulous. Because so, these are dual tipped again. So look, we can do a little... Oh, they're cool. <laughs> and then, let me try this purple. This looks Yeah, nice. got to have a crafter's purple, haven't we? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, and so, dual nib. Oh. <gasps> Brush nib, I like that. Okay, so. So, two, two different nibs as well. <sighs> oh, can I give you the silver? Oh, look at that. They are like luminous, aren't, aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? And the way they're shading, when you do from one to the other. Oh, you're brilliant. How pretty is that? That purple's lovely. See now, this is me just playing. How cool are they? Oh, They're yeah. lovely. Look at the way it's shading. If you use it like a brush marker and leave a little bit in between, you've got the shading on the um, like on the petals. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I wish I could draw like you. And then you, so you, then you can do a little. Um, we've got a greeny one. We've got a silver. Oh, let me get you a green. Let me get you a green. I can get you a green. I just gave you a silver because I don't want to see. Just put a little round there. Mm, yeah. Let and me get you this one. Let me get you this one. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Should we get which, which one do you want? Oh, that one. That lovely. one. That one. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Getting all the fingers and thumbs. That's lovely. There you Thank go. you. That's nice. Right. We'll do a leaf. We'll do a. We'll do a canvas. Oh, these are gorgeous. Yeah, these are really nice. Oh, I love Ooh. the way the shade. So if you use them in a in kind of a um a, a, a kind of leaf little bits yeah. out, they look more interesting, don't they? You can colour them in completely and have it more of a solid um kind of effect. Oh, but I think they look great. really pretty with just a, a little bit of a Have we ever seen these before? They're brilliant. That brush Gosh. looks lovely. So they're different than the ones I had, I'm not gonna lie, they're lovely. Can I just wow. reiterate, you get all three sets, which is your antique elements, your rare minerals. Okay, so if I put those colours like that, and I get the other box here, and you're getting the pre precious metals, all of those 18 pens at £1.30 each with the dual nibs for £23.98. That is absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? And yeah, just remember so. as well that they are, in fact, water-based. It makes each pack £7.99. They're certainly not normally that price wow. at all. Uh, these are really, really lovely. And you'll be able to use these and layer onto your other elements. Absolutely. They're really, really nice. Now then, the art liners, have they sold out? We need to check because, I mean, when the, when the, when the sparkle pens come in, they'll be gone. Oh, we have five left of the art liners. Oh, br four left, sorry. Sorry? Four left of the, um, of the art liners for the pack of six. Lovely. These are fab. Should we try to play with something else? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we need to do the overlay pens with the glossy highlights. Oh, we've got, yes. Oh, love this. Oh, just want to try and make sure I get them the right. Yeah, we well, yeah. Good luck. Yeah, I'm probably yeah, gone there. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, what I'm, have I, just get them to hand again. Hang on a second, my lovelies. I've got the glossy highlights. Have you got, yeah. I've got the glossy highlights. And the sparkle pens are like this. There you go. There's one of them. You get three of them. It's the clear overlay. Clear isn't overlay. It? Yeah. yeah. Right, shall I show you this clear overlay? First? Yeah, while well, I try and that find works. them would be Right, so if you look at it? this butterfly here, one wing looks amazing. In the there, just under is it are they all some that yeah. never opened your board? Have oh, I got them? Were you pointing at them then, Dan? They're the metallic. There, there, there you go. Those ones. Oh those? those ones. Ah yeah. right. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> he was going <laughs> right there. <laughs> then where? <laughs> Sorry, Dan. <laughs> right. Oh, do you know, I'll sort that out in a minute. We've got too much to do. We've got too much to do to tell Loads you. Loads of stuff. Well, because we've been trying to... Do, because everything went so quickly, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, right, so fault. it is my fault. So it's usually my fault. <laughs> the default's my fault, the Sheena. But so look can... at that wing. Look at that. Right? And yeah. that looks metallic, does it yeah. not? That one, pretty, but not like that one. It's not snazzy, is so it? So all you're going to do is you give these a shake to wake and then you paint them on 
like that. This is it. So over any of your other. So if you want, I carry this. If I, I don't carry glitter and I don't carry glue, I carry this in my um, essentials little kit that goes everywhere. If I, if I, so the thing basically where I put special food, clear glitter. It's like, yes, it's not it? like a mica. It's like a glitter. It's And it's super fine and super, super reflective and super Ooh. sparkly. And it's like special effects in a little brush. So what I've done in the middle to show you the difference, that's all over. But there, can you see it's just catching a hi highlight? So you can get fancy with it and just add little highlights where you want little bits in the middle. If you just want parts of it highlighted, or part of it at night time just on part of the um the leaves or oh, so you can just go catching. straight over yes it. anything oh, and it'll just wow and you literally are just blinging up anything you want to bling up oh uh, with, extra. No, with, with not any mess without any mess and it literally is that oh, oh i want how fab are they but i'll show you a fabulous trick so you're with... getting the crystal clear yeah well, um yes. You're getting the glossy highlights oh, for free. Right, wait till you see this. Right, that's a quick little drawing I've just done. Yeah. Right, just yeah. before the show. So we could get, so I could show you. You, you just do that? Yes, just just so that you could, we could show you um, how it works. Right, so a bit of acetate, because, and, and I use the pens you that, that you've just gone, yeah. Like the pens, yeah, okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now Maybe. is take some, this water reactive ink, yeah, we'll oh, take gee, that. You're brilliant. And we'll take that. I'll come back if you keep saying things oh, like that. Oh, we want you back. <laughs> and uh, the, that. Oh, it's, a tattoo would look great with swirls in it. I could put two swirls that that really out your cool. head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, funny, I have had people ask, can I make a tattoo out of one of my designs before? Have we not? Yeah. Yeah, we have. So, did right, let's. Yeah, they did, yeah. Did they? Yeah, they did. They, can, they just said, can I have permission to, to make Ooh. a tattoo? Do you so, know where they put it? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I left oh, it there. Quickly, there's only eight left of this, so while we're watching the demo, if you want them, grab them quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so here's the thing. If you, and these brushes, by the way, just, just get them. If you want a good set of brushes, I know that's something else that we're talking about, but we've got those um, also. If you try and paint onto acetate, right, you pick paint this up and you paint, look at those, no, not playing, don't want to know. Yeah? Yeah. Doesn't want to know. And that's that's just the way it is. That that's okay. it's not particular to this ink. It's just a water-based ink. That doesn't stick to acetate. Okay. However, the magic thing, and, and I haven't been doing this for years. I did this years and years ago. Okay. But because I haven't been selling and promoting or using or nobody's been really um in the foreground of this product, I haven't been able to talk about it particularly. Okay. So this so, is glossy highlights that we're throwing in for free. This is gross, glossy highlights. Brilliant. So this what you're meant to do, what is the purpose of this is you would literally just put this out onto something like you know that you want to highlight. So if it was like a little dew drop on the leaf or something okay that when you leave that to dry overnight mm. that will um it's sort of 3d and isn't it dome. Yeah. yeah and it'll go crystal clear but we are using it as a binder okay. for the ink so now watch what happens if you use a tiny touch of this with that ink we just used and then paint on oh no way right we can absolutely just play that like that um, we're over allocated just quickly on this deal. So if you want the three clear overlay pens with the free glossy highlights, please be quick. Please, please, please be quick. We are massively over allocated. Do we need to move on? But that's what you do. Would you have to do a little bit? I'll show you a little bit of what yeah, it looks like. Yeah. There's yeah. no rush. We like watching. So you see that looks, that's a, and then we've got little rose buds. And yeah. so you literally, so normally just getting anything to, um, anything to stick to, um, acetate as a, yeah. as a challenge yeah, yeah, but yeah. getting it to be able to stick and have it in it so that it looks like you can virtually watercolor with it is fabulous it's clever, so um yeah absolutely so all so the leaves and whatever you can just pop them like that and if you want it just you just pop a little bit more and just quickly beryl susan jean or Jean, i never quite know how to say your name crafter rosemary crafter elaine there's two left you're chasing the final two Get so see to how pretty it. that's looking. Oh. And then we can put the little um, purpley bits in there. And you can mix these inks as well. So what, what we should do, if we can, I think, how about when I've done this, should yeah. we make a cool background just with the inks? Yeah. 
couple of backgrounds of that. Yeah. So I'm, I probably not paint all this because it, it's nice to um, using the water reactive inks because those oh, are on a fabulous day. They are well. on a good deal. Where's my? So if we put the, where's all my notes gone? Oh, I'll tell you, oh, there we go, I found them. Um, now then, this is where we're doing the Spectrum Noir um, Pearlescent Pigment Inks. Now it's a three for two offer. So if you bung three in, right, you'll only pay for two. Brilliant. Oh, it's not those, hang on, where are they? Oh, they're, they're the ones over those there. Ones Sorry, they're, they're not the yeah. ones that are like an apostrophe. They're, they look like they're, do you want to show them like what yeah, mine look on, like? Can I borrow one? Thank yeah. you so much. There yeah. you go. So there, you can come in and get each one on its own for five ninety nine, or if you pop, uh, and these are your water reactive dyes, uh, and you're getting, sorry, four for three, I'll get the right deal for a minute. So if you pop four in your basket, it's the other one that's got the special deal on it. So if you put four in, and just to mention the twilight grey and the crushed velvet, there's only nine left of each one. So if you do want either of those colours, and I know the Twilight Grey is obviously really, really popular, you need to be... And there's only 10 of the parakeet as well, okay? Uh, so 5 99 each, or pop four in your basket, and you'll pay for three. So what was that? 6, 12, 18, 17, pound 97? Something like that? Yeah. Um, so yeah, pay, pop four in, get three. For, uh, get... Pay, oh, Zena. Put four in... And you pay for you three. You pay for three, Sheena. <laughs> Dear me. Oh, good. She gets there in the end. All right, so there's a the little thing there. We can do that as a little giveaway to somebody if they want it. Oh, because when that nice. tries, that would be really pretty on a card. Oh. So that's just something we can leave behind can and do. Give that away. Do, give that away. That'd be nice, won't it? Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. I mean. Right. Beautiful. Right, beautiful. let's play with these inks now. Make a cool background. Again, don't forget to check out all your deals, my lovelies. Right, could I borrow that black ink pad back, please? That one you were just showing, the black one. You put it back, did you? Yes, you've got it back. It's all right, just me, with me that time. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Listen, I, my I, bad. Can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> find things when they're right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fact, I'm going to lose a clean one of these because that we do have these can. on the show as well. Yes. They've, they've, we've got yeah. a bundle. We've yeah. got a special bundle. We'll pop that in. Can I just nip that in really quickly? Yeah, the so bundle's your, brilliant. Your bundle, okay, your bundle includes the 8 by 8 inch stamping platform. It includes your, um, your blending sponges, your uh, rectangular uh, blending tool and the rectangular sponges to go on it and those water brushes as well. All of that should have been 42.95 and it was reduced to 33.95. That should be 42 pounds 95. Uh, now, if you want that one, you're gonna get into stamping, then my lovelies, you need to check that out quite quickly because again, we are very, very limited on that bundle deal as well. 25 only remaining on that one. Okay, should be 42 pounds 95 and we're saving you a heck of a price. That's a phenomenal bundle. It is Isn't really it? good because, you know, it's everything everything I need. There's yeah. nothing in there that I, it wouldn't no. be part of my everyday crafting. Yeah, because it's like there's there's nothing I, bought, niche. I bought a coffee deal, but nothing it's, they gave me decaf. Yeah. I don't want decaf. So yeah. it's a bit pointless. Yeah. None of that's pointless. No, pointless. none of it is niche. So what I'm doing is I'm going to, I've torn some cord. Yeah. That's it. That's as fancy as I've got. I've got bits of cord torn and I'm popping it and I'm going to, we're going to create a landscape. And you might've okay. seen this before, but there's a, an easier way and, a, and a not as easy way to do it. The first thing to do takes, I'm going to do all monochrome just okay. with the black. And then I'll suggest four fabulous ink pads to get, seriously oh, get them, okay. the four essentials. Okay. So I've got a little bit of glycerin. Now glycerin is just stuff that you put in like, you know, hand creams and cosmetics okay. and things like that. You you use it in cookery as well, and you can get it in just chemists, and it's cheap as chips. And I bit just put it a bit of glycerin in the okay. chemist, and I've just popped it on a little bit of my um, ink like that. So instead of taking it, you know, put it onto my ink pad, I've taken the ink back and I've made Whoa. a little mountain new range, um, and then it can just keep coming down with different um, kind of um, bits that I've torn. Maybe we'll make this one a little bit less I've extreme. This done before. Oh, done. it's just such a cool effect and it's so doable and, and achievable and it's mm. just torn card. So the next time I'll come in maybe a little bit 
darker. So again, just the ink and a bit of glycerin Just again. the ink, a little bit of glycerin. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going along again and just looking at the side of the cord, which is creating the illusion of a, a land like bank of mass. And it's creating what we call aerial perspective. Uh -huh. Oh, I know. Yeah. So, it, and what aerial perspective does is when it, things get further back, they get paler. So the hills get paler and the colours get more muted. But what I'm doing here is exactly that by just adding more or less ink as I'm coming down the page. And continue there, that. And I'm not worried about blending this bit because I'm going to make that darker oh. again. And then the last bit is we'll probably just go straight on with that and then we maybe oh, just great. move it oh, along again. It is such a cool um, effect and such so doable, so achievable. And it just works. So, and the thing is, is it's, you don't need the stencil. Oh, I'm pleased to see. We just need a bit of card. <laughs> good that we didn't need a stencil. It's a good job. You you think? selling them all out this yeah. afternoon. <laughs> but the thing is, it looks fabulous when you put the balloons on. I'll show you what I mean. So we'll pop this back there, like that. And now we've got the... So now when we look at this, we should have an, an idea of we're looking back into the picture. Looks like the clouds as well, doesn't it? Exactly. Well, that's what we're going to do now. Oh. So we'll take, some, um, we'll take some more ink like that. Yeah. And we'll take the glycerin. So we want this blended down a little bit because we want to come in from the top and blend down like this. And we're going to create... We're going to... Oh, you see that little bit there? Be careful you don't pick up anything on your sponge or you'll get, like, kind of skates on ice look. Right. But just for time, I'm not going to try and blend that out. We'll just work with it. Okay. So we're just blending it down. And then I'll show you special effects, how you can make it look like it's raining as well with this applicator. Oh, OK. So we'll take that oh, down like that. Great. And again, I'm going to pop a little bit. If it's looking a little bit grabby, so the cord is really important. This... Um, what do you mean by grabby? Um, it, it'll... It'll fix it. You try to move it and it goes, nope, not going anywhere, and okay. it just won't blend. And um, it, it pop a little bit more glycerin on and it'll help you out. But what does help you if you've got the right cord to start with as well? Right. Okay. So this cord is fabulous that we've got on the show. So pop that there. So we've got a sky going on there, but it's looking, okay. we want to put something uh. in the sky. So what we'll do now is we'll pop that there. I'll get a little bit of you kitchen You just come and stop in my house for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me. If you have cake and tea and Yes, I'll woman. bake. Uh, uh, yeah, I've got oh. Marks and Spencer's tea. Uh, the tea is available. Oh, brilliant. And oh. I'll bake. I'll oh. bake anything you want. Right, I'm there. Yeah. Right. And you I'm on the farmer here. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm going to take this big flat brush and I'm doing circles like this. Like that. Big circles, right? And just... Yeah, nothing too fancy. That's just, just a bit that. of water in there. Yeah, and oh. then blot it. Oh! And we're going to create some clouds oh. in the sky like this. So, and you can do it. And the more you do, the more you make them a little bit irregular, the less they look like you know, like the uh, the cartoon clouds. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I could that. The, the, yellow, the, the yellow people cartoon ones. I'm singing it in my head. The theme tune. Yeah, oh, I know what you mean. You know what I mean. Don't. <laughs> but you do. <laughs> <laughs> so continue like that. And then just some little in the background. And then you've got the clouds going on. Just like that. Oh, so you've got your scene fabulous. going. And then this is the bit that those of you who've got the markers, I'm going to show you anyway. OK? So I'm going to show you because uh, you, do, you have got them. But what you can do is with your brush markers, if you start coming up like this at the bottom, save the like heavier and lighter and things like this. You start looking like um, it's a little bit of grasses and things, yeah. okay? Yeah. And if you if you use the other one, I'll show you the other. So you can make it like come over, so you're framing your picture as well. Like reeds and things. You and can do, you're can making you? the foreground then, so it looks like you're looking right into the picture, all right? And then also, if you want to do it one so that they look like they're kind of falling over a little bit, you can just drag them down. So if you go up, and then drag it down a little bit. Looks like they're like broken, yeah, yeah like the natural, yeah, naturally yeah. do. And then we'll use oh, that's too fine. Let's try that one. Which one was that you trying? That was 0 0.8. This one, the thicker one, the one that picked up was this finest, was the hairline oh, one, okay, which was too super fine. Oh, super fine, super fine. So then we're gonna just take this and just pop these little bits like that. We're not even painting, we're just doing oh, dots that. like that, okay, like that. And then you're making little grassy seed heads. Could be grasses, could be lavender, could be whatever. Mm. Um, and you've then created 
your foreground um, out of that little thing there. And I can't think there's anything else I was going to show you. But that. Oh, yes. Right. So when you put your balloons on that you've sold out, you just colour them in. These are the um, sparkle, the pigments, the... Um, oh, the... Um, yes, the, the teardrop the, shape ones, the ink... Oh, those ones. Shimmer ones, the shimmer ones. Those are the shimmer inks there, and they're gorgeous. That, so that. can you see how they've got that little bit of sheen and bling to them, a really solid colour? That there is a little bit of highlight from the acrylic pen set. We haven't done that yet either, We haven't have done we? that either, so this is... Probably... Right, so if you want to create these colours here... Then you need the um, the uh, lovely the shimmers. Now this is the one where we got the special deal. Where three for two. That means you put three in, pay for two. I'm r honestly, whenever I go into Boots or anything and they've got the three for, I get really confused. Honestly, I really do. So what you're going to do is pay for two, but you'll get three. That's how it works. So basically, put three in your basket. Okay, three in. <laughs> pay in, you pay for them too. Yay! This one, pay for you. Right, tell you what I should do. Should oh, I show you that? about the four colours, weren't the you? The rain and then the four colours, right? Yes. So this is another thing. These, this is why you want these applicators, okay? Because this is really pretty cool, right? This is like Spielberg Ooh. effects on a card. Well, I, may, I think we're already I there, have, to be honest. I may have order, oversold it a bit. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Um, so, right, I'm going to wipe that up there. We're going to take this applicator, and it only works with a rectangular one. Oh, interesting. Um, so what you do is you take your um, ink on there and you start dragging down in a horizontal fashion and keep it straight. It looks like every time I go to the lakes up north, this is what I get. Never, never follow me up to the <laughs> lake district. This is what you're going to get. I the near. in the lake district when it was oh, November. Was hypothermia, like rain, <laughs> I'm the lake. Oh. Yeah, our producer that our producer managed to ground a boat in one of the lakes. In the uh, well, <laughs> to tell you what, we wouldn't make a, we wouldn't, we wouldn't do well together on the, at the lakes. That's, yeah. That looks amazing. Yeah, even the Roman War when I was a kid, I had, we had to get rescued off. It was a really? small kids. What primary school? <laughs> air, air, wasn't quite air rescue, but um, traumatised that in balloons. <laughs> A balloon in the Lake District would oh, be... Oh, don't, don't. I'm having a nightmare tonight on that one. <laughs> look at that. So, look, there that. you see, we've got, um, we've got the rain going on. It looks like it's bleaching weather That's and rain amazing. there. amazing. From torn card and just the inks. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Is Shall I show you these inks that you need to yes, get? That you please. absolutely have to have. Yep, 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 yep. I'll show you why. So, this is back for the four for three offer. Right, so if you... Honestly, get these, just get these four. And, and I have to say... If I could buy any, okay. the most important thing for me with anything, any colouring product is quality before okay. cost. Okay. Because it's the arty background in me. It's just more important. Well, you're only as good as your tools, You don't aren't you? want it, yes, exactly. And, and it's, you don't compromise on quality. Okay. If you get both, hello, and then you get phenomenal, is amazing. Okay. So I'm going to show you why you want these three here. So get that one. So you're going to pop ocean blue. Ocean blue. So ocean can, blue. Can I just ask for... Um, so this is... Have we gone to the right one now? Yep. Yeah. So it's, it's that code. Just pop it into your basket. Sorry, we'll go back to the colours. Put four... These are the four. So ocean, ocean blue. blue. <coughs> fuchsia. Back fuchsia. to the fuchsia. I like it. And honey pot. Honey pot. Right. And the black that we've just been the using. The black. If you're going to get your <coughs> only four, if you haven't got any dye basting pads yet, they're, those four, bearing in mind you only pay for three, absolutely amazing. They're huge ink pads, they're juicy, they're packed with the ink, yeah. and that's, more, that's really important. And this is why you want to get them. Right, think of the, um, your printer at home, colour yeah. mixing. Okay. You've got yellow, magenta and cyan. I like when you buy a tricolour. Absolutely. Got and it, it makes all colours, doesn't it? Okay. Hello, yellow, magenta, cyan. Ah. So oh, what, you, what you want to do, take your yellow, this is a little exercise to do, oh, that brush is a little bit dirty. Let's get that bit cleaner. You're mucky, so I know. So imagine that yellow there, all right? And then we'll do the pink there, all right? That's your magenta. And then you put your cyan. We'll pop that there, okay? So then what you do is you take that and you mix that into that. So these two together, and you're going to get Whoa. a gorgeous purple out of just those two ink oh, pads. Wow. Blair in mind, you could... Bearing in mind, you can paint on them and mix them like this, or you could just blend them on your on your thing with your blending tool, 
It's um, good for the balloon stencil, wouldn't it? It would be, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, you keep, I keep getting the sheets every time you mention that one. But Sorry. Oh, yeah, okay, thanks. Oh, look. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then, look. Oh. Cool as that. Oh, right. look at this. And then, but the thing is, would you, would you think you could actually make a skin tone as well? Go on. You can. Right, can we'll you? do the orange. We'll do the last one. Okay. The orange and the touch of pink. Uh-huh. And then we've got, sorry, the yellow and the touch of pink. And then look at that, oh, gorgeous. lovely. So with all those gorgeous all bright colours. And you've got Never. all of the, so a little bit more pink mm. between there, a little bit more yellow boy through there. Mm -hmm. You've got all those variations. Oh, but to make that. a skin tone, if you could mix a kind of an orangey colour like that, and it's hard to do with the, unless you've got a little bit mixed up, but we'll try. And a greeny colour like that together. And then you pop it on your card, a little bit more yellowy. Look at that. Like that. Right, now you think, no, that's not, but watch. What you do is oh, you do yeah. that, and then you blend it out. Oh, right. See how you know? Yeah. Yeah, pinky. If you want a little bit more, um, less pinky, you can add a little bit more of a, a oh, yellowy tone great? in it. Oh, my goodness. And then you've got your skin tones oh, out wow. of that as well. I could literally watch you forever. <laughs> uh, well, I, feel like, I, feel, I feel like I'm not giving you enough space to tell I feel like I'm going <laughs> sorry I'm absolutely transfixed brilliant I tell you what we've got we've just got a couple more deals we really need to squeeze in would you mind yeah um, absolutely so first of all yeah we've got these acrylic paints uh from the essential range now you're going to get a pack of four they're obviously premium because they're from the spectrum noir um, and these are your acrylic paint markers. So you're going to be able to, um, oh my goodness me, when you think about the things that these can go on to, uh, re I mean, if I just show you here, look, this is the one where you can uh, paint onto the stones and things, isn't it? They and the glass are, and things, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they'll go, absolutely. And the, I did a really cool vertigree effect. How, um, have, we, have we got time for another quick demonstration or? Yep. All we need to do is get this one in for 7 99 because it gets you the pack of four. We Or, hang on. You can also get that again with these metallic flip markers. Okay, you're going to get all of those, all of those colours. So that's 6, 12, 16 pence in total. Thank you. There you go. You get the, now basically you're getting those for free. Yep. So you're paying for your two metallic flip markers, you're getting the acrylic paints for free. Or you can buy that on its own for $7.99. Okay, just wanted to get those all on, okay, for you. And just quickly, we did pop on the brushes. Now, let me remind myself. They were called, and correct me if I get this wrong, Royal, Royal and, and Langlickle. Lang What's yeah. Langlickle? Royal and Langlickle. It's horrible to say, What's isn't Lang it? What's Langlickle? Yeah, it's the company. I just call, oh, call them just R and L's. R and L's. L's. Yeah, get R and L's when you're in the know. R and L's. Um, but it's a set of five brushes, and they were eight pound ninety nine. Royal and Langlickle. Yeah, it's run, don't you really know? Hard to but see. you're getting you're getting now the image is wrong because you get five brushes. Ignore that image. You get five brushes. Don't let don't look at the two images. You get five. Okay, you get five. Sorry. Right. So what I'm doing, Zena. Right. Yep. This is something I just tried earlier. Now I love a bit of like four kind of effects and techniques and things. Yes. Well, these are the metallic ink pads, as you can see. I'm using that fabulous egg dauber. I like there, those. And I'm just literally popping that over there. I've used um, a little bit of the rose gold, and now I'm using a little bit of the bronze mm -hmm. there on top. And I'm just applying it um, quite thickly because I want that to look full on metallic, right? I don't want and... you doing me makeup. Oh, no, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't miss me, would you? <laughs> Ooh, she's colourful. <laughs> You like, have you ever seen the one when, when Ross goes into the... the oh, the, I love it when he's had Oh, it's so funny, isn't it? Brilliant. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we'll pop that there. That there. Oh, the, the, the R&L brushes, the R set of five, not the two, are the oh, Royal oh, and Lang oh, Lickle. Um, they're, they're nearly sold out. So, again, I need to rush you on, rush you on the brush. 
Right, so we've got metallic, huge metallic butterfly now, yeah. just for those inks. And yep. that, when it dries, it'll be more blingy and more metallic. And I use the blush and bronze there, the which are fabulous. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dry this really quickly. Okay. And then we're going to come to the a colour from this other set. I'm going to use Lagoon. Ooh, I'm going to throw it at me. Ooh. I'm going to juggle to finish the show. <laughs> uh, I like to always find a little bit of cocktail. Um, Lagoon and maybe acrylic markers. When I find them, we'll come back. And um, But I'm going to dry these, you know, if I can dry that quickly. Yep, you dry. Right. I'll tell you what I've got to grab. I've got to grab the other stencil. Oh. Excuse me. Don't mean to be... There was the, not... Now, that one sold out. Where's the other stencil? Was it the Spots and Dots? Yes. Where, where did we put it? don't know. The spots and dots. Where did we put the spots? It was the big one, wasn't it? Where yeah. The big board. It wasn't that one. Where's no. the big board? Did I move it? I bet it's me. Oh, it's here. <laughs> oh, it's me, woman. While the Sheena dries that, the balloon one has sold out, but the this one... Now, whoever ha whomever has got this in their baskets, and I'm, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout you out, Annette, Janet, Linda, Christine, Rosemary, Crafton, Lisa, Angela, and the new three crafters are in. If you want those for 4 99 okay, your spots and your dots, I'm afraid you're going to have to be super quick because at 4 99 uh, Elizabeth, you, uh, even if you come in now, you all pay the final live price of 4 99 If you come in now, you still stand a chance because some people have been absolutely fascinated with Sheena's, uh, like I have, gawping, quite frankly, and I would have forgotten to check out. But the previous one sold out. So if you do want those, how many do we have left? 13. You don't want to be that unlucky for some, do you? So, and way more in baskets, um, but well done. Okay. Right. Sorry, so, lovely girl. No, that's fine. So what I'm doing, this was just something I tried on the last hour. I thought, you know what? I've got to try this because they're nice to use in a clean, pretty, lovely metallic fashion yeah but if you like a bit of like four kind of for your steampunk yeah well, um, look steampunk yeah like a Debbie. like verdigris fabulous is verdigris right mm. so what you need with verdigris is some white and a teal color and a and a metallic -y kind of version okay. right yeah. so that's what we've got so what i've done as i've really grunged this up a bit i've used those metallic paints to give mm. it that base coat yeah. I've dirtied it up around the outside a bit with the black over the top see how they're all working together that's where that corset I said definitely get that corset mm. now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this um, oh, wow. gorgeous lagoon colour yeah. and I have just spotted my markers are just here so I'm going to grab okay. them and then we are going to create that. You know, when you see verdigris, you look at it and you think, that can't be right. You yeah. know, where copper goes all kind of like really um, oxidised and gorgeous looking, right? Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put that there like this, mm -hmm. like that, in, just in bits, not everywhere, just in bits. We're just popping the acrylic uh, markers on the screen for you, you pack. That's these ones here and they are just 7 99 or you can get them in the other bundle where they're free of charge if you want to get the metallic flip markers as well. Okay, and that's for 29 98 But if you want those, 7 99 So we want that really quite... So what you're going to do, speed crafting, so you want this to be really quite um, kind of um, smoother like that, oh. right there. And then you pop that on there. And then you're going to end up with... Oh, can you see how it's going? Yes. Well, we're not going to have time to finish it, but we're going to... We've got about a minute left. That's why, um, that's why we've gone on to fast forward. <laughs> yeah, we've gone to... Oh, dot. It's dots again, Zena. It's been the theme of the show. <laughs> we're back to dots. So anyway, that's oh, where I'm going to leave it. There. But that. that gives you an idea that's how you can oh, then create clever. your verdigris look on your metallic wing so it looks all oxidised and... Beautiful. Yeah. So when you see it on a statue in the Exactly, park, that's right, yeah, yeah, precisely. Phew! Oh, that's worn me out, that pen. Do you know what? Um, <laughs> do, do grab your stencil, the other one's sold out. Uh, and again, if you want to go back and watch uh, Sheena's... Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm so smitten with you, Sheena. <laughs> uh, if you want to go back early, what, what hour were you on with, Dave? I was on a three. Three o'clock. So if you want to go back and watch, just go back to our homepage, click on TV Guide, go back to three o'clock today, and you can watch this lovely lady in action again. I'll be doing that when I get home. Don't forget your stencil. Don't forget all your treats and your stamping bundle and all the different pens and paints. Thank you so Thank much. You we look forward last. to seeing you again next week. Brilliant. See you then. <laughs> 
This coming Saturday on Hobby Maker, we have got a brand new tool for you from the brilliant brand Under the Rainbow. Now, this is an A4 multi-plate tool. Now, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? This tool will emboss, it'll make boxes, it'll make cards, it'll do embellishments, but it also has a hidden secret. It has a parchment plate, would you believe, as well, so it's brilliant. So join us this coming Saturday at 3pm for Under the Rainbow's brand new A4 multi-plate tool.